begin with, Quiff wanted to use my XP farm. And in return, he gave me a netherite piece. <laughs> Very nice indeed. And then it was back to my base. Feel that, guys? That is the feeling of peace and tranquility, knowing that I cannot be attacked by Cloud Pierce. Anytime I want to go after him and ruin his day, I can just start hitting him. It's beautiful. And today, I want to gear up, okay? Because I am sick of never having any iron. So I should just make a farm for it. I can make an iron farm that's just running all the time because it's in spawn chunks. And then I'll just have unlimited iron. I can make anvils for traps, minecarts for entity cramming, you know, all that good stuff. It's always going to be handy. Plus, I'm sick of not having shields. And yeah, it's just, it's just a, a general thing. I could sell the iron to people. I just need one. And considering how easy they are to build, there's no reason not to have one. I think I could get it built in about five or ten minutes. I'm going to where I know there is a village, which is somewhere in this direction. Quiff was shot by Clown Pierce. Okay, it looks like they had a 1v1. I mean, and yeah. <laughs> Clown Pierce won. I... I don't know why Quiff thought he could 1v1 clown. Well, at least I don't have the least amount of lives anymore. Quiff's got three, I've got four. Finally, I've found it. So now Operation Build the Farm can begin. I just need a few beds, six to be precise. And then it requires a good flat area without any caves around. I reckon by the water could be good. Actually, I've changed my mind. I'm going to build it here. I think it's a slightly better spot. So let's go ahead and get rid of the trees. Then I need to dig a hole. And then this will be the room the villagers are in. It's becoming night and you'd think that would mean that I want to sleep, but... It doesn't, because hopefully this should be a good opportunity to get some villagers into the beds. That is if they can find their way here. So I'm starting to realize that maybe I put the villagers a bit too far away. So a more gradual process of luring them might be needed, which involves breaking and placing beds as I go. Nice, the first one's successfully in. If I break that bed like so, he falls down. Now for the next one, which could be one of these guys. It looks like I'm getting two for the price of one, which is perfect. They're in. I'll block it up. And golems are spawning. That's fantastic. I suppose before I could do any more, this trench needs digging a bit more. Oh, and suffocation is taking him out. Fantastic. So the farm's fully functional. And if I had a lava bucket, I could speed it up even more. So I'm going to try and find one. And I'm also going to create a chunk loader. That way I'll be able to go off and do another project whilst it gets me loads and loads of iron. It's also quite a long way to go and get that lava, wasn't it? Anyway, we've got it. We'll take it. I'm also going to need to make some signs and gates just to put it around the lava so that it doesn't escape. In fact, I'll craft those now. I think I've got the sticks for it. Wow, I've got so much junk. But we have got iron coming in, which is always nice. So yeah, one bit of signs. And then gates are, are not always the easiest to craft. Are they? Is it like that? No, it sticks on the outside, isn't it? Something like that. I think four is going to be enough. Sign here. Then there'll be lava on top, but we're going to need gates either side that are open. And then signs on top of those so they don't burn. That should be safe to go right there. All the wood can be removed. Thanks to the iron that is coming through, I can easily craft hoppers and plant them down. Now we've got a collection system. A collection system that will get me all the iron I can dream of. Now for the chunk loader, I'm going to need to move this portal, but I'm just going to see where it leads first. Hopefully not to a trap. Oh, okay. It is to a trap, but it's a trap that I didn't actually finish. It was more of a decoy trap. Look. Yeah, you see, it's it's not really a proper trap, but yeah, okay, that's interesting. Right, well, I might as well turn it into a chunk loader, I'll mine it up. So I'll remake the portal in this chunk here. It still connects up perfectly, fantastic. How did you spawn up there? Okay, you're not supposed to be able to escape. Hopefully it continues to work okay, but if not, I will spawn proof this entire area. And now I have a bit of a shopping list of items I need, which is actually going to require me to do a little bit of mining because I think I'm out of redstone. Here's just what I need. I'll also take lapis, that could be useful. And the extra redstone in the roof as well. Look at this, diamonds, that's like an extra bonus. I'm going to silk touch them so that I can pick them up and mine them when I have Fortune 3. Now it's time to get back out of here, complete the chunk loader, add some boats. Finally, the glass can be added. When I flick it like that, it should, yeah, it's going to keep sending a boat through and coming back. And it's a fully working chunk loader. The only issue I've got is that these golems keep managing to spawn where they shouldn't. So just to combat that as well, I'm going to completely cover the area in another layer of blocks, which should make the farm work absolutely perfectly. In fact, even better, I can take the iron it's generating, turn them to pressure plates and save myself even more blocks. All right, I'm happy with that. I think I will return with gold pressure plates at some point just to make it absolutely certain, but it's not super important. And whilst that's running in the background, I can go and work on the next project. Today's really going to be a productive episode. And whilst I leave that to get me loads of iron, the other farm I want to make is a general mob farm, pretty much so I can get loads of gunpowder. The materials needed should be fairly straightforward. I'm basically just going to build it out of load of netherrack. Here's Clown's house. Don't have to worry about him attacking me though, so that's, uh, that's always nice. I'm completely safe and immune at the moment. I intend to keep it that way for a long, long time. Also in the last episode, I did temporarily leave my horse here as somebody stole it again. 
I think somebody's nicked my horse and I've absolutely no idea where he is this time. I've had a change of plan. I'm just grabbing all of my random blocks and I'm going to build it using that. The position I'm going to build this farm at is right here over the water. I'll add a block right here like so. I'll get nine campfires in here which will damage the mobs and there will be hoppers underneath those eventually. And I need about 12 slabs. I think that should do it because we're just going to have them around this outside. Then I've got to go out eight blocks in every direction. This is just going to be the collection system. And you're probably going to be able to tell straight away, I'm not trying to make this farm look pretty or nice. I just want it to be functional. So whatever blocks I have to hand is what I'm going to use for the build. Whether that's netherrack, deep slate, stone, cobblestone. There'll even be some dirt knocking around the build on the outside. Yet yeah, it's all here. The water collection system is all there. I've got the slabs here so they don't get stuck on the edge. Instead, they'll, they'll get pushed downwards. Then I'll spawn proof this with slabs. And from there, the fun bit can happen, which is to add all the bits where the mobs will spawn. Platform number one. This is going to be the most ugly build ever. This is why I built it so far from spawn. I need more cobble though because I need to make a load of dispensers. First of all, that means I need a different pickaxe because I, yeah, I need to be able to mine it and not get the stone. And I can only do this underwater because it is nighttime. Don't want loads of mobs getting me, you know, I've, I've only got four lives. I don't want that to become three. That'll be the worst thing. So we'll block that up and then, yeah, we'll just mine up loads and loads and loads of it. I've got enough string and sticks, which, which makes bones to make nine dispensers in total, I think, which is, I think is a good amount. If it's got nine platforms, it'll go at a pretty good speed. That does mean I'll need to craft a couple of extra observers, so even more cobble will be needed. Good job I've got a half-decent pickaxe, isn't it? So that's mission accomplished. I can pick this up, and I can get back down to business. One thing I would say is it's kind of annoying trying to build one of these without an elytra. Also, PvP's on. This would be the worst time for someone to come and attack me, wouldn't it? But yeah, because I haven't got any elytra, I have to keep manually building my way up, which is, yeah, a, a, a bit problematic. But you go there. I'm not going to put any of the water in at this point. Yeah, that should be like that. And then I just need an observer on top with blocks all around him. Okay, I think this is going to work. To be completely honest, I built this type of farm loads and loads of times, so there's absolutely no excuse for me not to be able to do it. And basically, the observers and the dispensers are all going to activate each other to create a chain that floods the platform and pushes any mobs that spawn down into that water and then into the campfires. It's a foolproof plan and this farm is going to be so so useful I just need to get it done before the episode ends. In the meantime my iron farm over there will be getting me loads and loads of the good stuff which I'm actually going to need four buckets. So everything really is coming together. At least it was coming together but I've unfortunately just run out of blocks so I need a top up. I should collect either dirt or netherrack as both are pretty abundant. I think I'm just... Oh no, okay. Never mind. I don't have an efficiency shovel. We are going to get netherrack. The only issue is there's not really an easy way for me to get back to nether. I don't really want to use the chunk loader pod. Or should I just use it? I, I don't know. I've decided I am going to. I think I can just disable it. Oh, I see an issue here. Look at this. Sometimes the boats are getting stuck over there, which means it's a lost boat. Just give me one second because I can fix this very, very quickly. We've got a bit of iron in there. I'm going to make a couple more hoppers and then a hopper minecart. From there, I just need some rails again. And I'll place a block here. This like this so that they can be pushed down into the spot. Okay. Whoa, not through the portal. What's that all about? Didn't expect that to happen, but I guess it makes sense that it could happen. <laughs> time for take two. This time with the portal disabled, it goes underneath. We then break these things. We push it in. And I was meant to put a hopper here. Can we do it in time? Uh, no, we can't. Promise you, this is the last time I'm doing it. It's going to be correct this time. You go down there. Blocks get placed back down. Portal relit. Also, PvP is nearly over, which is always nice. And the chunk loader will be much, much more consistent from now on. And now I'll get busy collecting all that netherrack that I needed. For now, I'm happy with the stocks that I've got. So back to work I go. Tell you what, once you get going, these layers are actually really fast to build. I've only got three more to go after this. That's it. Done. This is the top layer. All I need to do is cover it up with a netherrack roof. I have the choice. I could use slabs to cover up the whole thing. And then it's actually spawn proof. But that will mean mine up a load of wood. I think it'll be worth it because I barely have any netherrack. So I'll I'll do that. The annoying thing is, from here, I've got to go all the way down. Please tell me I survived this job. Why did I just MLG it? Okay, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I've got to go all the way down. And to get back to the top, I'll have to mine all the way up. Maybe I need to create like the AFK tower upwards soon anyway. But yeah, I will get loads and loads of wood. And because I have loads and loads of iron, if my axe should break, I can easily... Pick out a crafting table and craft a brand new one. Oh, this is just going to make everything much more straightforward. The amount of minecarts I can craft for traps, the amount of anvils I can craft for traps and upgrading my armor, it's fantastic. I've got over two stacks of logs. I'm pretty sure that's got to be enough. And the other thing I'm going to need quite a bit of is buckets for the dispensers. So I've added all the water buckets. The roof is just about there. This is how big it needs to be to make everything dark. In fact, I think I'm going to make it even bigger. This is why I needed so much wood and so many slabs, of which I still have over two stacks. So yeah, that's fantastic. And I've got loads of logs, so yeah, it, it should be fine. And from there, all I will need to do is make the redstone. Now, I unfortunately used up all my stone in building some of the platforms, so I can't make the redstone repeaters that I need. And there it is. Roof complete. There's got to be mobs under there. The problem is I'm not in the right position. So, before I can do anything else, 
yeah, go and get some more stone, and I have a plan to get that. Basically, just gonna keep working my way down through all the netherite layers. Hopefully, I don't come across a mob or anything. That would uh, be slightly worried, but I think we're okay, yeah. So the area, now do we have any cobblestone for a start? We don't, so I do need a piece of cobblestone. And then I'll grab loads of stone from here. Then I could craft my one comparator. Now I need more repeaters. The only issue is, do I have enough redstone for all of it. It's, it's gonna be a little bit tight, let me tell you that. I think with eight, I can make it work. I, I think it'll do. Well, I'll have to do, because I can't get any more redstone anyway. Which if I've got so much wood, because I can use that to patch up the gaps. And I think we're there. Look at that. Oh, look at all the mobs below me as well. Fantastic. It's almost there. I've just realized, though, that I've run out of redstone. <laughs> I need to actually place some redstone dust. Yeah, there's no... Um, okay. This is, of course, as usual with me, I forget something. So I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna break this slab here to put the final bucket of water in. And then I'm gonna go and get some redstone. Thankfully, I know somewhere nearby. Well, in fact, forget going anywhere nearby. This goes down low pretty fast. Oh, iron, nice. Oh, wait, I don't need it. Oh, lapis, nice. Do I even need that? Probably not. Let's just focus on not drowning. But yeah, these water caves are very nice. Once you start getting to the deep slate area, that's when your redstone starts showing up. We've got any magma down here, or am I just gonna end up drowning because I can't find anything good? This is why I was gonna have respiration through. I think Clown nicked it when he swapped our armor over, so yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of missing some of the good stuff. Can just do that though and, uh, you know, well, I'm kind of stuck in a one by one, but it gives me everything I need back. And a lot of lapis and some air bubbles. Perfect. And finally, redstone. Fantastic. We can definitely get this done now. And if I get enough from down here, I can probably make some extra repeaters as well. Wow, look at the size of this cave. It's fantastic. Do I, do I have a quick scout for any diamonds? Because that's kind of the only thing I'm short on. I'll just remember where this cave is and I'll come back at a later date. Because right now, time is of the essence and I need to prioritize getting this build done. Deep slate coal, you know, that's just rare. There's, there's, there's no other reason for me picking that up other than the fact that you don't see that very often. Deep Slate Emerald is rarer, but it's still a pretty cool thing to find. Now, I've made it up here, but I do want to craft one extra bucket, and then I can get the AFK platform ready. If I go all the way up, let's finish this. And by finish it, I mean first, let's see how much redstone we get for, by mining it all up. 57 pieces. Oh, it's fantastic. Well, uh, well, I was going to say we'll make eight redstone torches, but we need a bit of wood for that first. Four more repeaters. I've got the dust. This, this should be absolutely everything that I need, so we'll go ahead and extend it a little bit more. And there you have it. The timer is complete. As you can see, it'll go around, and I'll show you from a bit of a distance. Everything gets flooded, and then as it goes back round, it gets unflooded, and all the mobs that got pushed off will get pushed into that campfire. There's no hopper system at the bottom. That is a slight issue. I'll deal with that once I have built up to the top. This has definitely got to be high enough. I'm now going to bridge using slabs so that it's all spawn-proofed up here. But doing that did mean I had to craft a few extra of them. I reckon this is a very nice little spot. Okay, ran out. Okay, well, we need even more. It probably wouldn't be the end of the world to have a crafting table up here. Anyway, let's go and place down the final bits just so we've got a nice little 3x3 three three platform that's that's very safe. I don't want to fall off here because you know what happens if I fall off here? I die. You know what? I've got to make it safety proof. The reason being for that is I know how stupid I can be sometimes. <laughs> so those slabs are just there so that phantoms aren't going to be an issue. And around the outside, we're going to have walls like this. Fantastic. And if I manage to fall off in a bit that I haven't spawn proof, I should be safe to make it to the water. I'd have to be pretty bad to, to not hit the water from there. So... We'll just have this come all the way... Yeah, like that. I like it. Then it needs to be easy to get up and down. So I'm going to place water. Oh, yes, it's fantastic. We can then jump. And how's it getting on? It sounds like it's getting on very well. I can hear a lot of mobs down here. Yeah, the only issue is the, the lack of hoppers below. So there's no, there's no excuse to have no hoppers below because I have an iron farm. So nine of them can be crafted. We have enough iron for nine hoppers, but now we don't have enough wood for the chest. But anyway, we'll get the hoppers down to start with. Everything is basically just going to go into each other. I need to do this before I drown. Come on, SP. Not like this. That hopper should be filling up with items. Oh, yes. Look at all the gunpowder. Oh, fantastic. Now to do a little bit more deforestation, which involves quickly running over here and getting to a tree. I, I don't need much. I just need enough for the double chest they're going to hold it. I think at some point I'll make an auto sorter system, mainly so I sort the gunpowder out. But for now, everything's just going to get in a massive mi mismatch into the chest, and I'm sure it'll work out fine. Also, whilst I'm in the area, I want to have a quick look to see how my iron farm's getting on. Did just see an iron golem die. I, I feel like my chunk loader is a bit of a weird one. I think it works well on single player worlds, but I think on a server, yeah, that chunk loader isn't really working, so I have to be in the area, and, and I built that too far away to be in the area, so I'll remember that, but it, it's more than enough iron I need for now anyway. Oh, a blast furnace. No, that could come in handy at my base. I'll take it, because I'm too lazy to craft my own. Don't know what items I'd be smelting right now, since I have an iron farm and a gold farm and, and don't need the ores, but I guess it's still good to know about. I'm going to have a upside down hopper like so, then we're going to have a chest here. Don't know why I'm doing underwater storage. It's going to be really annoying to get. I am also drowning, but I think I'll survive it. <laughs> Something tells me. 
But yeah, now it's all going in. Fantastic. I can swim all the way up to the top. It's actually pretty quick. Not quick enough to stop me from drowning, though. I had to just have a, a quick gas for oxygen. Also, yeah, you can eat while you're climbing. That's actually handy. If I ever need to escape, you need to go up a water tunnel. But if I just chill here, then the farm will be spawning lots and lots of mobs down below. As I said before, the thing I like about this farm is it'll get me a lot of gunpowder. But bone meal's gonna be good. It's gonna get me a little bit of redstone and glowstone, you know, all sorts of stuff for brewing, the spider eyes. So there's many, many benefits from having a farm like this. Should have built it ages ago. Should have built that iron farm ages ago. It's gonna save me so, so much time. Guys, I've got a plan because I think I have a way where we might be able to kill clown, but I won't be the one doing it, so I won't lose my immunity. It all requires invisibility, which means I need carrots. And it's gonna require full diamond armor. At the moment, I've got netherite. I don't want that. So I have diamond leggings, which is good. They can go in there. But I don't have a diamond chest plate. I do have diamonds knocking about here. So let's see how much we get. Hopefully we get loads. We have got a grand total of nine plus those five. I also need to make a diamond axe. So I'll craft that. Craft the chest plate. Been collecting sharpness books in the background as well. I can make a sharpness for one. There we go. That can go on the axe, but I actually I want to upgrade the axe first. And there's other stuff I want to get from the XP farm, so that can be my beginning project. I hear them talking. I don't know what they're talking about, but yeah, I'm yeah, going yeah. in. Hello, hello. What are you now, gonna do with Oh, well, oh. Guys, guys, you're being here. too noisy. You're being too noisy. All I can ask, Minnie, have you got any carrots? Oh, uh, well. You're talking he to has the carrot guy. Four stacks. I right. have a carrot boy. Yeah, you want some carrots? SBI got you. There you go, bro. I, I don't know what you want to talk about, but I feel like I don't want Minnie to hear. I don't want Clown to hear. I know we have an XP farm deal. Do no, you no, want to no. go to the XP farm? Not yet, because I just got a message. From who? From from Clown. What did he say? He has an offer for me, and he wants to meet. Okay, well, <laughs> you can you can meet if you want, but I'll tell you, I I would stay on my side. I know we have a. No 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 no. This can work in our favor. I haven't done anything to betray him. All right, Quiff. Well, don't do any double crossing. No no no. I, listen, I need the XP farm more than I need friendship. <laughs> That's all it is. Things are getting interesting. Things are getting very, very interesting. There's a lot of double crossing. Basically, me, Minnie, and Quiv are all going to go invisible in the same armor. Clown's not going to know who's who. He can't attack me or he has to give me two lives. And he's going to really struggle to fight back. Meanwhile, I can craft loads of golden carrots, starting with the invis. And because it's the three of us, we're going to need quite a bit. That's three of them done. I think I've got everything I need. Minnie just wants me to do some brewing for him. I've got everything else at the XP farm. So that's where I'm going to go. And then I can get the prop four diamond chest plate and the sharpness for axe. Hope nobody's here. I hope nobody's set a trap. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, it seems pretty safe. Let's start with a bit more brewing. Let's see what we get. Prop four, come on, be on breaking three as well. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. I can make the strength for mini. I can get a little bit of efficiency on this axe, efficiency two, and then give it sharpness five, or sharpness four, should we say. Honestly, I get nervous before big battles like this. I, I, it's gonna be interesting to see what actually unfolds. I've also got two gas tiers here, which is very, very useful because I wanna make some end crystals. That way, if the fight is going to plan and I want to stay, keep everyone in the nether longer, I can heal the dragon. So everything is brewed and everything is crafted. Okay, Quiffs here, perfect. Arrived. Welcome, bro, you found the way. Yeah, yeah, okay. I managed to. Okay, first things first, you're gonna need these. Okay. Got him. Are you nice. are you aware of the plan? Are you do you know how it's gonna work? Mini ran me down. We're pretty much all gonna go in this and act as you. Yeah, so we all need to be exactly the same. I, so you need full enchanted armor and all enchanted tools. Doesn't matter the enchant. Um, I'm I wonder if he's willing to give up the two lives to kill you though. I don't think so, because he wants ten lives. Yeah, because what anything. he said to me is he was thinking about just killing Mini. Yeah, but he won't know which one Mini is. <laughs> yeah. This is okay, this is interesting. You you're know on what? the right you're on the I right side here, Quiff. Yeah, he he wanted me to be part of his team. Okay, you know what? This I'm putting my I'm putting my 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 lives on the line for this. Everything is in place. I've smoothed things over with Quiff, so we know what's going to happen. I just need to AFK up there, then the XP farm will work for him. And I want to make sure I have plenty of blocks. I'm in position, completely safe. I've told Minnie where to meet me, so I can give him the stuff. And all this time, Quiff is using the XP farm. I've told everyone to meet in 10 minutes. That should be plenty of time. Although I'm a little bit lost. I think I'm just going to make my own way home. Couldn't find my secret entrance to get to where Quiff is, but I do have a portal over here. I would grab some iron, but I'm completely full up on stuff, so we'll forget about that. And this chunk loader doesn't really work very well, so I'll just I'll just go through it at the normal portal. So Quiff is sorted out. Mini is about to be. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Famous last words, I guess. Giving him the splash and the strength and the invis. I'm going to make more suspicious stew with the last space that I have. And I might as well just fill the gaps with swiftness. I've, that's everything I need. Always want more dirt. That'll top me up. Nobody seems to have the stuff for Eyes of Ender. I don't really have enough pearls to go and do that. So I'm going to go to the nether 
and collect some. Oh, Clown says he's got some. All right, I'm grabbing extra. Nobody wants to use their stuff. The annoying thing is I don't have loot in three anymore, so I can't really easily get him. Clown nicked it off me. Anyway, I'm sure it won't be the end of the world. There's the first one. Man, I don't have space in this inventory. I'll have to put, like, a couple of stacks of blocks away just so that I have space for them. All right, I'm going to the fortress now. Oh, honestly, get out of here. Come on. What is this all about? Leave me alone. Those hoglins seriously just drive me crazy all the time. And the piglins. Anyway, the fortress is this way. Someone did destroy all the spawners, so I'm going to have to just find blaze that are roaming around. Wonder who it was that removed them all. But yeah, I'm still fairly confident that I will manage okay. So far, taking out four blaze. Haven't got a single drop. I thought it would be slightly better than this. Five blaze isn't nothing. But on the sixth one... Are you kidding me? Finally, the eighth blaze has dropped. There we go, a second one, and finally a third. Yeah, if I provide six eyes of ender, that's got to be enough. If people want more than that, then they can chip in and help. This is the moment, ladies and gentlemen. I've got everything I need. We're going to meet at spawn, and we are going to go to the stronghold and fight the ender dragon. It's an exciting moment. That's going to open up so many new things, like the end city loot. Shulker boxes, I can't wait to be able to use shulker boxes. It'll make life so much easier for storage. It's going to be amazing, and I really hope I don't die, okay? I've got four lives. I don't want less than that. I just want the plan to work. Hi, SB. Hi, guys. Yeah, what have you been planning? We, yeah, we, we, we literally were, we literally had a sleepover. Oh, oh, I wasn't invited. Thanks, guys. I just have to leave. Sorry, we were you waiting for you. I'm sorry. I, I, I was going back Look, to my base when you said sleep. Mini was the only member who hasn't spent a night in my bed yet, so we had to, you know, make sure that happened. I thought I was the first. You think that's what they all say. So the eye says that it is in this direction. Oh, yo, I was right. I said left. So you did say it was going to be left, and it was indeed. Anyway, confrontation time. Who's nicked my horse, and where is it? Uh, I think Quip has it. I can, I can, <laughs> with a small payment, I can tell you exactly where it is. All I can say it's, is it better uh, be back. It better be back next episode. <laughs> According to the eyes, we want to dig down right about here. I think so. I guess you can make your own tunnels. Don't don't use mine. Unless you want to use mine, you can, I guess. Quiff doesn't oh. care. He's going. He's in. Yo, we're in, boys. We're, we're in. in the stronghold. Okay. First one to find it gets an extra life. Go, 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 go. Uh-oh. Found it. No, you <laughs> didn't. didn't. found anything. <laughs> okay, well, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a master at... Oh, no. I'm a master at finding these, so don't you worry. I found the beginning. Yep, I found the starter staircase. Found diamonds. Let's go, baby. I found it. Okay, I found the portal room. I'll, I'll put all the eyes in. You ready, guys? Yep. Yes. I'm ready. Time. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. We're here. Let's get off this island. Sweet. Or, what on it? I just got endermite. Okay, I nearly just got knocked off by endermite, but I'm here. All right, guys. Nice peaceful battle. Peace, peace, come on. Well, guys, are we are we trucing or what's uh? The dragon's the main. Uh... Oh, these endermite. These endermite are causing trouble. I think I'm gonna drink a potion, guys. What potion's that? I think I will as well. You know. <laughs> Hi, okay, <laughs> boys. All right, we can talk about this. How's it, how's it going? Mini, are you, are you attacking Quip uh, Cloud? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't want to accidentally hit me, Clown, you know? What happens if you do that? <laughs> okay, I see how it is here. Oh, oh he didn't land that. He's a fast boy, you know? Very fast. Yeah, he's, 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 he's hiding at a tower. He's gonna try and kill the Ender Dragon. I need to, yeah, I need to get out three people on him. She's like a stack of manhunt right here. <laughs> it actually is. <laughs> Except I can't fight back at all. Not at all. Well, why can't you fight back, man? Well, you know, because some of you are gonna. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be, gotta be careful with some of them, don't you? Luckily, I can discern some of you now. Discern. Wow, well, I see invisible people going for me. I see how it is. Yeah, we don't know who's who. Yo! All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Clown's got one of them. <laughs> well, the dragon's still alive and kicking. Oh, what a what a shot, Quip! Blindness. What do you mean blindness? <laughs> hey, yo, I I get blind. <laughs> 
<laughs> How have you got blindness? Quiff, are you gonna? Are you gonna Quiff, are you gonna? Are you, what are you doing, Quiff? Are you gonna? Are you battling? Or are you just observing? Bro, I got hit with a blindness. Oh, blindness. Oh, so now you're attacking me. Oh wait. <laughs> This is the most fun I've had in years. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this dragon's dying. Quiff, do something. Good job, SP had a contingency plan. Oh. Oh, it's me. Hey. Hi, SP. I'm still, still safe. <laughs> where is Quiff? Well, I kind of knocked him off the edge. I don't know where he went. Did he not? He went to do something devious, I'm sure. I mean, Clark, I, I ain't going to kill you. I was just there to, to cause you trouble, you know? <laughs> yeah, really? Is that so? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I don't want to use up my immunity just yet, but if I can, you know, damage your armor a little bit, that's always nice. I, I did actually get hit by you before, you know, but I, I won't, I won't, <laughs> I won't enact it. Well, to be honest, it's a magical moment. Might as well, uh, embrace it. Because I don't know where Quiff's gone. Well done for surviving, clown. Thank you. You know? And, uh, how you know? What's the point, eh? What's the point? I can just yeah, do it as much as I want. What's the point? What's the point? I just want to weaken your armor, you know? It's just going to be annoying for you. You know? Just get rid of the shield. I don't really know what the, the, the plan is for the egg, you know? Um, uh, me neither. I mean... Last time I did this with someone, it went in the void. Do you want to just kind of go evens on it? <laughs> did I blow it up? Did I blow up the no, egg? No, no, got I it. got it. I expected them two to do better. I was like doing all the damage and I was like, I can't kill him. I've just got to soften him up for them. And then they, where were they? I'm going through. So right. see you later, guys. I have a plan. I plan to trap everyone else in the end. But doing that will require quite a few items, starting with redstone. And I also want a nether portal at the stronghold so I can get there really, really quickly. So I'm going to go over to the stronghold and set that up. Time is of the essence. I've got to be very speedy in today's episode. So good thing most of the journey is over water. I can get there very, very quickly in that case. It's actually only about a thousand blocks from my house, which is good because in the nether, that's about 200 blocks, which can be traveled across very very, very quickly indeed. We're not a million miles away now. You see, I wrote down the exact coordinates of the portal room. And it's here. There you go. Made my tunnel down. This is the room that I want to be able to get to very easily. So I'm going to sneak a portal into the wall. Which people might find, to be honest. If they do, I don't mind. It's not the end of the world. Now let's light it up. Hope it just links to a brand new one. Yeah, I think it does. Fantastic. And I'm going to travel back in and start looking for redstone underneath this area. I'm sure there's got to be a cave down here somewhere. Okay, well, not a cave, but I just dug straight onto the ore, so that's, that's even better. There's quite a few of them, and with my fortune, probably it's going to be enough, I'm hoping. And just in case, I'll dig down a little bit further into a mine shaft. Okay, nice. Start off by getting rid of this spawn. Oh, and dripstone. You can never have too much of that. And I found more redstone. Fantastic. So I'll mine all that up. I'm thinking I could set a little sneaky dripstone trap. I don't even know if it would work, because I haven't really tested it. But I'm thinking it could be like a digging down trap. Yeah, I'd, I've never set one up like this before. Oh, there's redstone galore. So just straight up might not do enough damage to take out the player, but we can always see. And I'm also going to hurry up and get out of this place now because I've got everything I need and I don't want to be down here forever. So the plan I'm thinking for the trap is put stone about here and then a massive long dripstone. Okay, this is risky if the dripstone falls, but I don't know how big a dripstone can be, but I'm just going to make it really, really, really long. No idea how this is going to work. I need to test it because one dripstone alone won't kill them, but one massive one might just have to do enough damage because it'll... it'll hit them multiple times. So, something like that. Let's see. And then, they're going to land. They're probably going to take damage here. They're going to try an MLG and mess it up. PvP's just come on. Okay. I'm going to go through the end and get home, but hopefully it gets them. There's also a bunch of new quests to get extra lives. I'm not going to say them all right now, but they are linked in the description. And all of those are definitely something I'll be making the most of. Let's place all of this down and grab the Fortune 3 pick to mine it all up. Fantastic. Got over two stacks. Next, I need more cobble, which I, I tend to just get from mining my base. And I'm going to use this to craft a dispenser, some observers, pistons, and a bunch of other resources. The only things I'm missing is some TNT, which I don't think 
think I have. I haven't got any sand knocking about and I need a load more bones. So I know just the way to sort that. I'm going to go ahead and visit my mob farm from there. I get all the gunpowder I need for TNT. I can get all the bones I need because I'm going to need bone meal. And there is also an iron farm in that vicinity, which is just going to be very, very handy. Yeah, farms <laughs> just make my life so, so much easier. I'm not far off, but it also might as well grab a bunch of sand on the way because I'd like a stack of TNT and that is going to require four stacks of sand. Okay, I got that really, really fast. I've got five and a half. I suppose it's always good to have a little bit spare. Here is the mob farm and then the chest is underwater. I might as well boat to it, save some time, be nice and speedy. But I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure there's more than five stacks of gunpowder in here. At least I hope there is. There, oh, there is a lot of gunpowder. I didn't think there'd be this much. That is five stacks. Let's craft all of that up. And then I have space for a bunch of bones and a load more of it. It's amazing. PvP is still on, so I have got to be careful. I ain't got any strength on me, which is the only worry. But then again, it's only Quiff or Mini that can attack me, so I'm, I'm, I'm not that worried, really. <laughs> I don't have to be too scared of them, too. There's a bunch of iron here that I can grab as well. We've got the space for it. Might as well. And in fact, I have even more space. I'll craft them into iron blocks. Amazing. I'm completely rich off iron as well now. I might as well head back through the nether, since it is a much, much quicker way home. Here's my pathway. I'll just follow this along till I reach my portal. And you can also see the portal to the stronghold down there, so I know exactly where it is, which means it's very quick and easy to get to. As soon as somebody goes through an end gateway, I'll know and they get the advancement. And that's when I can begin my plan, because I've got absolutely everything ready. It's now just time to execute it, and I reckon they might be waiting until PvP's off to go through, so we'll, we'll see anyway. I know they say this all the time, but I think this time my plan really is completely foolproof. I've been waiting around and Quiff has just gone through an end gateway, but he's not the man I want. It's Clown that I'm after. So I'll get every single one of my items ready, and I'm going to hang out near the nether portal down there, collecting ender pearls because they're, they're, they're just a handy thing that I already used up a lot of in the previous episode. I'm also fairly confident no one's coming after me because Quiff's in the end gateway. I don't think Minnie would dare and Clown can't. So yeah, that makes me fairly comfortable that I'm safe, but time will tell to say for sure. Also, the only way Clown can avoid my trap is if he rebirds the ender dragon. That's my biggest worry. I have to hope when he's in the end, he doesn't have end crystals because he might be going for tipped arrows. Or because Quiff's just been there, he might decide he wants to make a new end gateway and that's why he rebirds the ender dragon. Just don't know. All I do know is that there's a good chance this trap works, but there are still one or two factors out of my control. I also think once I've trapped the end portal, I will spend time getting loot in three and strength. But until that point, I want to remain vigilant and I want to remain ready. Quiff is just getting all the advancements and Clown still hasn't gone through, but I know where my portal is and patience really is the Key. Just getting a little extra obsidian from this portal. Since I can't think where else I'll get it from in the nether, so I'm just using every opportunity. I, I'm kind of sick of getting ender pearls. I know Clown's going to go to the end today. It's just a matter of time. Whilst I wait, I might as well also build a bridge that connects back to everywhere else. I feel like considering how long it's taken Clown to actually go to the end, he must be going for gas tears. I really think getting those end crystals is part of his plan. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to keep in the area. PvP has come back on, so I have to be careful. But I'm going to go into this fortress and see what's going on. Mm, this looks fresh. I don't know why anyone would build up there, but I don't remember it being here in the previous episode. It's just all very, very interesting. There's also not a single blaze spawn here, which is very, very annoying. But that's what I get from moving all the spawners. Aha, now we've got a few. Look, this is just such a fruitless task when you haven't got loot in three. Come on. One rod. That's all I'm asking. 50-50 chance. Oh, we got it. Nice. Remote getaway. Okay, it's go time, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for, and I'm miles away in a fortress. It's fine. I'm not far. I'm about a one minute walk, and I fully have the plan. It's going to take me about four minutes to set it up once I get to the end. I've practiced this. I've tested it. There's nothing more I can do. Just got to get a move on. So through we go. Into the oh, hello, buddy. Right. Don't hit him by mistake. Into there. Block it back up, and straight through the portal. Got to hope Quiff doesn't come back. Okay, we're good. What on earth is, is above me? I have no clue. Okay, that's the way to the end gateway. Clown Pierce has also made it to the end city, okay? I feel like he's going to be doing a lot of exploring. My goodness, there's a lot of cobwebs here, isn't it? Anyway, to begin with, I need to remove some bedrock. Pretty simple to do. We just go like this with the TNT cobble. There we go. And that is the first one broken, which means I've just got three to go. This end portal needs to be removed, and I need to have them all trapped in the end. Once trapped in the end, the only way out is to die. Well, that's my plan anyway, because that is mission accomplished. Let's now get the dirt, the mushrooms, and we need bone meal. Clown Pierce is still messing about with shulkers. That's great news. I have to grow the mushrooms in a certain way, exactly like this. Then, when I go like that... Come on. There we go. It's grown. And look at that. It's broken some of the portal. I do the exact same thing next to it. More of the portal's gone. It's happening. Now to repeat it here. Grow the mushroom. Okay. See, this is what happens if I get it wrong. I have to remember to place a block five above. Then when it grows, it can only grow so high and it breaks the portal. Okay. Just a few more to go. We're getting there. PvP is on. I hope nobody sneaks up on me. That 
could be a disaster if they do, but another one's down. Fantastic. Which means we're getting to the important bit, the bit that involves the redstone. Let's go ahead, grow this mushroom. Okay, there is just one portal block left. I'm going to go like that so I don't accidentally go through it. Then I need a mushroom here, and next to it, a dispenser that's going to put bone meal. Don't know what I'm going to dispense for now. I'll just have stone just to test it. We're going to have redstone dust running along, followed by two observers. Okay, yeah, it's working as intended. Then a piston is going to push them into it. I've got redstone going into the piston to a lever which will be on this very block. So when I flick this, it's going to push that and start dispensing on there. Fantastic. Everything is in place. I just have to put the bone meal in. Don't get this wrong, SP, otherwise you're trapped in the end as well, okay? We break that, flick the lever and go through. And we're out. And the mushroom should have grown as I went through the portal, trapping everyone in the end. Both Quiff and Clown should theoretically be stuck in the end. I might just have done it, ladies and gentlemen. I might just have done it. Unless he has taken end crystals with him, I will have done it. So that's the big worry now. I've just got to wait and see. I've got to I've got to wait and see if Clown gets the advancement about rebirth and the Ender Dragon, because that is an advancement you get. I've got to wait and see if the mushroom definitely grew and, and the end portal's out. Who's this? Is this Quiff? Oh, Quiff's out. Quiff, I come in peace. Bro, I heard some sound and I was like, yo, yo, I'm, I'm not again when I'm building. I'm finally you know, you're building. Out. I do have a present for you because you have been helping me with XP farm. You can take two of these. Well, I thank you very much. By the way, did you make a trap at the end? The end? Oh, the end portal, I should say, in the stronghold. Why? Wow, what makes you think that? Because uh, I dug at the exact cords, but I was one off a massive pointed dripstone trap. Well, let's just say I put that dripstone there, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I've trapped the NC. So if someone walks in, they're going to die to the uh, dripstone. Really? Why, did you take the dripstone? Yeah, yeah, I stole it all. And I was like, okay, yo, I'm going to make my own trap. Two of these from Quiff. What a nice gesture. What a nice gift. Tell you what, everything's going right in this episode. Now, it's a shame that he's not in the end, uh, end city. You know, it's stuck in the end. But it's now only Clown stuck there. The only way Clown's getting out at this rate is if he has the end crystals or if somebody goes and helps him. I hope nobody goes and helps him. Who knows? You never know with that man. Also, yeah, Quiff nearly fell from a dripstone trap. He just avoided it. And now that trap is no more. Oh, well, I've got more important things to think about. Such as a brand spanking new shulker box. Oh, it's beautiful. I've got all this space to put things in. And I've kind of got no idea what I'm going to use it for. I, at the moment, I don't really... I, like, I have stuff that needs to go in. But I'll also use it as and when I actually need loads and loads of things. So first things first, I've got to remember the way to the XP farm. I don't need the XP, but for some reason I decided that that's where all my brewing stuff is. No, I need to just have some brewing stuff at home and some brewing stuff there. But oh no, I've got to make it all complicated unnecessarily so. It really isn't needed. Thankfully, I do know the way to get there very easily. Here we are. Sincerely hope there is not any kind of trap on the other side. Not on this one. And this is actually redstone all by this portal. I don't know why I never remembered that. Oh, that's a good point. I should have a look for lapis. Never any harm in a little bit of caving, is there? Wow, there's loads of redstone down here. I don't know why I never got it before. And since I'm someone that makes a lot of traps and a lot of machines and a lot of farms, it's always coming in useful. And lapis is that other thing that I love to find. Th these are basically the two things that I can't farm at the moment. Maybe I could do a raid farm further down the line. But honestly, that, that just sounds like a lot of effort. Instead, I will just stick to the old mining way. I mean, realistically, I should have more enough lapises because I keep giving it to other people. Which is the price you pay when you rent out your XP farm and say that lapis is included. So I guess I can deserve it. And look at this. We've got the lapis. Fantastic for now. Oh, diamonds behind it as well. That's beautiful. Just two diamonds? Or can I dig around and find a couple more? Plus just two. But you know what? I can't complain. I'm still very happy with that. And I've realized what I'm going to put in this sugar box. I'm going to put all the brewing stuff in. So I don't have to come here again when I need it. I think that's quite a smart idea. Look at this. What a cave. And it opens up loads. No one's been here before. I should use this opportunity to get more diamonds more stuff. I'm just in like a no pressure situation now. I've, I've done what I needed to do in the episode. Uh, wait, has somebody been here? I think that's just part of the game. A slime! Oh, I haven't found slime. Oh, I don't have loot in three. No slime, don't burn! Come on, guys! I need the slime balls. What's going on? Don't all burn. That's it. I got one. I got... I, I, one's enough. At least I can make one sticky piston. Good to know that that is a slime trunk, but to be honest, it would just be easier if I took the time to find a swamp. I'll, I'll do it eventually. But three slime balls, that's great. I should have got loot in three by now, and then uh, I would have had to get more. Oh, another diamond. Nice. Is amethyst up there. I have no idea what I would use amethyst for, though. So for now, it's getting ignored. Some diamonds in the roof that I missed. I walked past these earlier. Or is it just a singular one? It looks like it's just... Is somebody th what are you doing? Look at that. Poisoned at point blank range. Last thing I wanted. 40 seconds of it. Well, thankfully, with prop four, the poison doesn't really have an effect. But anyway, I'm, I'm looking 
looking around for diamonds here. That's the most important thing. I can also probably go to the end city eventually to get the diamonds, but now I kind of burnt that bridge, you know, trap, trapping clown there. If he doesn't get trapped there and he has end crystals to get out, the next episode I'll go searching end cities and see what I can find. But until that happens, mining is going to be my best method of getting gear. I also think the biggest use of the diamonds is just for repairing armor, actually, more than anything. Like, I've got the XP. Since mending's quite precious and I don't have it on everything, I tend to have to use diamonds to do the repairs. Oh, it's dungeon. Nice. I'm gonna break it. I, I don't really have any use for that. More redstone, I suppose. I could take that. Even the music this behind, because I, I have loads of that loot. Well, I don't have loads of music this, but they're, they're just kind of pointless to me. Ah, you know what? Just in case. All right, it's cat. You can't say no to cat. I think my portal's somewhere up this way. I'm a little bit lost, truth be told. Ha, yeah, there it is. Through, I'll go. I'll, I really hope that nothing goes wrong. You know what? We've got ender pearls. We should be fine. And here we are. The XP farm. Completely ready for me to get to work. We'll start with the brewing. At the exact same time, I can also use the fortune on my lapis. Strength is what I intend to make here, so let's get that on it. Also mine up the diamonds, which gives me 18 in total. Very happy with that. Then I'll take this shulker box. I could dye it yellow. Do I want to do that? No, I'll dye it blue. Fantastic. Yes, <laughs> that is now dyed. Those are now brewed. And basically, all the stuff in here that's useful can be placed into here. And while I'm at it, I'll craft a load more bottles, fill them up with water, and get them going in here. I always want backups of stuff. I also want to get a diamond sword made, because we're going to go and test it on here. So we've been Basically, need that loot in three. That's what I'm going for. Got those 70 levels. I might as well keep going till it happens. That is a really good sword. I think I should just keep that and then make another one. I'm running out of chance to get loot in here. Come on, come on, game. Just give it to me. Aha, there we go. Be more than just looting three, please. Okay, well, we have to accept it. I'm going to anvil it with this one. I think that makes a lot of sense. And then that's like the combat sword and this... It's just the general one. Oh, man. PvP's on. Okay, yeah, I've got to be a little bit more careful at this point. Like, I do have the strength on me, and I'll brew even more of it just to be safe. Perfect. Whilst the wait, I'm also going to do some crafting. I reckon I can never have too many gold blocks. Just be good to have on me. I can make loads of golden carrots with them and stuff like that, which is what my plan is. I'm also going to repair my armor. Yes, it uses levels, but in my opinion, good durability is very... Very important. And that's that. I'm finished here. I reckon I now should do some strip mining. Strip mining right down at the bottom of the world. Because that's the place where you find the most diamonds. And I'm not going to stop mining until I find a pretty large vein of them. Perfect. We have found the first ones. Is it just two? Don't tell me it's just two. It's got to be. It's three. All right. I'll, I'll accept that. I'll allow for three. That's pretty good. But it's not exactly where I want to be. So I'll just keep going. I'm still waiting for Clown to try and leave the end. I need to know if it worked. I'm across lava here. That might mean there's a cave by me. Only one way to find out. It looks like it. Very nice indeed. But it's is it a cave with diamonds? Or is it the cave that I was just in earlier? It also could be that. Well, it does have diamonds, and it's not the one I was in earlier. So, yeah, it's a, it's a double victory. Okay, well, it has a diamond. No, it has two diamonds. I take it back. It's worth dipping into here. Now then, oh, we've got a little bit of something here. It's very possible that underneath this lava, there's some diamonds. So, I'm, I'm blocking at the lava fall up just to see if it reveals anything. My biggest worry with the trap I've done for Clown is I've tested it over and over again in a single player world, and it's worked every single time. I'm blocked up the portal, making it impossible to get back and destroy the final portal block, but I've never tried it on a server. And that is where maybe it could behave differently and something could go wrong. I wish there was some way for me to check the end. There isn't. I just have to wait for Clown to try to leave, which is what makes it so very, very worrying indeed. Anyway, there wasn't anything underneath that lava. Just so that I didn't waste all my time, I'll mine up some redstone to make myself feel a bit better. And I'm pretty sure there's nothing left of this cave to check out. And I prefer to keep moving. Oh, hold on a second. No, no, no. Wait, this is where I came from, isn't it? I've been here before. But yeah, I want to keep moving as well because PvP's on. Don't want somebody to just ambush me. But when you're moving in a strip mine, it is harder to be tracked down. So let's swim into there. Fantastic. And away we go. I also think maybe I'm too high up. I think maybe I should be strip mining. What about this level? Is 57 a good level? I think so. Maybe in 58. Oh, I'll keep going lower. Okay, not that level. This is the level I'll search. This would be quicker if I had swift sneak, to be honest. But... I lost that somewhere down the line. I think I lost it in lava. And I haven't gone back to an ancient city since. I will be going back to a lot of ancient cities soon. I do plan to try and get a lot of notch apples. But that doesn't help me in this very moment whilst I search for those diamonds. Look at this. There's more. Now then, will there be more than two? There's... No. <laughs> Why is it only ever two? It's got to be three at least. Yeah, it is three. Okay, I'll, I'll take that at... at, at, at... Better than nothing, I suppose. But I would definitely have liked quite a bit more. More here? Is it three again? Is it just three every time I find them? I'm like trying to tell you guys, oh, if you strip mine of it, you'll find bigger veins like ones of eight. Apparently not. Apparently you just find ones of three every time. Oh, well, they do say things come in threes. I will continue mining because you just never know what you might stumble across. I actually wonder because of the slow crawling speed. It, 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 is it faster for me to just actually strip mine? I think it is, because I think per second I'm revealing more blocks overall. So until I have swift sneak, I'm changing to this method. PvP's now gone off again, which is fantastic. And I have not found any diamonds since changing methods yet. Maybe this isn't so good. Oh well, I suppose we'll soon see. The good thing about mining for diamonds and strip mining is any moment you could just find them. You just never know what you're going to come across, and then all of a sudden, they're there. I mean, I know it's not happening right now, but trust me, 
We're gonna find a good vein of seven at least any moment. Oh, I can hear mobs. We must be near a cave. All right, forget that any moment diamond is now thing. I wanna try and find out where this cave is. I think I've spotted it. Is this an open? Yes. Now then, there is a... Yeah, I don't wanna be near you. And does it connect to a mine shaft? Fantastic. Now we actually have time to explore this place. Oh, guys, get away from me. Yeah, the last time I was in a mine shaft, I was in a rush. Now, nothing to worry about. I should actually take the time to craft a pair of shears and gather up loads more cobwebs because I used up a lot in the end battle. They are a super useful thing to have in combat. Now I've got about a stack and a half of them, which is pretty good. And there appears to be another spawner down here. Just gotta try and navigate these spiders. All right, we quickly mine these. We break the spawner and then we get more cobwebs. It really is a foolproof plan. I feel like this really has been an episode where I've just made a lot of progress. Like, I managed to set my trap. It was a pretty quick one. I had to be careful. Yes, there was a lot of waiting around involved, but now that it's done, it's a waiting game. It's not really one... Like, if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. It's not a lot of time down the drain. It's still a very, very successful episode. I think the trap itself is a great idea. If it does work and it traps Clown, in the end, it's going to be interesting because... It's going to allow me to make more progress. He's going to kind of have his progress stunted. He's going to try and do something to get out of the end. And I just have to hope that he doesn't persuade Minnie or Quiff to let him out. Because I feel like that is what could happen. But if they agree to keep him there, then it's perfect. Or the other option is they go to the end as well. And they don't they don't realize it's trapped. They might go back to the end next episode. Hopefully, they, they, you know, they don't know what's happened by then. Anything could be the case. Look at this, a dungeon. Anything decent. A gold apple, they're good because they are uncraftable. Don't need the gunpowder because, as you know, I have unlimited of that. How many music discs of cat am I going to find this episode? That's, the, that's four of them I've seen. So yeah, not interested in bothering with them. So I get a little bit more redstone or clown face. Okay, I see how it is. Hang on a minute. Has it worked? Tell me it's worked. This has SP written all over it. <laughs> Why would I trap him in the end? He knows. He knows. <laughs> Quinn said, what is it? I said, I don't know where are you. Shall we come to you? He says he's at his house. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Unless somebody's done something to his base? No, he's not at his house. I bet he's still trapped in the end. He's, he, I don't know why he's telling Quiff this. He said, can't see you at your base, I'm there now. Obviously I'm not. And there's some minecart chests. Oh, a diamond, nice. And another minecart chest above. Yeah, this one's not as, oh, you know what, name tags, I feel like for some reason they're important. I don't, I don't know what, but maybe for some farm. Could make an enderman farm with that, that's, that's handy. My bad, I'll have to go to the end again. Said I might see him at the end then and ask if Quiff's coming. The end, I don't know if he's coming. I've already got a clown trap there. There's no way I get them both trapped. Another spawn of man, they're everywhere, and there's a lot of spiders around that one. In I go, it's broken, you guys can be dealt with, and I'll get a few more cobwebs. I'm at a point where I have no idea what's gonna happen. I hope Quiff doesn't go and help him, but I don't know, because Quiff ain't replying to our messages either. Another golden apple, nice, and PvP's just come on. And I think I'm getting out of here. I'm happy with what I've got, you know, ended up with 13 di diamond ore. A diamond itself. I'll dig my way out. This is actually quite a good cave as well. There might be some good stuff in it. Just when you thought the mining trip was over, it wasn't. And... More diamonds found. That really is a turn up. I don't think I need to get more dripstone, really. I mean, you, I know you can never have too much dripstone. It's great for traps and all that good stuff. But right now, yeah, I need to. I, I probably need to find out what quits up. To. Oh, I never die. <laughs> can't say no. Couldn't find any for ages, and now I'm trying to leave. I can't stop finding them. All right, now I've got enough stuff, and I'm getting up and out of here. Make sure that everything is absolutely up. Quiff has helped Clown escape. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I'm gonna kill Quiff for that. And the next time I saw him, that's exactly what I tried to do. It seems that he's with Clown Pierce, but Clown Pierce won't save you, Quiff. Just a little warning. And you can't run forever. You've got 15 minutes to stay alive, my boy. It's great. Clown Pierce can't do a thing. Thank goodness for that. Oh, I am a little worried that he's going to have way more ender pearls than me. Alright guys, the bad news is I'm, I think I've lost him. Yeah, he got away. But we've released all these quests and if you're the first person to complete any of them, you get an extra life. Although you can't go above 10 lives, so if Clown completes one of them, it just means that no one else can. And I decided to try and trap a warden. Yeah, I, I thought it'd be the quickest one on the list. And to do that, I needed to build a tunnel and a staircase for it. So I'm going to build a staircase down right about here. This is quite the long process, but it's got to be done. And then I think I'm going to add actual stairs as well so that I can quickly get up and out of here faster than the warden can. That's, that's the main thought. My goodness, this is a long way down. But now we are getting to deep slate levels, which is very nice. Now I have set a shrieker off twice, but I have no idea where it is, which is worrying. Great care needs to be taken at this point because I can't have the warden spawning before I'm ready for it. So far, so good. It's nearly all the way down. I'm also going to add a staircase so I can quickly run up. Yeah, this is perfect. I think in order for the wad to fit, I might have to get rid of an extra layer of the roof. It's all looking good. I'll just add a bit more here and stone cut a load more stairs. Now I reckon this might just be what's needed. So I get a warden, 
I lure him about here and he follows me all the way up. With that, I was ready. I'd built a tunnel, I'd placed blocks on a route, and I'd got my snowballs. So let's do it. All right, I don't think anyone's going to sabotage me. It's just me and Clown Pierce on the server at the moment. And I really hope that it says that I have five lives. I have to. I'm pretty sure this is a tall enough tunnel. It's not a tall enough tunnel, is it? Oh, right, I've just got to <laughs> just let me just break some of this roof. The warden is like a block taller than the player, so that's why it needs a bigger area to get through. But I think that's fine now. I just haven't finished mine out all upstairs. All right, I've got my snowballs. I've got my swiftness. Just need to try and get a warden. Is there a shrieker up here? This could be the perfect location for it. I don't see one. It's like all the shriekers have been mined up. Probably it was me or something, was it? Who knows? All I know is I'm struggling to find one. I know this one kind of over in that direction. So I think that's the one I'll have to activate. It seems like all the others have just been mined up. Maybe Clown or Quiff did it. Aha! I've found it. So hopefully I can make a bit of a pathway through here. It's all set up and ready. I don't think anything could go wrong. Let's do it. I'm going to drink an initial swiftness as well. Here we go. This will activate it. I don't know where it's going to climb out of the ground. That is the only worry. There you are. Okay. Name tagged you. Yep, it's a bad idea. Now just follow the snowballs. Totally forgot I need to mine away the roof. This is going to make him angry, but anyway, we're okay. That's it. Along here you go. Just keep following the snowball sounds. What am I doing, guys? Really, what am I doing? Okay, he seems like he's angry at me now. Um, see you later then. I'm running. Okay, this is where the darkness becomes... Whoa, clown, what are you doing? Clown's crazy. He's trying to get me killed. What a sabotage moment. Okay, I've got to end the pearl away. I should be okay. Clown is, is going to make me die to a warden if I'm not careful. What a guy. He thought that was going to work. <laughs> Takes more than that. He doesn't want me getting extra life. Where is the warden? The warden is still down here, but where the warden is, I have no idea. Thing is, it's probably my best interest to get out of here whilst the warden's angry. Because I need to work out where it is. It might be on my staircase. The, the, the plan might still be here to try and get the warden up. But if I go near it when it's still mad, it's it's certain death. Made it out. It's nice to see the sunshine. But where is Clown Pierce? And where is my warden? So it was back to the drawing board. I didn't trap the warden, but at least I was still alive for now. And with Clown got on the tunnel whilst fishing, I decided it would be best for me to leave the warden alone for a few days. Because then I was feeling better, I was ready to get Quiff, and I was ready to work towards other life quests. I don't know how far out Quiff has traveled, but it seems to be a long, long way because I've got a, 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 like a, a thousand blocks in this boat and he's still further ahead. Is that something he's built? It looks like it's some sort of dirt platform he's created. And he's on it. There he is. Is he waiting for me? I'm going to try and sneak underwater to him. He's obviously doing... I don't know what he's doing. But hopefully underwater, he won't see me. If I just keep low to the ground, I might be able to get the sneak attack on him. There's his boat. If I can destroy his boat, he can't get away. Okay, let's do this. First we destroy his boat. And now the chase is on. Okay, I have this... He has it as well. Okay, he's tw swimming away. Okay, he knows that he's in trouble. All right, but as long as he stays underwater, maybe he thinks he's going to be all right. Okay, this is this is going to be interesting. I do have swiftness if I want it. Okay, yeah, so he thinks he can pearl away. He won't, though. He can't. All right, where's he going? Okay, he's gone underground, and we just need to try and find him. We've just gone either above him or below him. I'm going to guess below. Please be below. Hopefully I've gone the correct way for this. It's in a skulk area. I hear him digging, guys. He's somewhere here. I don't know exactly where he is, but I use the tracker I can. I would only have one minute to kill him, which would be a bit of a challenge, but not impossible. Is he down here somewhere? He's just gone quiet and silent on me. He's made it. He's made a grand escape. For now. <laughs> for now, ladies and gentlemen. Time is up. I don't want to go near him. I want to let him think that he's got away. Hey, SB. Bro, I was AFK. And I tapped back in. I heard. I'm like, wait, was that a drowned? Bro, I see you chasing me. I'm like, okay, bro. Is that why you're just on that platform, eh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, okay, let me just check somewhere. I was reading about the advancements. I'm like, why is he traveling so far away? Some consolation, I guess. Managed to get some diamonds out of it. And don't you worry, guys, because I'm, I'm hopeful that Quiff does not log off till PvP comes back on. We were in a deep dark, so I'm gonna just try and strip mine around right at the bottom of the world and see if there's any ancient cities in the area. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Didn't think I'll be back here so soon. My plan, the next time I was going to come to one of these, 
was I was going to use a warden disabler to make it easier. But I guess that's going out the window. There's definitely stuff in here, but... Oh, okay, well, we just got exactly what I wanted. And I've just set a shrieker off. Okay, what I didn't want to do. Oh, well, well um... Go ahead, search a little bit of an area quickly. So the idea is, if I grab myself the grey wall, you can actually mine a shrieker before it goes off. So when it comes to looting this place, that is going to be my plan. It's like the worst ancient city in the world for chests, to be honest. Well, there is one down there. Only one shrieker, so that's a good sign. You know what I should have done? All that string that I've got from my general mob farm, that should be put towards... Anything good nearby? Oh, diamond leggings, yes. I think I'm just going to put those right there. A swift sneak, but I'll take swift sneak too. That's also handy. All that string that I've got for my general mob farm, I could craft together for wool next time. But I wasn't really you know, prepared for this. It wasn't part of my plan. My main plan was to build a wand disabler next time I came to one of these. But when you come across one and you're in the area, you should always loot it, shouldn't you? I mean, it, it just it just makes sense. A little bit worried now because I'm out of blocks. And there's a chest here. There's a warden beneath me, though. But he's there. He obviously knows where I am. What am I going to use to build up? We're going to use crafting tables because times are hard, okay? And if this, this better have a notch up and make it all worthwhile because this guy knows where I am. Oh, it's pretty terrible, okay. He's definitely angry at me. We're going to end up all away. There we go. Ooh, straight on the chest with the diamond leggings. Do I take him? I have to. I have to. Yes, right. Let's now move. All I know is he's after me, okay? He's going hard for me. He's going fast and fast as, uh, as he can. Okay, I've already been here. I, I, I know I have, maybe I haven't checked every single chest, but it's time to get Warden spawning left, right, and center. I can hear them. I can hear another one coming through. It's just the fact that I haven't really got any blocks. That worries me. Quiver just left the game, which means I can't even go after him now. Keep setting these shriekers off to just keep running for my life. Okay, I, hear, I hear someone's footsteps really close. Keep moving, SP. Just keep moving. Now I am stressed. To say the least. <laughs> What's going on? Another shriek is going off. Okay, there must be about six wardens down here now. If not more. Come on, SP. Just hang in there. Just keep moving. Just got to find a place where I'm away from everyone. Not sent another warden off. And then I can dig out of here. I think this might be the spot. Go like this. Oh. I hear him. He's going to kill me. I'm going to die to a warden here, guys. I can hear him. Please, no. Not like this. Not like this, please. Come on, SP. One more hit and I'm dead. No! I... No! RIP, SP. And of course, Clown Pier successfully trapped my warden at spawn, so now I can't get the extra life for that. I guess I'll just put on some armor, grab plenty of food, then head through the nether, go and get my stuff. I roughly know where the coordinates are. If I build a portal right about here, should bring me somewhere close. Yeah, it's brought me right at the deep dark. I can hear wardens below me. Do I really want to do this? Call me crazy, but I'm going to pearl to there and then attempt to get to my stuff. Found my crafting tables. Don't think there's a warden nearby. Got right, everything except the pickaxe because I need enough inventory space to pick everything up just to stop it from despawning. And it's, oh, we've got it all. Okay, fantastic. Let's just throw some of it out so we can pick everything up. End the despawn time. How did I not escape? I must have been so close to being high enough not to get hit again. Another bad day at the office for SP737, but I've got my stuff back. Leave that area and go back home. Today we either gain a life or we die. There's going to be no in between. I'm going to be doing something very, very risky again. And I will be doing stuff to do with the wardens later on as well. It's going to be a, an interesting episode, but I've prepared well. It's raining, it's dark. Okay, that's no good. I just need to gather up materials for this contraption. I also need to try and clear some space in my inventory. I've got absolutely full of stuff. We're going to keep a strength and a fire res in here and then all the rest can go like that. Regen 2 is going to be key. I think I got that from an ancient city. Strength is good. We're going to need some healing though, which I don't think I have any of. No, so we're going to go ahead and start by bringing that in here. We have a glistering melon. This, honestly, this trap, well, it's not a trap actually. It's a, uh, it's a machine that's going to allow me to get an extra life, but it's all very, very risky, which is, is just not what you want to hear really, is it guys? But on the plus side, I have tested it so, so much. I mean, I couldn't have tested it more times, okay? I, I've, I've spent like hours and hours working on this, so I really hope it all works. Now, we are going to need pistons. We're going to need redstone, levers, trap, everything in here, actually. It's, uh, it's very handy. We won't need observers. I'm going to need one torch. I'm going to need a bunch of repeaters. It's also going to be kelp. There's going to be... I just need one of you. He's a brood. I will grab them. Two of them can go in here, and yeah, okay, that's, that's everything I'm going to need for this plan. You see, one of the quests to get an extra life is to survive in the void, but take 10 hearts of damage in the void. And I realize I can do it without a notch apple. Is this entire procedure going to be quite risky? Yes, yes it is. I think I've got everything I need. I need to be able to break bedrock. I want to be able to disable 
a warden later on as well. There's there's loads and loads of different things. And to do this entire thing, I want to be far, far away from every single player. If one of them interferes and, and disables some of my redstone or anything like that, it will mean that I will just die, which will be kind of embarrassing. So I've got to be very, very careful that nobody gets involved, ruins anything for me. And I need to make sure I do this quest before anyone else. Because I know Quiff's got a Not Chapel, Minnie's got a Not Chapel, Clown's got a Not Chapel. Any one of them could do this quest. But yeah, I have to spend so much time now focusing on gaining lives just because I've lost way too many. So everything I do is going to be quests towards that. Also, one worry I have just realized, I haven't really thought about, is the fact that I'm kind of low on food. I've only got five of these. I do have a sword in my ender chest that's got looting and fire aspects, so I think maybe I should use that as an opportunity. PvP's on. Okay, let's just keep moving and uh, get as far away from here as possible. But yeah, as I'm traveling, I can go ahead and take out any cows that there are around, any pigs. Use the fire aspect. I, I could do with it not raining, though, because then they won't be cooked meat. Unless we're under here, that could, uh, that could work. Because yeah, five steak is soon going to run out. And I, I definitely need plenty of food with where I'm going because there won't be any way to get some. Oh, look at this. It's pigs. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll worry about that when the rain stops. I'm sure it can't carry on for the entire episode. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm going to go over to where the general mob farm is as well. Because that is going to allow me to get a load of string. I can turn that string into wool. And then when I'm in ancient cities, it won't be a problem because I'll have loads and loads of wool. Not that I need too much wool. Because of what I'm going to be doing, like my warden disabler. But yeah, anyway, it's all going to work. Better safe than sorry with the wool. Free crafting table. Don't mind if I do. I can never have too many of them. I have 10 at the moment, so I'm always I'm always collecting more. There's the farm. I should also use this opportunity to be, do a bit of switching around. I don't think anybody's nearby, but I've still got to keep my wits about me. So we'll go ahead, put that back in there. Is there anything that I could just kind of shift out of my inventory? Like the, the thing is, you've just got to be ready for PvP at all times. I guess I probably don't need all the cobbled deep slate. I just need plenty of space, so... <laughs> because I've got to obviously get some strength. I think I'm fine. I think... I don't know. Quiff and Minnie seem to be dealing with each other. And Clown can't outright attack me. He could still trap me, but he can't outright attack me. So, I've got a... You know, I've, I've got a bit of a, a, a thing there where I don't have to worry too much about it. So, we'll swim over here. Our depth stride is very nice. Very nice and speedy. And then, we're going to get myself the string out of there. I know I have loads of string. I have loads of gunpowder as well, which is good for TNT, but string is the main thing. So let's go ahead and grab one, two, three, and four, and then we can turn that into a stack of wool. Fantastic. Do we grab a little bit more as well? I reckon we do. We go one. Let's just grab all the string we've got. So that's that's all of that. We'll put the, the rest in there. It's just going to be handy. Okay. It's going to be handy later on. From there, I've got my boat down and I am sailing. Now, me and Quiff kind of sailed over in that direction. So I'm going to sail this way because I don't think this has been explored. So this is this is the direction that I'm going to search. I do want to find new ancient cities as I'm exploring, but that's that's not a super important thing. First things first, do that quest, get the extra life. New lands, it's an acacia biome. Very nice indeed. And the area does seem to get a bit mountainous over there. Whether it actually opens up into proper mountains, I'm not sure. Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's just a, a small thing. But there is also a jungle in this. And doesn't that look cool through the rain and the mist? And the ocean continues. I'm going to keep using it then. We want to be far, far away. If anybody interferes, it would be the biggest disaster ever. And I can keep my eye out for mountains. Uh, you know what? It's just worth having a look in that room, Paul. You never know. Like a one in a hundred. Oh, what is that? That is massive. That, whoa, look at the size of that. There could be an ancient city under there. Just a possibility. Now, yeah, we have a shipwreck here. But yeah, as I said, there's a 1% chance of getting a notch apple in a room portal. So it might be worth having a little look. I think it's 1%. Don't quote me on that. Is it a treasure here or is it is it just purely... Is it just the rubbish chest? It is the rubbish chest. Once, okay, I, was, I, I wonder what Quip was doing. I thought for a second it might be a death message or something, but it wasn't. Nothing, uh, Nothing's happened. You know, PvP's on. You can't be too careful. And I just walked into lava. Anyway, <laughs> where is this chest? I can't even see it. Just see creepers everywhere. Well, maybe that'll reveal it. Nope, feel like I've been scammed. Can't see a thing. You know me, I just love wasting time. Anyway, I want to go over there. Mangrove swamp as well. I don't know what the usage of that is. You can get frogs there, that's about it. But it's cool to know nonetheless. The rain stopped. Thank goodness for that. Let me get my sword out, see if there's any animals around here. Gotta be something. Oh, something other than chickens. Come on, I just need a few cows. And then once I have that little bit of extra food... Now, now bear in mind, I... Hold on a second, do I have anything in my inventory chest? I know I have suspicious stew, but yeah, not got actually any proper food in my inventory chest. I used to have so much steak, didn't I, back in the day, and then it's, um... It's all been eaten bit by bit. I got, I got so much steak because I got so much leather. Where are all the animals? Is this like explored chunks so that they've already been taken out? I have no idea, but 
This is a bit of a bit of a letdown. Just chickens everywhere I look. Every corner. I, I don't think anyone's been here, but you never know. Some people have explored far and wide. Just accept it and go for mutton, maybe? I mean, it might be it might be worth it. Don't want to be wasting time unnecessarily, you see. Yeah, between me, I've got suspicious stew, I've got mutton, and I've got steak. That should get me through at least what I'm about to do. And I've found a cow. That's more like it. Where were you before? There's a pig over there as well. Here's what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to throw away all that. Take out the pig. Eat a bit of him. You know what? I might as well just keep that. I, I don't think I need dirt. How much dirt is here? Mm, yeah, I don't need it. And then let's dig down. Let's see what happens. I hope nobody's tracking me. They're just going to ruin everything if they do. Let's go down here. Let's begin digging down. Like, I, if I find an ancient city, it'll be nice. But I'm not wanting to find that. I've got a different plan ahead of me. Okay, we've made it to water. I'll, I'll go for a little swim down then. This would be so easy if there's nobody else on the server, but I, I get really nervous when there could be someone else. <laughs> At least the digging down's going well. It doesn't look like there's going to be any deep dark below me. There's lava down there. Okay, I want to avoid that. I'm currently pretty far down. I, I'm, I'm basically at bedrock level now. Yeah, so here we are. Alrighty. Six minutes of PvP. Hopefully nobody gets near me. It's time to set up the Void Escaper 2000. Cool name, I know. So first of all, we've got to find... Oh, that could be good. I was just about to say, we need to find some bedrock that's, that's right at the bottom and not covered. That's it. Now, the only problem is I need to remove it, and the method of removing it means I'm going to have to remove bedrock around it. It's not a major issue. It's just going to take me a little bit of time to start destroying the bedrock, but I think that should be the first thing I do. Destroy the bedrock, because I need to be able to get to the Void, all right? I could have done this in the end, but I, I didn't trust the others in the end. I'd rather be like a few thousand blocks away here. But I always get scared when opening the void. So, first of all, I've got to work out where I'm going to remove stuff. I'm going to start with this bit of bedrock here. So, we need obsidian. We need cobble on top. And then it's just a case of TNT like so. A lever. I need the trap door, which is there. You've seen me do this before. We flick this, and then when we put the piston down and break it, it breaks the bedrock. I also need to get rid of this bit. It's pretty easy. I think from there, I need to get rid of that. Yeah, there's just so much to destroy when you're trying to uh, open up the void, because you can't just destroy the bottom one easily. But anyway, we're getting there. Getting pretty close to where I want to be. Quiff says he has an offer. Quiff, I have nothing to say to you, all right? You let Clown out the end, and I've still not forgiven you, you for that, so, you know, I'm... Probably not going to be interested, but you never know. He might do something good. Let's know if I'm at my base. The thing is, he's going to end up trying to come to me or something. He's going to ruin something for me. Really hope he doesn't, but I just, you know, I just don't trust Quip, all right? And he's going to end up coming and just accidentally stumbling upon what I'm doing. He'll get in my way, and I really don't want that. Anyway, we're, we're pretty close now. I've just got to remove this bit of bedrock, and then I think I'm done. I think, well, and then I've got to remove the... There's actually a few different bits I can remove, but I think I'll just... Go with that one still. So the moment of truth. Don't mess this one up, SP. We're going to go like this. We're going to be breaking this. And it's going to open up the void. I think it's worked. Let's see. Yep, there we go. That's the shoot that I'm going to be going down. So let's just pick up my obsidian. And then I'm going to block all of this. I need to get to a certain height, 60, which I think is there. Then that can go like that. Okay, nice. Put the trap door like that. Then when I'm stood in this corner, it'll open. Because I've got, I've got to get the timings perfect for this. There's going to be a lever there. Yeah, I've, I mean, I've tested this redstone and I'm pretty confident in it. We now need 13 repeaters worth. And these 13 repeaters need to connect up to a stasis chamber. So if I break this, then I can go ahead and place this down. I can add water right at the very top. Followed by a bunch of kelp. Break all my repeaters. Nice. Not not intended. Um, <laughs> I don't need it to be that high, do I? So let's go like that. I think this should work if I now break all the kelp. Mini Mook is in the end. Okay, he's uh, he's gone to, he's kind of making himself a little bit of a target there, but I'm sure he'll be okay. I'm going to make a staircase down to where I've done all of that stuff. Nice. So I can get up and down, no problem. And basically, I just need to hook this up so that there's going to be a torch there. Then there's going to be a trap door. Do I have any trap doors? Yep, we do. Uh, like that. So that's going to be open. Perfect. Then I'm going to patch that up. I'm going to get these repeaters back down. There has to be 13. If I get that wrong, it could mess up the entire thing. So I've, I've tested all the timings in a world. Ah, is this going to work? It should it should work fine, shouldn't it? I think. Um, yeah, I'm fairly, fairly confident about all of this. Might make a slight adjustment to the redstone... And just, yeah, I'm going to actually grab a repeater. Change that to redstone dust. It, it would still work anyway, but I, I don't know. My paranoid brain decides it wants to do it a different way. We'll go like that. Okay. So, <laughs> from here, you know what? Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Right. If I flick this lever, we're going to just test that it all works correctly. We can do that with an ender pearl. So, we throw the ender pearl like that. It's in stasis. 
and it's, it's working fine. We're then going to stand right here and flick this. And about six seconds later, we should get TP'd, okay? All being well. We did. Okay, six or seven seconds later. Fantastic. So it's worked. We can turn it off. We can then throw an ender pearl just like that. Fantastic. Check the ender pearls ready. And I am I am ready to now go into the void. Kinda. I mean, I'm not personally ready for it, but I've done everything that I need to do. As long as nobody comes and finds me, then I'll, I'll be all right. I'm going to... Anyone want to hang out? Okay, well, many, this is not the time for that. But yeah, I'm going to get myself some stuff down. I'm actually going to throw away quite a few things because I need space in the inventory. I used up my only water there as well, which isn't the smartest thing in the world. We can sort that out later. I'm crafting a double chest because I'm going to put all my items in because there's no point risking all my stuff. You know, there's always a chance that I could die and I don't, I don't really want to risk that. So as long as PvP doesn't come on at like the worst time ever. Now to do this, I am going to need the regen, the healing, the golden apple, and the suspicious shoes. I'm gonna have two of these suspicious shoes, okay? That is going to get me everything. I'm actually going to get myself a couple more healings. Just because, you know, if anything goes wrong, I want to drink them. And the ender pearl's in place. My armor. My armor's gonna come up. I'm not gonna take that off just yet, though, in case something, something bad happens. I will, though, take my shield off and put that in there. My heart is racing, guys. My heart is racing. This has to work, okay? I need to open it up and then go in the void. I'm gonna do one more thing as well. One last thing. I'm gonna take three of this. I'm gonna take three of the wool. I'm gonna make a bed and I'm gonna set my spawn, okay? Um, so, there we go. I've got into bed. I'm gonna get out of bed. I've practiced this a million times. It's all there. I can't, I can't do any more, guys, okay? I've got to go and take 10 hearts of damage in the void. Right, armor can now come on. What am I doing? I'm, I'm so terrified. In fact, the armor's just going to stay on for another second, just whilst there's no one around. I break this. That's the void, all right? It opens up. We put that in there. Okay, we go like that. Okay, right, so... Step one, we stand here, we eat the suspicious stew, alrighty, we eat the golden apple, we drink the potion of regen, in fact we have one more suspicious stew, okay, we drink the regen, and that alone should be enough, I'm opening it up, and we're going, okay, taking the damage, come on, come on, please work, please work, please work. It worked! It worked! And and I'm going to review the footage, but I took, I think I took six ticks of damage, which is, let's close that up, which is 12 hearts, because you take two hearts of damage every tick. Let me just review the footage. Just realized I trapped myself in here, but I have reviewed the footage, and it is definitely six times that I took damage. So I took 12 hearts, which is more than the 10 needed, and we're back up to four lives. That absolutely needed to be done. If that had gone wrong, it would have been very sad, okay, but... Preparation paid off there, okay. And now I can move on to phase two of my plan, which is to build a Warden Disabler. So I say contraption that requires chains, which is kind of cool. I'm just going to get one more ingot. I, I think that's all the chains I'll need. Ten, no, nine. Well, that's that should be fine. I'll pick up all the rest of the stuff. And I can get out of here with my head held high. I might as well keep these repeaters. Repeaters, at the very least, are kind of rare. I mean, I'm not too bothered about all the rest. Because redstone and levers are pretty easy to get. I'll take the bed as well. Why not? But we are going to need space in the inventory for all the ancient city loot that I plan to get. I should probably just get more shulk shells. That's kind of an important thing. Anyway, let's get out of it. Man, my heart was beating fast. It was really, I was really worried. Because if that went wrong, I'm in the void and I'm dead. And that's it. <laughs> I lose another life. Down to two lives. Instead, out of the jaws of death, we got to four. And like I said, we're supposed to, it was either, it was either we die. Oh, a man shot. But it was either I die or I gain extra life. No in between. There's dirt above me, I'm out, yes, okay, finally, we've made it back to the top, and I am now on a search for ancient cities. I did die in the ancient cities last episode, but this time I'm going to have my revenge, and things are going to be much, much different. Man, I don't know, I feel good. Look at this, we've got food everywhere as well. You know, everything is just starting to come together, ladies and gentlemen. It could all go wrong again, I could lose that life to another warden, but... I'm much more confident this time that I won't be so stupid and do that same thing again. We'll see, though. We'll see. I've got my golden apples. I don't actually need the golden apples, I don't think. I mean, I could use them for PvP, but they're not super important. I did that. I did well to not even have to use a notch apple to survive the void, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Good preparation, good thinking, good research. I realized I didn't actually need the healing pots either, but they were just an extra precaution in case. 
I don't even think I technically needed the golden apple. I think maybe with regen and full saturation, I could do it. But I was like, the golden apple is just an extra thing, fairly cheap. And then the healing pots. Maybe I shouldn't use the golden apple and then it, and just use the healing pot. Then it would have saved me a gapple since they're kind of rare. But you know what? Where we're going, we're getting notch apples. Golden apples will be old news. You'd let me tell you that. Basically, all I'm doing is just looking out for a massive mountain. Because that's probably where an ancient city is going to be. I'm just searching the land for that. Don't think there's going to be that many mountains to be found in a jungle. But I'm just going to continue searching the area. Oh, a oh, hello, hello, hello. This is nice, a desert. I don't know what's useful here. Maybe hay bales. Although realistically, probably not. More to the point. Oh, we've got a desert pyramid. And if I had fish... I would tame some cats because getting a complete catalog, I think, is an extra life quest. Okay, never mind. It isn't an extra life quest. Just uh, forget I said that. So I won't be coming back with fish. Hey, maybe maybe that should be added. I'll put it to a vote for everyone to see if, uh, see if they want it. Since it is cool having these quests and it looks like I was beaten to it by somebody else. Lovely. Wait, is this the Mesa that me and Quiff were at last time? I have no idea. I really don't. But uh, I, I, find, I kind of found that if I just sail along the coast, I tend to find... Well, I, I, it's, it's easier, it uses less food, and it's faster to try and find mountains. It's interesting that someone's been at this desert. I wonder if it's recently or maybe just someone's explored it before and, and been over this way. Who knows? But I, I should, yeah, probably kind of follow the coast round to find some better land. I've once again come to a Mesa Ban. The size of that mountain, the erosion level's got to be pretty high on that because it is such a massive mountain. So I reckon I dig down somewhere around here. I reckon there's got to be deep, dark and ancient city below. I don't think it's where me and Quiff were at last time. I hope not. That would be... Kind of a sad thing. But I guess we'll see. I guess we'll uh, we'll find out. We're getting down to deep slate areas. My only issue is I need two buckets of water. And I forgot to refill that one from the stasis. Oh, hold on a second. We're in deep dark. Okay. So, <gasps> we found one. Okay, okay. Right. Oh, and there's a shrieker right there. Of course there's a shrieker right there. All right, we don't mess this up this time. Be more careful. There's water over there. Let's start with the water, all right? And I, it's pretty important that I keep my warden level as low as as possible. Don't unnecessarily activate a single shrieker. Like, I have plenty of wool. I might as well use it. How high does that water go? Are you kidding me? Right. Here's what we're going to do. I don't think there's a shrieker down here. We'll MLG it. Then we swim up, getting the other bucket in hand. All right. We just kind of, you can just kind of do it like a fast swim like this. Like, it, it boosts you slightly. Oh, and then we can swim against the wall. That'll speed up. Okay. Whoa. Missed it. <laughs> How high is this? Wow. Okay. This cave goes really, really high. Oh, there's more water over there as well. Anyway, we grab that. Then we can, I think we can, yeah, we can safely just kind of drop down. But we're going to, we're going to do it gracefully and patiently. And while staying crouched, I'm going to carefully enter the ancient city. And I need to find a shrieker that's in a good spot. That's not really surrounded by loads of blocks or other shriekers or skulk sensors. I know that's a lot to ask, but that's, that's what I'm after. So I'm going to carefully search around. Probably, yeah, work my way to the middle. Although... The good ones are usually on the outside. Is that one over there? Could be a good one. It might be a little bit close to the wall. It's not far off being perfect. The only worry is that there's a shrieker there. Is that another shrieker? And sensors. So if I get too close, I'm going to activate that. That's that's the only possible thing that can go wrong. Let's just cover this in wool on all sides. I'm pretty sure breaking this... Okay, PvP's off. That's always nice. I'm pretty sure breaking this won't activate it. Let's just see. It didn't. Okay. Then we put the wall there. Okay, it's covered on all sides. I shouldn't need to go too near all of that. It's just the fact that something might trigger the Skulk sensors and then they trigger those. That's the only slight worry. But I need to I need to build out one, two, three. Now this is where the slabs come in, okay? So there needs to be one, two, three, four, and then the slab. I think I think the slabs go on the fourth block. Same on this side. I've, I need to get my hoe out actually, because then we can start breaking all sorts of stuff. So let's just swap that out. I don't think there's any other shriekers around me, so I think other than keeping an eye on those over there, I don't have to panic too much. But keep my eye out. Got to break all these because they are problematic. So let's get rid of you and you. I don't think there's any more nearby that I can see other than you. Then we start breaking. Okay. This, this is obviously a quick bit. We just need a nice flat area for me to create a border of slabs all the way around, okay? So this is going to go like so. And this is this is like how we mark out the area that's going to be spawn-proofed. Okay, hopefully the, the only thing to go wrong is that activates a skull sensor. I'm worried, but you know what? Why, why worry? Why worry when I can do something like this, okay? We build a wall of wool, okay? That should block any sounds getting across okay which is which is kind of key now yeah we can place those in peace 
without having to worry too much. Get all of that down. And then we can begin on the redstone. We do need to get rid of any of these as well because they will block any water. So I think, I think that's everything. I'm just going to go and check this chest now. The reason for that is I just feel like it and it might have something good. A lot of coal, which, you know, is kind of useful, I guess. And I'll, I don't need the XP bottle. I don't need a ah, name tag. Yeah, I can't say no to a name tag. All right, that's good. We'll break that chest. Next we go slab, slab. We put the piston on top. Okay, then it's water time. So I need to make an infinite water source. Uh, I'll just break these with my fist to do that. It's going to be fairly quick. So water there, water there. Then we can go ahead and pick it up. Now, chunk loaders don't really work very well on this server, which is why I'm having to make one of these every time I kind of go to a new ancient city. I forgot skulk sensors. I forgot skulk sensors. Okay, I need to pick one up. I, I do have silk touch and there's one there. Okay. Good news. Good job we're in a place where there's loads of skulk sensors. <laughs> Got worried that I just messed up the entire thing. But I haven't at all, which is uh, which is good news. We'll get rid of that deep slate to make space for this. So I'm not going to put the skulk sensor down just yet. First, that's all in place. Um, I do also need to put a chain. I can't believe I forgot skulk sensors. But yeah, chain needs to come up that. Then I'm just going to keep using the water to fill in the entire thing. I don't think that should set off anything. And as long as this entire board is filled in, we're good. Okay, so... That's all perfect. Now, I've got my bow and arrow, so that's that's good news. We'll refill those. I then need to start breaking stuff. I've got redstone handy. Got the skulk sensor. Yeah, we're going to just start... I shouldn't have broken that one, actually. I just need to break the ones around it to begin with. That's the wool gone. You can see it's still all spawn-proof, but we have exposed the thing. Um, now, I need to... I think I need to break that one. Put that there. Okay, it's set the tree crop. So if this is wrong, I'm in trouble, but... We go ahead, go like that. Okay. Now, in theory, if a warden tries to spawn, it can't. Or can it? It can. It can. I'll tell you why it can. <sighs> Idiot SP. Okay. Yeah. I, I I made a mistake. I haven't I haven't got rid of the uh, the roof, so it could spawn up there, theoretically. All right. You're an idiot, SP. You're an absolute idiot. <laughs> As usual, SP forgets something. All right. Well, at least I didn't forget till it was too late. That would have been a it would have been a disaster, but yeah. Basically, anything that's over this. I need to remove, okay? So these blocks definitely need to go. The walls don't really need to because they're warden. I don't think can spawn on walls, but just in case we get rid of them. All right, that's all of that safe. These walls are going. These are probably too high up anyway to worry about, which is good. We break this platform, at least the part of the platform that is above, which is still quite a bit. There we go. And then we're safer, all right? This has been relatively slow compared to... I could do it in under five minutes when I'm not being careful. But obviously, I'm being very, very careful in this. That's back to how it should be. We can break all of this safely and securely. Then I'm just going to stay crouched. All right, yeah, we, we break this now. Redstone back. Okay, I don't think they can spawn anywhere. I think I've spawn-proofed it all correctly. I hope I have. Let's go ahead. Uh, if I haven't, I'm getting out of here. Uh, let me tell you. So, arrow there. That's now going to keep, keep activating itself. The warden level should be kind of high. And if I've done everything correctly, the warden disabler is now active. Okay? And as long as it's in loaded chunks, it will be working. I, that's, a, that's a scary warden sound, but it doesn't matter. Because the warden can't spawn. If I now move away, I should avoid getting the darkness effect. Yep, not got it. And I can go up here. Yes! That's right. We've disabled the warden. So now we can freely search this place without it. This is this is called preparation and being careful. This is the SP that I should be all the way through, friend or foe. Not just part of the way. We're going to grab coal. I'm breaking swift snake. I don't really need either of those. Might as well start picking up bottles of XP. I don't know what for. We can probably get room there. And then I'll just break break any of that else that I don't need. And there's chests to be found everywhere. So this is how I'm going to kind of start collecting notch apples in a nice, safe and secure way. Just running around, you know. It makes it so much easier to see the chests because you haven't got the darkness effect. Yeah, this was, this was definitely needed. And, you know, unless somebody comes and finds me, they can they can, they can can spawn the warden in, but I can't, okay? It only disables the warden for me, which is, you know, I'm absolutely fine with that. We might as well start using some blocks, so we'll bridge across here and hopefully find notch apples. That's the plan, but some good... Mending, nice, that's fantastic. Can I get a bit more space in my inventory, do you think? Have we got any... We could open it up just a little bit more. Let's go ahead and I'll put the golden apples in there. I don't know why I chose that of all things, but... There we go. You see, this is where I, yeah, I need to... Met, oh, swiftly too. We're not going to take that. Everything else doesn't need to be taken. The coal will probably pick up. I can walk across those. No one can spawn. It's fantastic, okay? Now, I've got to be careful because if I go really far away from that 
and is out of render distance and simulation distance, then it could be a problem. But I've got 16 chunks, which 16 times 16, whatever that number is. 192 if my memory serves me well. I'm not going to... You know what? I could keep that. Because it's not the worst thing to have, is it? And this is where I just have to start getting rid of stuff like stone. I'm going to need skulk sensors if I build more of these. So, oh, no, this is getting difficult now. I've got a really, really crowded inventory, haven't I? Why didn't I just get more shulker boxes? I'm going to throw away the gold because... I don't need that, and then that can go in there. <laughs> Swiss need three. I've got to take it. How about we we have a suspicious stew? They've run a bit of cobble deep slate. Get out of there, all right? Let's now, now we got a little bit more space. Other side as well. A music disc. That's cool. Anyway, I'm not gonna not gonna bother with that. And the search can continue. This is this is like so much nicer. Um, I, I see. Curse of Vanishing is always good for diamond leggings. I, I mean, I've got that many diamond leggings. I probably don't need any more. Respiration three. Do I already have that on my helmet? I, I'm probably not gonna worry about respiration three too much. It's not exactly a rare book. I, you know. Oh, it's mending on the leggings. You gotta take mending on leggings, haven't you? You have to. Yeah, I generally think my biggest mistake here was just not bringing uh, shulker box, but I don't really have any shulker box because I haven't really been to the end. I, I don't go to the end. I'm too worried about somebody trapping me or something happening to me, so I haven't been to the end. Otherwise, I would go. I just need to be more prepared for it, really, and then I'll and then I will have no problem doing it. There's not much. There's got to be not chapels around here. So if I search this entire ancient city and there's no not chapels, it will be a sad thing. It won't be too surprising, but it will be sad. Little dungeon here, not bad. And in the chest. Oh, a golden apple. That's pretty good, you know. I'm starting to wonder what I should get rid of. What do you reckon? Prot three diamond legs. I don't think I need them. You know, I really don't think they're that important to me. So they can go. The next thing to be going is going to be that mutton. I'll try and eat it, but yeah, that's probably going to be the next thing. We'll mine up that chest as well, just in case there was anything I could pick up. Another chest with nothing good in it. What is this? I mean, at the end of the day, I'm getting, I'm getting books and I'm getting, potentially getting notch apples. Suddenly you get a chest and it'll have like three in it or something. But not that one. Although it does have mending, which kind of outweighs it. I'll take that. All right, mutton, you're out. We're going to end up getting rid of so much stuff here, aren't we? I, I don't know how that's still there. You know what? Those blocks don't need to be there. We'll put stone instead. Another name tag. 55 salt touch. Not bad, but uh, a good hoe isn't isn't that important to me. Piercing three, lure three. All not that important, I don't think. It's productive. Whichever way you look at it, this is very, very productive indeed. Thorns three. I, I can't work if that's good or not. I think it's worth having, but I don't know if it's that good, but I'll take it. You know what? These XP bottles, I should just use them. I, you know, they are kind of useful if I've got mending and then a mid-battle and I want to repair my armor, but I'm not going to think about that too much at the moment. You know, there's, there's bigger things to worry about. I've got this mutton. Let's, let's try eating that up. And I've nearly done a full loop. As you can see, there's there's my little disabler. So I've got to now go into all these ins and out parts that I might have missed. Like, there's got to be one here, I think. I don't think I went into that, so... Let's go and bridge across and see. Oh, no, I did go here. Okay, never mind. Is there any, is there any bits I haven't been to? The answer will almost certainly be yes. It is indeed, because I have not been to this one. Still nothing good. Another swift sneak. The thing is, I kind of do want to get multiple swift sneaks because they are very useful on your arm. Like, you know, I I, I just like having swift sneak. It's, it's a useful thing. You can crouch and move fast. Why would you not want that? I think this is another one I haven't been to. So let's have a little look. It's, oh, it doesn't, maybe I have been here. Yeah, I must have been here. Pretty decent job of being thorough first time round here, really, didn't I? But anyway, let's see. Anything down here, perhaps? I think it's all being searched. So I've got to get out of here, and I'm going to try and find another ancient. I can't believe there wasn't one not chapel in there. That is very unfortunate. PvP's just come on. But it's, anyway, it's, it's also not the end of the world. I can explore and find, you know, well, I can't find ancient cities easily, but I can explore and loot them pretty easily now with this disabler. I just have to be very, very careful. Why is Clown saying hello? I have no idea. Anyway, I'm just going to dig my way out. Maybe it was just being nice. I hopefully he doesn't want to do anything because I can't. Well, I don't want to PvP. Well, he's not going to PvP me, but he might try and trap me or anything. I don't. I know what he's like. Especially when I'm in an ancient city. He'll do something to spawn the warden or, or whatever and, and, and try and make me dagger. You know, now he's seen me gain a life. He's like, oh, I don't want SP to gain a life. I'm going to do something to... Put a stop to that. Also, look at that. We're straight out. Nice. That's, uh, that's very handy indeed. And exploration can continue. I actually think that Mesa Biomes are a really good place to find ancient cities. Just because there's a lot of mountains in them. And I know they're not like the top, top mountains. So there's never always a guarantee that there's going to be a deep dark below them. But they're pretty tall mountains. And they're pretty big mountains. Which gives, you know, a decent chance that there's going to be something below them. Like, to be honest, the mountain I'm on right now is pretty tall. And there's a lush cave below me. Okay, you know what? Should we give it a go? We'll see what's down there. Worst case, I just have to build back up and I'll just run a bit further away. But you, you never know, do you? Also, going to be careful because, I don't know. I don't know if Cloud's stalking me or something. You don't want to let him just drop dripstone on you or anything like that, DSP. So, I'm going <laughs> to, just going to, you know, build like this. Nice and steady. Nice. Okay, well, don't get crushed by gravel yourself, SP. Man, I just die to my own device. Nice emoji. 
Beautiful. All right, we're in a bit of... I told you there's all this game below, and I wasn't wrong. Okay, but this is not where we want to be. I think I'm just going to continue digging down, because I'm way too high up for what I need. Let's go like that. There we go. Get it all blocked up so that we don't have any... Anything, basically, dropping down. Creepers, whatever. Yeah, safe than sorry, I always say. That's my... My newest motto, I'm trying to be much safer on this series because I've messed up way too many times. Hence the reason I'm disabling the warden when I go looking for notch apples, you know. I think it's just a bit of a wiser move than going gung-ho like I usually do, you know. Which sometimes works, but sometimes it doesn't work as well. I'm also now digging down in a staircase because if I set off a shrieker, because of my warning level, of warden warning level, whatever it is, I will spawn one. And I don't... Oh, okay. We've got another one. Nice. Right. Yeah, this is why I didn't dig down. I didn't want to fall in that. So I have to, at all costs avoid <laughs> activating a shrieker. I need to try and find a way to safely get down. Is there any shriekers below me? There's not really any way to dig down. Oh, this is this is actually a little bit nerve-wracking now. The second one's always the scariest. Looks like I can kind of dig down this way. So uh, again, the lower I can get, the better. All right, this doesn't look too bad. Do I just go for it? On that block. Here we go. We're okay. Alrighty. Fantastic. Now I'm on the wall. You know what? I should put swift sneak on these leggings and then that's going to help me loads. Have I got... Look at that. We've got it there. I've got an anvil, I'm pretty sure, in my ender chest. Yep, we have. Let's put that on. Okay. Why did I put it on that? Okay. Well, let's... You know what? We're going to be getting mended. Do I have enough XP? I don't have enough XP now, do I? Well, that's uh, that's unfortunate. 35 levels. What on earth? Looks like we're going in with fire protection and not normal protection. If I die now, you know why. But anyway, we've got swift sneak, even if I am an idiot. I wonder if I could get to the chest up there without setting off anything. Because there doesn't seem to be anything around me, does that? I mean, it, it's, I mean, it's pretty high up, so I think I can safely get to this one. You never know, it could just have a notch up like, but, well, let's get out of here. We don't need to bother with the rest. I will build the one disabler again, but you never know. Let's have a little look. New leggings, mending and breaking. I've got to, you've got to take mending leggings, haven't you? You've just, you've got to. Do I get rid of these old protection for ones? I don't know. Let's get rid of that for now. And there is skulk, which means I could easily get some XP quickly. Maybe that's just worth doing. Let's just, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to get much XP, but it, it could be handy, okay? Just to get a little bit. Nicely done. Back to the plan. We need to find a good Shrieker. This, is that... Nah, um, I don't like that one down there. I think I pretty much... Oh, look at that diamond in the room. I, I, I think I pretty much only have one choice, and that is to, to get down here and search on foot. Now, we can do a little... Oh, okay, there's one here. Is this any good? There's space next to it. I don't think... It depends if there's any Shriekers around it, though. I can, I can disable it, anyway, with the wool, which is a good first start. Now, let's have a little look. Is there any shriekers too nearby for me? Not that I can see. Not at first glance, which gives me a little bit of confidence. Sometimes there's ones above, though. You've got you've to be careful. See, what did I tell you? There's one up there. That's actually far away enough not to be a problem, I think. So I, I should be okay. Just don't open that chest because it'll activate everything. Got to manually mine up the wall. I don't have enough space. I do actually have shears in my ender chest, so I should get them. But I'm afraid of activating something if I start messing about with ender chests. So let's just get that down. Next, we are going to get the hoe back out and we need to get rid of all these sensors. All right, because these these are problematic. These could cause any issues, any possible thing. I've got two skulk sensors already. Let's just get rid of that. We're good. We're good. We're good. Everything's everything's fine. Another shrieker over there, but that's miles away. I can break this. See, the issue is I've got to break all that up there. And it, will it activate the shrieker? You know what? We're going risky, guys. All right, here's what we're going to do. Step one, we go into the ender chest. Step two, we retrieve the shears. And we put the helmet in there. Don't know how I still got that helmet. I threw it away. I thought I threw it away, actually. Then I build up using wool, okay? We, we don't need the shears right now. We need the, the, the hoe. From there, we have to navigate. <laughs> what am I doing? From there, we have to navigate past all the skulk sensors. Don't activate a single one, SP, all right? You're a, you're a good player, all right? All you have to do is just walk past them without stepping on them. There you go. Then, mine it up. Broken before it can be activated. All right. Now I don't have to panic. All right. You can go. You can go. Get lost. That's it. See you all later. The wool can be removed. I think the blocks all the way at the top are not a problem. If I can, can I go in here now? Nothing too interesting in there, but we can, we can just break it, can't we? There we go. Because next, yeah, we just need to break that space around it. All right. The, the hose coming back out. Okay. So one, two, three. And then on the fourth block, all that roof's going to have to go as well, actually. So I think that's all high enough and I don't have to worry about it, but we'll... We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. A little bit of stone. Then it's once again, it's just the same setup, okay? We go this far out. Let's mine that with my fist. We place it on the fourth block. We go one, two, three. Place it on the fourth block. One, two. Okay, well, we need to do a little bit of mining out here as well because it's a 
bit of a banking in the wet. Man, I just don't have enough space for everything here, do I? Anyway, we'll get rid of that. Then, one, two, three, and on the fourth block. So that is me asking if I'm always done. I'll never be done. My goodness, I've, I've, well, I think once we explore this ancient city and get, I'll be done when I've got not chapels. You see, wardens cannot spawn on slabs. That's why I'm placing slabs down. And then they also can't spawn on water. And water's just cheaper than slabs, so I get the area marked out and then I can put the water down. That's the thinking behind that. We'll get rid of that. I, I know for a fact they can't spawn on walls, but that should be pretty good. We do need to just also come along here and break a bunch of them. And then this this is the only other bit that needs to go. Imagine if Clown's looking for me and he, he comes and gets me. That would be like the worst thing to ever happen, wouldn't it? Anyway, I'm sure it won't, but you never know. That's, um, that's all spawn proof now, I think. I think I'm good. I think I'm safe. Time for the infinite water source. And then this bit is the building part, which is, is really quick, to be honest. The, the hardest part is, I suppose, spawn. We're proofing it all. Once the spawn proofing's down, I'll just get... A, a, yeah, I need a piston here. Then you get your slab and your slab. That Now that's done, it's just a case of putting down the water. In fact, we'll just, we'll just use one bucket. We don't need them both, do it. I just put down, like, probably four buckets of water. Okay, yeah, I need to get rid of this as well. That's, uh, that's problematic. Stops things from being able to... Well, water to being able to flow. Is the one in the corner? No, so we just need one more bucket of water, and then the second warden disabler is down, and I, I'm telling you, I have to find a notch apple in this ancient city. There's no way I don't. I need a chain. That's kind of important as well. And I think everything's good. I, I don't see what I've done wrong. If the warden spawns, I'm just leaving, all right? That's it. End of the episode. Not staying around. <laughs> so, I need to, first of all, break these three. Then, I think, I think I break the top one as well, don't I? So, I'll break the top one. Then we get the skulk sensor down. We come down here. Okay, that's now broken. I need to get the redstone in like that. We're good. Okay, nothing, nothing spawned. And, and finally, there needs to be a arrow on there. It's kind of key. And I think we're good. Yep, no ones can spawn. We're safe. I can eat some mutton, which is going to free up an extra space in the inventory. Fantastic. An exploration can begin without me having to worry about a warden spawning. What a lovely day this is today. Don't have to worry. We can go around. This looks cool. This is a pretty big open thing. Do I have any other blocks on me? Not really. Okay, so we, we, once we kind of use this stone, we're running low. Come on, not chapels. Oh, yes, we got one. Fantastic. I didn't even notice it. Okay. That now makes this entire video worth it, guys. All right? Everything I've done. I don't even know what that book is. It could be a good book, you know? Looting one. All right. It wasn't really. Okay, it wasn't really. I, I threw away the boat and I'd still stand by that. I think I'll, I'll I'll just, you know, wait till I get something else decent. A lot of mobs over there. Mobs can't spawn in a deep dark biome, but they can spawn next to it, which is why they were all spawning over there. I am now going to get myself up here. So yeah, the only worry, well, it's not a worry, but it's going to be annoying when I have no blocks left, which is right now. I, I guess I could use slabs, maybe. I mean, this is going to be the last ancient city I explore. I'm, I'm hopeful that I get more than one notch apple, especially considering I've got one fairly early on. That's a, you know, a really good start. Maybe if I get a silk touch hoe, I could mine the skulk and use that as blocks. That could be a, a smart thing. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna use up all these slabs because we're not really, okay, well, great peep, uh, great parkour SP. Take two. It was the world's easiest jump, so I don't know why I missed that. And we've come to another chest. Another chest. See, look at this. Well, I don't want cursor binding. That'd be annoying. More mending? Oh, it's, it's great. We'll take that. Don't need piercing. We'll, we'll mine up the rest of it. It's just good loot, isn't it? I, I would love to get some, some more rare books as well. That, that, that you can't really get very easily. They, they'd be good. Like mending, I've got a few mending books, which is fantastic. But, you know, other ones will be good. I can, no, nothing springs to mind, but I'll know it when I see it. More swift sneak is always handy. It, I, okay, I've got to be careful because I'm quite far away now from the machine. It's possible it's out of render distance. And if that's the case, then I would be in trouble. Although it seems we're all right, unless there's just no shriekers around here. So I, I am conscious about that. Okay, nothing good again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, game. Not chapels is all I'm asking for. Oh yeah, this is the furthest point from it, so if this is okay, we're probably just going to be safe, which I think we are. Don't like using up all my wool like this, really, because wool's pretty, not precious, but it's a useful thing, isn't it? My goodness, what have we got here? Who wants to look at the sea? I mean, you could just fish that up anyway. When I said I want some enchantments that are rare to get, that is not what I meant. You know, this really takes the tension out of exploring ancient cities. It's just what the doctor ordered, a nice relaxing episode. Curse of Bind, that could be useful. That could be very, very useful indeed. I, I'm going to take that. Where did one of my ender chests go? Did I leave an ender chest behind? Or did I put it in my ender chest? Sometimes I've done that before. Yeah. Oh, well, that opens up an extra slot. It <laughs> put my ender chest in the ender chest. We will put Swift Sneak in there. In fact, you know what? Let's put Curse of Binding in there. That, that could be a cool thing to uh, to do. Also getting so many name tags. I don't, I don't know what use they have. I, I did need the name tag when I was trying to trap the warden. 
other than that, haven't really seen much use for it. But you never know. If, if at some point I need one, I've, I'll, I'll have them. Might as well just carry them. I'll have 11 of them as well, which is nice. Maybe more by the end of this. Two notch apples. Let's go. Okay. We're now getting to the point where we have the most notch apples on the server. I'm pretty sure. If we can get a few more out of here, we're, we're, we're laughing. We're absolutely laughing, which would be fantastic. I do need to eat. Is there any food I can eat that's going to free up space? Should we eat a suspicious stew? Why not? We can eat a suspicious stew. Then we can chuck it in there. And can we chuck... Oh, gapples in there. Oh, there's so much extra space to be added. All right. We're, we're just going to try and make it so that that's like that. And then... Those those are four free slots, okay? Four free slots there of, of stuff. Because I don't need loot in one. I don't need the skulk. And I think I'm getting close to enough full loot. Okay, I've been to that one. Was there another one next? I don't think I went to over here, did I? Couldn't really get into this area. There's sometimes there's a chest hidden underneath. Not this time, but there is a chest above, which I haven't looted. So, if I could get one more Notch Apple, it would be amazing. No guarantees, but it oh, would be great. I think there is, yeah, still stuff to be explored here. So, this end is pretty empty. My machine was somewhere over there. Did I? Did I already? I think I already came to this one, didn't I? I think this was the first bit I came to. So, yeah, because I've got darkness. That's how I know I'm near my machine. It can't spawn a warden, but still spawn in the darkness. But it's these inside chests, yeah, that I need to search. Should we use Skulk as a bit of a bit of a bridge? Might as well. Better than nothing. And inside there, again, nothing of particular use. Think I've done most of these, just trying to spot any. I, I got three notch apples. If I can't find any more chests, I, I'm not gonna be too disappointed. I'm not gonna search another ancient city today, but you, you never know. There could be another chest dotted around that I haven't got. Is another chest I haven't searched? Oh, okay, they're good leggings again. Swift Snake one, maybe not as good. Spotted another one. And again, <laughs> nothing of use. Oh, man, there's loads that I've missed. What am I playing at? What's uh, what's in here? I, well, yeah, again, I I'll take the name tag. And I'm pretty sure at this point, that's all of them. I can't see anymore. I'm also going to pick up Skulk sensors because they are going to be useful for contraptions of traps and stuff like that. You just never know when you need a Skulk sensor. Even though I found on this server, sometimes the Skulk sensor randomly goes off even when you're not in the area. I don't know why. It just makes my traps execute themselves with nobody there. So do one final sweep along these middle bits. And I can get out of it. I can use this water to... Hang on a minute. There's one that I missed. Is, is that... I, I'm pretty sure this has got to be the last one. It's not going to not chapel in, but hey, at least I didn't miss it. Now I'm swimming out of here. I think I've, I think I've checked every single other bit. I can't see anywhere I've missed. Could spend all day looking at this point. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Well, I didn't get that off in time. <laughs> didn't get my shield up. Let's just keep moving upwards and past all these mobs. There's a lot down here, isn't there? Wow. I think I'm pretty much back where it all started. Back into the lush cave. And I can see the sky. Fantastic. I wish I had an elytra and I could just fly out, but I don't. I've got to work my way out like a peasant. Although I have got quite a lot of skulk blocks, which is nice. Because it means I've got some sort of block to escape with. This has got to go down as one of my best episodes. I gained a life and got three notch apples plus so many books. Starting up here because I needed more gunpowder. I think there's a decent amount in here, but I don't know how much. Okay, there's, there's that much. Yeah, so it's, it's an okay amount of gunpowder maybe six stacks. Not enough for what I would need it for, so I'll leave it for now. Instead, I want to try and get the two by two advancement. If I could be the first to do that, I will get an extra life. And I'm kind of at the situation in the series where I need as many extra lives as possible, so I will start by stealing wheat, because I can use that for breeding. Hay bales will also be very, very important. And I'll be honest, if there was another cow nearby, I would totally go ahead and breed you, but there isn't, so I'm going to eat you instead. I hear a parrot. Well, you're kind of useless. Do I do I just tame you anyway? Because I have loads of seeds and, you know, it'd be cool to just have a... What on earth? Are you untamable? I'll just give you all my seeds. There we go. Finally, we've got... Oh, an oslop. More. That's more important. Okay. I need to try and get it to trust me first. Here we go. Slow movements. There we go. Okay. So we've got a trusting ocelot. Could do with a lead. I don't think I brought any back from the ancient cities, did I? No, that was, um, that was an oversight. Not to worry, though. You, you keep following me, that's it. In fact, I appreciate you trusting me, but I'm I'm now going to put you in a hole. Then I can run around a bit quicker to try and find the other ocelot. And hopefully the one I find is not too far away. There is one up there, that's fantastic. That's it, slow movements. Did we get you? Is that it? You trust me? You only took one, fantastic. And I've got two raw cod left, because I don't think tropical fish works on them. I think I'm probably going to need a lead when I try to breed the donkeys, because they're quite hard to find two of them close together, so you usually have to move them about. But if I can get the slime balls from a swamp, let's just do that. There we go. And we've got it. We have got a baby. You can all, uh, you, you guys, you want to escape? No, you can stay in there forever. That's it. My axolotls are in there. Two out of 22 complete. I have found sheep and I have wheat, so let's let's get that going. That's another good one up checked off. Always worth doing easy ones when you have the chance. It's a very dense bamboo jungle, isn't it? And, oh, look at this. We've actually managed to get above a, a 
Thing in biome. A lush cave. And so I've got an axolotl. Should we should we should we pick him up? The cutest predator. Oh, they must know what I'm up to. I now need to try and get some tropical fish in buckets. So tropical fish, obviously I need another axolotl still. But yeah, tropical fish. I, I could just take the axolotls with me and, and worry about it later. Aha! Okay, and there's two together. Fantastic. These spawning groups are one to two. Two together makes my life very, very easy. Baby panda cheat. You guys won't be endangered forever. And that's four out of 22 done. So now I'm going to head towards that desert and hopefully come across a village. Now to breed you both and it's job done. Old family cats. You guys, you can come with me. You might die along the way, but you can still come. I've just looked online. It turns out you can use dandelions to breed rabbits. So why would I not do that? I've got loads of dandelions. There's a rabbit down. There's two rabbits. Are these baby rabbits? Okay, we've got an adult and... Oh, two adults. No, your baby. Guys, don't eat the rabbits. Okay, I, I need adult rabbits, I'm afraid. And of course, it's now nighttime, so <laughs> it's gonna make it even harder to do what I need to do. Okay, we have an adult here, we have an adult there, and we have successfully bred the rabbits. And now I don't really need to be in this vicinity, so I'm gonna go ahead and sail out over the waters because I don't wanna be on land at nighttime. I give it to you, and I give it to you. If we get a baby blue axolotl, that's it. I, I, I get an extra life for that shot. You know what? That should be an extra life quest. I might put that as an idea. Anyway, I'm going to take the, the baby one because I feel like that, you know, that's, that's that. You two, you can live in there now. You have so many fish to eat. You're going to love it. Cats, I'm going to leave you behind here because I'm going across water and you can't follow me there. See you later. One for you. One for you. Another quest down. I told you, a plains biome would be perfect. Now, yeah, still can't, can't do the pigs. Also going to need a couple of flowers because I'm sure I will find a beehive somewhere. See? SB737. He knows his stuff. He knows where there's going to be carrots. There's loads of them here. And there's also a horse over there, which is nice. Because I can turn these into nuggets. Oh, absolutely. Loads of them. And then I can make 10. 10 is an amazing amount. We can also breed some of those guys. I do think that golden carrots should be my staple. Oh, spruce. Oh, this is fantastic. Because I have been needing to find one of these because I need to breed foxes. I think I can get him to trust me. I just have to give it some berries. That's it. Look at me. It's like the cat's all over again. Okay, you trust me. Fantastic. Although it looks like you don't trust me. Without leads, this is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? Okay, well, you've run into a hole. Um, okay, you're stuck there. Right, let's just leave you there. Did see another one in this direction. If I can get in a boat, then I can make this work. Breed you both? Don't you come down here and ruin this. Who do you think you are? I've got a baby fox. That's all that had to happen. Okay, that's that's job done. 10 out of 22. Here we are. I've got to be careful there's no powdered snow. Now then, we've got one goat. We need to find one more. You come with me, old, uh, old friend. I should say new friend. And... Can we see any others dotted about? That's for you. That's for you. That's another hard one done, I have to say. Take the bones, please. 11, but what are you doing? What's going on here? We got you. Thank goodness for that. You, you nearly messed that up. Right. Um, I'm not going to give you guys steak. I'm going to give you the cheapest thing. Alrighty. That's it. Get me, a, get me a baby wolf. Another one checked off the list. I think I can use this opportunity to also get the bees to come out. I'm assuming there were bees inside this hive. And I just didn't pick up an empty hive. I could have picked up an empty hive. Come on, bees. Pop out. It's, um... Is it daytime? Was it? Is it? Wait, is it gone to nighttime again? Wait, is the sun going down again? No, the sun's coming up. Come on, bees. I can hear some buzzing inside, so there must be at least one in there. Here we go. That's one. Any more? Perfect. There you go. 14 out of 22 done. Yes, 15 done. And are there any donkeys out here? I, I, if I had a saddle, I could easily move the donkeys. There might be a saddle in that village back there. Come, come closer to each other. Awesome work. I don't see any donkeys around it. Yeah, don't. I bet donkeys are the thing that make this problematic for me. Ah, hold on a second. They've not made it problematic and they're not that far away from each other. You're going to follow me all the way to these horses. Don't stop to eat. Just follow me. This is why I need a saddle. But I just don't trust that these won't despawn or something stupid in the middle of the night. Okay, you won't stop eating every two seconds. Let me let me go and bring the horse over here. That might be quicker. You know what? Forget it. I'm, I'm going to be confident and assume that it's going to be fine. Da -da, da -da. There's no way for them to lay their frog spawn, but I think that does count. I'll make it so you can get some water at some other time. I'll keep an eye out for some slime tonight, because you just never know. And I'm going to need string. If I'm going to craft a lead, I'll need string. Yeah, having a lead is going to make these final ones so, so much easier. I've got huggling to do, and also striders. I feel like striders are going to be the one that has a good use for leads. You're also now tamed. We're going to take you to the donkey. Hello, good friend. I have for you a golden carrot, a golden carrot. We have a mule, and I've just three to go. Go with you, you. All right, just two left now. All right, guys, be bred. That's it. I've taken the hits. Just, just do it. I think we've got it. We just need Strider. Okay, we need one more Strider. An exciting moment. Okay, these piglins are doing my head in. And I know that Striders can technically spawn in bigger groups. So the, the way back home is up in this direction. I'm just going to try and find a better spot to do this. Right, we're going to drink this. I'll keep the glass bottle because it could be useful. We're jumping in the lava. We're going to make every piglin in the world mad at me. But more importantly... We're going to walk over here. I'm going to double check it's the final one I need. I'll look stupid otherwise. It is the final one. I'm going to put in the chat. Boom. Because they are about to see greatness. 
You have that. You have that. Breed a baby strider. Da -da -da -da. We have got every single mob bread and an extra life. Five lives in the tab. Doesn't it look nice? We're nearly back catching up to Mini and Quiv is also on five. It's all getting interesting. Here we are at spawn. There you go. Have a, have a few snacks. You're probably, uh, you're probably I, hungry. I am. I'm actually not hungry, but I'm going to keep running around until I am hungry. Oh, why? I just feel like it's rude that I am eating a cookie that you've just given me. I've got a sneaky suspicion you're going to steal this from me. Oh, you better make a good offer to stop me. Okay. Well, I have an offer. It's, yeah, and you said it was a good one, so I'm, I'm curious to see. 25 diamonds. Right, okay. Well, that sound like a lot. Well, that's, I don't have a lot of things. All right, well, I know you got two stacks of diamonds at one point, so okay. Okay. Well, we can look that. We can discuss. <laughs> Suddenly you do have a lot of diamonds, do you? Yeah, we can discuss. We can discuss. Now, this is, this is huge, and no one else will ever have this opportunity ever in the world okay at the end of this video a full shout out on the mini channel i don't want to i don't want to be mean but i think they're already all subscribed to me you know okay well you have until i beat you to doing this quest to make me an offer that i can't refuse which i will be doing in the next episode okay <laughs> i i really need that life you know i that that's it that's all my stuff all right, so that's a cookie and um no! Eaten, um, no! Stop! A potato. Stop! <laughs> I, I, all right. Well, I'll I'll see you in the next episode because you've you're gonna have you've got some time to think about a real offer that's going to get me interested because I'm basically giving up a life as a potato. You can have these potatoes. I don't need these. Now. Actually, I do need a baked one though, don't I, to, to do it? Um. So yeah, there you go. Oh, what else have we got here? Oh, well, let's go in my end of chest. Mm. Oh, I've got one one glowberry. Should I should I eat that? Um. Let's see. Oh, a sweet berry. Yep, that needs to be eaten. A glow berry. Oh, shall I eat that? Oh, oh. Um, I'll put that You're in the dress for now. You're very mean. <laughs> but I drive a hard bargain. I need these lives more than him because I feel like I'm the only one with any chance of stopping Clown Pierce. So I am not going to just be giving them away that easy. We are gaining lives fast. And I have had a change of heart. I was going to help Minnie get the advancement to get an extra life of eating every food. But I've worked out. I'm not that far off. Speak of him, here he is. Hello. Okay, wh where are you taking me? <laughs> yeah, park off, bro. Can I borrow some strength potions and maybe fire res and get your health killing quick? There you go. <laughs> yes. You, 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 look at me. I'm prepared. You need pots. I'm your man. You won't regret this. And how do you think about a little third party situation? I could get involved. I could get involved and have a little, little dabble. You're after him. You want blood. I, w I want Quiff dead. I, I would yeah. love that. And I do also because he keeps scamming me. Okay, so what's your plan? How are you going to get him? Base PvP. Watch my base. Interesting. So Mini wants me to help him kill Quiff. He's going to lure Quiff to his base the next time it's PvP. And then he is going to battle him. But I can get involved and do a bit of third party and, and hopefully... I can get rid of him. That sounds like a pretty good situation to me. But anyway, Minnie's on six lives. I'm on five. I reckon I can get I can get this food thing, okay? Like I say, I have got most of them. I've got 21 out of 40. But there's a lot of them that are pretty easy. Like, I do need to eat raw mutton. I need a melon. I need this baked potato. I need an apple. I need the puffer fish. I need the tropical fish. I also need pumpkin pie, which is pretty easy with all the sugar I've got. Cake. I haven't had cake, have I? I need to do that one. Okay, so let's just make the sugar. And then can we just, like, put these together? No. Turns out I need an egg. Okay, didn't think that far ahead. I, I'm going to get rid of these seeds. I don't really. Yeah, need this in my leggings chest. I also know where there's a beehive that has all the honey in for it, so it's just ready to be taken, so I can get that one so easily. A chicken! Oh, lay me an egg. I need you, I need I need this from you, okay? When I come back, there better be an egg in here. Now the beehive is somewhere in here. So basically, Minnie needs glowberries in his a mushroom and he needs wild berries. I know the spruce forest are far away, and it's not easy to get into a lush cave to get the glowberries. So it's gonna take him a while, plus he's distracted with Quiff. And here's the hive. Now uh, the thing is he's gonna know I'm doing it. Are they angry? Oh, I, I don't, I didn't get an advancement for it. Oh, that's fantastic. I can drink it and continue on the quest. Let's see that, the tropical fish and the apple. And yeah, I'm heading to the water because I'm trying to find a shipwreck that has a poisonous potato in it. Oh, look, we've got dolphins as well. Do I have leads on me? Oh, it would be useful. Oh, I need those, uh, I need those raw cod. If only I had a lead, I could swim so fast. I have an idea of where I might be able to get potatoes. There is, well, poisonous potatoes anyway. There is a village behind like, not behind my base, but further out. I know where it is. I can go to it. I'll have to take the poison here. No time like the prison. Then the melon and the cod, just to heal up a little bit. And you get so much poison from a puffish. This is actually kind of dangerous. We're at night, and I'm on no health. 
Um, let's just let's just wait it out here until I can heal again. I'll make the pumpkin pie as well. That'll be another one. So there's loads of things I can eat. Is it going to run out? Okay, five seconds, finally. I've got just nine to go. I'm trying to stay in the area of Quiff's house, but rabbits are another thing that I need to get every food. So I'm just going to keep an eye out for that. Me and Minnie have worked out. We're going to go and meet at Quiff's house and ambush him. We're hoping he's there and we're hoping we can get him. We're waiting for the right moment. And whilst we wait, I might as well take this moment to get my kelp out of here and start smelting. Now, I think I have bones at home. Or do I? No, maybe I don't. Maybe I use them. I, I, I don't know if Rotten Flesh is on the list, but I'll get it. When I say on the list, I don't know if it's on the list of the ones I need. Or if I'd already done it. I, I'd already done it. And I know this is a bad idea just before a potential fight, but I'm I'm going to eat a spider eye. There we go. Hi. I, I, oh, I, do it. I put my strength in my fire res and we're going in. I feel like he knows. He's running. Kind of came over in this direction. I didn't know there was a portal in the woods. Yeah, that portal's been there for a while. He just messaged me as, like, he saw us as we came into view distance, saying I have a deal involving your fish farm. Uh, so he knew you were coming. I, I need to ask a favor. Now yeah. that we've been, had this little bonding experience and we didn't find, well, Quiff ran away. Oh, you just wasted my time, really, so. I, I, I did, I did. And for wasting your time, I want to apologize. Okay. Um, and can I have a wild berry? Because, no. listen, no. listen, 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 I'm going to go find the rest. So from what I can tell, Minnie has just got to go and get the glow berries and the sweet berries. This is a worrying time. I, I, it is a very, very worrying time. He also completely wasted my time on that quiff thing. So I just need to go out and get rabbits. I'm going to make it so that I have everything I need. And it is just basically me versus Minnie to get an extra life. A normal mushroom stew is another one. So let me have that. And there's just beetroot, beetroot stew, the kelp. There's not many at all. I'm going to, I'm going to get this one ready. And I think everything else I can just do on the go. Here we go. There's... I don't think you can run. Oh, no. I need... I need the... I am so sorry that you had to just see that. This one I will get with Fire Aspect. And it'll be the same for you. I'm going to take some damage from this creeper because I need to get some uh, some health down. Took zero damage. Nice. Right. <laughs> Let's just see. I've, I've got not enough space in my inventory for all this. Let's get rid of some suspicious stew. I need some cobble. This has been looted. It looks like there's still TNT, so I'll break that. I could come in handy, actually. I'll eat the kelp. That's another one down. And also the poisonous potato. Next, I make a furnace. And I don't know what I'm going to fuel it with. I guess I'll, I'll do sticks or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I just need to. I just need anything, all right? Anything, and what planks can't be used, so we'll just stick those in there. Raw rabbit eaten. Rabbit stew crafted. With bone meal and the beetroot seeds, I can go ahead and do... I can till the ground, and then I can grow... Oh, no, wait. You're not, gonna... oh, not enough light. Oh, I need a torch. Forget that. I don't need to be down here. Okay, I can go up. And do it from the outside. I can be by water. That's fine. Race against time. I don't know how long Minnie, how, how quick Minnie's going to get to where he needs to be. Let's till it. Then let's plant these. And bone meal them a bunch. And then we're just going to keep harvesting over and over again. Until we get... I think we need seven beetroot altogether, okay? PvP's on. Okay, I've got to be a little bit careful. Imagine somebody ambush me at a crucial timeline now. Anyway, I've got my seven. Let's move that out there. We can eat this. And there's another thing I need. I need raw beef. That's going to be the, the, the last one that's kind of tricky. I need to find a cow. I'm three away, as you can see. And those three are rabbits. Oh, there's a cow here as well. Those three are rabbits to raw beef and a beetroot. Oh, what do I throw away? I don't need all those bones. I don't need the bone meal, more, more importantly. Right, let's... Uh, uh, damage me. That's it. Make me hungry. Oh, you get hunger from these guys as well. It's the perfect thing. Imagine if not being hungry is the thing that costs me. That could be the saddest moment ever, couldn't it? Right, we've got an extra bit of inventory. <gasps> what did I just throw out? Nothing. I, I thought I threw some out by mistake. Okay, that, that did panic me, but it made me hungry, which is, is more important than anything, all right? Oh, I picked up the leather. That's why I, uh, I didn't get enough. Okay. So, wait. We've got this. We're going to beat him. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay, let's eat the raw beef. And here we go. Oh, I feel mean. I feel mean that I'm going to do it before him. I, <laughs> oh, Mini Mook is not going to get it. I've got to go for it. If I don't... Oh, I've gotta, I'm going to put something in the chat. I'm being mean. He said he's not got the berries. I said I've had a change of heart and I'll give them to you. Let me just double check. This is definitely the last one, isn't it? Yes. Oh, wait, it's not. Cooked rabbit has not been eaten. Oh, that could have been awkward. He's not replied to that. I said, accept the offer or shall I just eat them? It's coming home. Okay, see you there. And then... Dun, 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 another life, baby. Look at that. Six lives. I hate you. I hate you. I might have ruined the alliance with Mini Mooka, but I don't care, all right? I don't care. I need these lives. Ladies and gentlemen, I definitely, definitely need these lives. The thing that makes me feel bad is Mini spent about three episodes on it. Oh, it's a jungle, a jungle thing over there. The only reason he couldn't, <laughs> he didn't do it last episode, was because he waited for me to come back and I said I'd give him the berries and I didn't. I've just finessed him. I've absolutely finessed him. Can we, we can get armor trims. Yeah, well, oh, by the way, I forgot to say. <laughs> We're on 1.20 now, so we can get armor trims. Just a, 
a new thing. And there's going to be new quests that come with 1.20 for extra lives as well. Diamonds and four of them? Wow, that's insane. I think sailing's going to be the quickest way home. There's not really any other quests that I can do quickly and easily this episode, but I can make a start on one of them, okay? It's another quest where I'm probably the, the best equipped to do it. And that is the quest to get 10 netherite blocks. It's five and a half stacks of ancient debris, and I have a full beacon in my hardcore world. Well, I did, you, you know the story behind that, but anyway, I used to. So getting all of that ancient debris is not that difficult. Like 10 netherite blocks, that's nothing to me. So I'm fairly confident I can use my hardcore instincts and do that quest first. So we can go ahead Put the redstone on, put that, and I just need the armor to go with it. So I, I hope nobody ambushes me while I'm doing this. It would be like the worst time ever to uh, to get ambushed. There we go. Crafting a new look. Hey, yeah, the first one to do that. Fully changed up. Oh, yes. Look at me. I'm not entirely sure on how it looks, but it just looks like I've got blood on me or something. Anyway, I made a tunnel last episode. I know pretty much where it is. And in theory, if I just dig on this level, I should come to it. In theory. I did. Okay. I, I, this is the one. Right. So, I'm going to go all the way to this end. Here we are. And I'm going to sparingly place it, okay? So, I'm going to place it like, I don't know, every four blocks. So, there's not going to be many chains. It's not going to be a super wide tunnel. But, it's going to at least, you know, be a long tunnel, <laughs> if nothing else. I've come to a thing of doing it every three blocks. I think that's a, that's a nice in-between, a nice medium. Turns out for the length of the tunnel, I actually had more than I needed, which is good. So, now we just shoot that with a flame and arrow. And we let it do its work. So a bit of spare TNT is nice. We'll see how much we get from not very much indeed, really. You can see the chain will break fairly easily because of the spacing, but I can just do that. It's not too bad of a size of tunnel, but if I get half a stack, I'll be happy. And already we've got some. That's good. It's a vein of three, which is a nice place to start. Oh, there's five altogether. This is what it's all about. I mean, like I say, I've got a, I've got a netherite beacon before, so... I'm, I'm, I might keep that, I, I'm, but I'm, so I'm used to doing stuff like this all the time. Already got to seven pieces. Oh, it's fantastic. And once I mine up this piece of ancient debris, I'll have 16. And that technically is a full set of netherite armor already, which is great because I've actually got about 250 blocks left of this tunnel to explore. Okay, I lied. It's actually only 170 blocks left. So maybe we're going to get to about 20 pieces, which isn't bad considering I didn't use that much TNT really in the grand scheme of things. But we'll see. It's looking like I might only get 20. No, no, okay, there's two more over here, which is good. So when you find those veins of three that it makes a difference, is that a vein of two over there again? Oh, it's just a vein of one. When it's just a single one, it's just annoying because like it's not really... It's almost... I mean, obviously it's good to find, but it's not worth your time. When you find a vein of three, it's a it's an exciting moment. And it helps you make progress a lot faster. I think there's just one here. Usually in the roof. When you see one in the roof, there's usually only one. That's, that's the end of the tunnel. Do I, do I just use it? I'll use it up. I only need to dig a 300 block tunnel. It's not too far, is it? Come to an area with loads of lava, so I'm just going to kind of place it down here. I think the tunnel should be long enough to get all the TNT down anyway. Made to the end. 13 to spare. I'll light it up and make a quick tunnel here for the other 13. No joy in this direction. Finally, it's revealed some. I thought I wasn't going to get any. All that TNT and I only got like an extra three piece. Oh, well, you know what? 22 ancient debris altogether. It's not that bad. Because in the grand scheme of things, I didn't really bring that much TNT. I probably need an entire shulker box worth of TNT, realistically. But for me, that's been great progress. Another successful episode. We're well on the way with the next quest as well, which is nice. I mean, 22 downing, 340 in total. Yeah, 318 left. Yeah, that's not the worst. But I do need to do some PvP at some point. I'm, can I get out of it? Fantastic. Yeah, I need to get, get PvP in. I've gone after Quiff a few times. I think I might do a serious charge after Quiff soon. Because I, I can't let him get away, you know. I, too many times he's escaped. I, I think soon he's going to get an ambush and he is going to be defeated. I'm back at my house and Minnie is online right now and I, I feel kind of bad for what happened. So I'm, I'm going to go and chat to him and I'm going to make him an offer, okay? I'm going to make him a deal that's, that's at least going to make him feel a little bit better. Because he, he makes good videos, he works hard. So I want to, you know, I want to kind of soften the blow. And I need your guys' help, okay? I need your guys' help. We got a life out of this. I'm going to need you guys to subscribe. But there's going to be a twist and I'll, I'll tell him what it is when we get there, okay? Now I'm going to try and remember how to get into his base. That's always a difficult thing. And I've just flooded it as well. Minnie? I'm sorry. All right, I feel bad, but we're friend or foe. These things happen. Hello, SB. So, Hello. Oh, sorry, you caught me just in a... I'm, I'll just... I went, I'm not sad. You're not sad. No, okay. No. So I'm going to make it up to you, okay? You are very good at collecting food, as you've shown. Maybe not as... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to punch you there. Not as good as, <laughs> as, as me. And I've, I need food as well, okay? I, I'm constantly searching for it. So, how about this? For every single person that comes from my channel and subscribes to you on this video, you have to get me one golden carrot. Because I know you've got loads of carrots. Does it sound, how does that sound? Well, I've got the carrots. And you've I've got, got the, the subscribers. And, and the gold. And the gold, yep. I, I say, you have yourself a deal. Fantastic. All right, guys. You know what you need to do. Subscribe to Minnie. So far, I have a total of 22 ancient debris. Not quite enough, 
but it's a good start. I'm also going to grab a few diamonds and also this pickaxe. Hopefully I get loads of it. Let's see. Uh, we, oh, we got, we did get loads from that. I think I got eight diamonds from two. That, that couldn't be any better. So I'm going to put those on this axe. I don't want to use too many diamonds. Let's, ah, uh, well, that'll do four diamonds. Yep. Yeah. Just to, uh, well, repair the pickaxe. I think I'm going to repair this one as well. Get it, get it all maxed out. Because if we're getting ancient debris, we need pickaxes that are in good stead. Do I have an anvil in there? I need more shulker boxes. That's the biggest thing I need. I've got a bit of sand, which is nice. I will be mining for more of that. And yeah, we just, we, we need a lot of gunpowder. That's, that's just going to be a major, major thing. What lovely weather we're having, by the way. And I've also been told by you guys that clown has trapped my portal. The coffin trap. So... I need to not go through there. But I, I do need obsidian. So I'm thinking, I, I don't know if I should leave that, but I need to go and find somewhere I can get obsidian because I'm going to need to make another portal to go through to get to get to the nether to get ancient debris. So I've got flint and steel, which is good. But I need to try and find, yeah, somewhere where there's a good portal. I'm also going to just put that in there just so it's safe. I've got my ender pearls. I've got my bow. I've got these. I've just got everything in case any any kind of battle happens. That's the, 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 the main thought behind it. It's great being up to six lives. That's just a perfect position to be in. I hear a minute. Where are you? I'm, I'm at the bottom of the mountain. I'm coming. I'm coming Come up. Come on. I've got interesting news. Okay. What's what's this interesting news? Either someone's playing a trick on me or some serious stuff's about to happen. Right. What makes you think that? Read the book. A book. Okay. Hello, Minimooka. I have hidden something you don't want to miss inside of SP-727's base. You'll find it under the yellow axolotl. Now, remember I made that small room underneath your base? Now, this is going to seem... Th that was under your axolotl, where that is right now. I've just went in and seen, but this is going to sound really suspicious, right? Well, you made like it. I've... And who wrote this book, anyway? Yeah. But look. Did you know, is I'm this saying. some sort of trick look by the, the server assassin? Okay. Well, who's the server assassin? So you're saying that there's something under it? That's what it. I'm saying. Well, let me pick this fella up. And who made this mud, by the way? I didn't place the mud. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. I, d I made this room. I remember I made this room. I told you. I was waiting yeah, for I, you. Yeah, I never went in it. I just blocked it up. I was annoyed. What is oh, oh, that's... Uh, hey, 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 hey. hey, 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 hey. There's the, uh, a temporary the, truth. Despite all the betrayals I've done, uh, I was doing bigger things. One. This this one's also... Oh, it, it says my name. It's by, it says oh. SB. It's by Server Assassin again. It says, great. Next, I want you to take a look behind Quiff's friend or foe poster. Oh, There's my goodness. Okay, well, I've got a feeling something bad's going to happen, so I don't want to get anyone roped in. I need, I, to be honest, I've kind of got my own things I want to be getting on with it anyway, so I'll leave this in your hands. Do you want to just kind of keep me posted? I'm going to keep you posted. I feel like this is something everyone needs to be posted about because it sounds a bit dangerous. I mean, does this mean that someone else is on the server? Well, that's true because it has the IGN and you can't like make that up, can you? Okay, I, I'll be back. You, you you do that. I am going to go on my uh, my own little quest. You look nice, by the way. Thanks. Yeah, got me fresh trims. <laughs> I've got I fresh like trim. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's nice that you've ate every food. I still remembered. I haven't forgot about you betraying me. No, well, I needed a life more than you. Oh, not chapel. I could do with that. Oh, he's thrown it! <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no! Yes! <laughs> My key mines are different! That's so good! My key mines are different! Oh, that's no! Brilliant. No! Give me a back! My key mines. I'll give it back at the end of the. I'll give it back oh, at the end of the episode. What, right? If I die now, it's your fault. Guys, we've just had a very successful. We got an extra notch up. I don't think I give it back. I, honestly, I'm, at this point, I'm just betraying Mini no matter what in everything. I, I think I'm just. Yeah, I don't. I don't care. So yeah, I need to. I love that. I'm, I've got an extra notch up. I need to. I'm mean. I'm evil. I might give it back to him. I'll see. I, I feel like I'm, I feel too bad to not give it back. But anyway, we need to focus on a few things. First of all, got fire res. I need to try and probably get more fire res. That's that's a big thing. But I also need to go to my general mob farm and see how much TNT I can make. And then hopefully with that, I can make a load... Well, I can get a load more netherite. I mean, I know I need a lot of TNT to get the 10 netherite blocks for an extra life, which is one of the quests for extra lives. But I can at least make good progress for part of this episode because it's it's got to be done. Like I say, I, I don't want to go through a portal close to spawn because I don't know which one's clown is trapped. When you're mining for ancient debris... I don't need to be in a portal close to spawn. So that's that's a good positive. And the nether travel was kind of my way to get around fast. Because I was like, oh, I'll just go through the nether. It's quicker. I'll just go through two portals. Now I've got to be a lot more careful. I think there are ways to not die to Clown's Trap. But a lot of them involve some, you know, you might have to use a Notch Apple and a Turtle Master thing. That's that's not ideal. Chorus Fruit could be an option. But I don't know if he could, like, come up with some method to make it so Chorus Fruit doesn't work in his trap. So I've got to be very, very careful when entering the nether. This up here could be good. There could be an opportunity to get some Obsidian from it. Again, I don't. I know there's a portal up this way, 
and it has been safe for a long time. But is it still safe? I don't know. I, sh I should get some cores for it. I almost don't want to go to the end, though, because that's always a, a risky thing. But that's probably where I should go. Looks like I got, I got all this obsidian, but oh, I took the axolotl with me. Oh, let's let's chuck you in there, then, little fella. Oh, and I just hurt him a little bit. But we need to get rid of you, and then I can get myself a little bit more obsidian. So let's do something like that. And then we can start mining up. And it's at least three extra pieces. Oh, there's more here as well. Let's, uh, let's do that. It's always nice having a decent pickaxe, isn't it? And potentially, if I... Because what am I on? I'm on eight. So if I mine up, yeah, these two pieces of lava, I'll have all the, all the obsidian I need, which is a good start. And I want to just check how I'm looking for fire. You know what? I should be... I, I don't have the looting sword. But I should be getting more gunpowder from these guys, shouldn't I? You know, if you see him, grab a bit of gunpowder. That was actually kind of risky because he looked like he was about to blow up in front of me. Anyway... I, yeah, I should probably try and do that. I'm gonna have a quick peek in the chest because I'm not entirely sure what would where we are with fire res. I've got I've got none. <laughs> I should probably have a little brewing session. I, I think I can. Yeah, I could. I've got I've got one there. So we've got two all together for 16 minutes. Probably want more than that, ideally. I've got oh, I've got the cursor binding book. There's no creeper just sneaking about. I can hear mobs walking around. I think I should. Oh, I only have three magma cream, but we can definitely do that. We can definitely make some more fire res. And perhaps the strategy to do that could be whilst I'm at the top. Get it, you know, letting this farm run. I could be doing a bit of brewing. That probably is the cleverest way to, to go about it. Let's just have a little look in here and see where we're at with... Okay, so yeah, I already emptied that for from gunpowder. We've got a lot... Okay, we've got a lot of gunpowder. Wow, okay. Are, are these chests filling up? Oh, they nearly are. Good amount of gunpowder in all of this. I think what I need to do is stand on this little platform right here. Get rid of this netherrack. We don't need it. And then I need to try... I think I've got sand in my... How are we going to do this? I've got sand in my ender chest, so let me grab that, and then craft TNT. Grab more, and craft TNT. And then that is all the TNT I can craft for now, so we can pick this up, pick this up, mine a load more sand, and craft as I collect it. I tried him, boy! He's burning! Oh, I need to get my looting sword out. Quick, 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 quick. Come on. Give me, give me the good stuff. Give me the trident, please. It's all I want. I've been trying to get what everyone else has won but me, apparently. What? Why does he never drop it? I've taken out so many over this series and still no success. This is the thing about being on a PvP server. It means that I have to keep my inventory full of all sorts of stuff just in case somebody pounces on me. But it, it, it makes it hard work when you're trying to do all of this crafting because you just have no inventory space, do you? But anyway, I'll make it work. We can grab more gunpowder, craft more TNT. And so far, I've got a total of four stacks. Maybe I'll have a few more when some more creepers spawn, but I am going to make a nice little brewing stand area and get to work. The only issue with this up here is I don't really have anywhere to put water. Maybe if I had a little like that and then, I don't know how I'm gonna place it now. Can we can we go on the edge here? Are you ready? Up oh, there we go. All right, Axelotl, don't worry. It's all getting a little bit cramped, isn't it? But we can get three of those, get them into here. And I reckon I'm gonna permanently leave this because I've had to use blaze powder, so I don't want to waste it. I'll get the fire as going. And with blackstone, I can go ahead and make a brewing stand. So that's handy because we can have a spare one to go back in the shulker box. Job done with those. I might just brew another three, because then I'll have plenty for the entire project. A bit more gunpowder to be had. So I'll go ahead and sail far, far away. What the heck? Server assassin. There's literally a server assassin with one life in the tab list. Okay, I do not like the look of this. I'm definitely going to continue sailing far, far away. At least PvP's going off, so whatever assassin there is, they can't do anything. He says, fear me, and then just left. Okay, well, at least he's gone. Don't have to worry about that. PvP's off. I don't like the sound of that. Especially when I'm getting all my lives back. I don't need an assassin squad. I've got a clown to come to. Well, I suppose clown can't take me out. So this could be the worst thing, because I'm kind of immune from, from death, because I don't think Quiff or Mini can kill me. Only clown, and clowns... And then all of a sudden there's this guy. That could be very problematic. I thought it was just us four on the server at all times. But it seems that there's now someone else in the mix. Also, I'm, I'm making the poll here. It has to be far away enough, surely. Let's light it up. Just to be safe, I'm going to grab a turtle master potion. I'm pretty sure I have one. Okay, never mind, I don't. All right, you know what? If Clown gets me in a, in a trap, trapped here, then, then fair enough. Also, Minnie's just logged off, so I, I guess I'm keeping his not chapel for now. <laughs> that's great. I might need it when I, uh, when I go through here. Who knows? I'm good. I'm safe. I'm in the nether. Oh, well, that's nice news. I guess that means I can pop a fire res, jump in the lava, and dig my way down. Let's get a nice tunnel dug out. And I want this tunnel to be about 700 blocks long, which wouldn't be a problem if I hadn't just dug into a basalt delta. Let's back it up a little bit. Turn a corner and go along this way. I think we're all right. Nope. Okay. You know, I'll try the other way. This oh, look at this. I must say this direction does look like it's worked a lot better. As I was seeing it, 
Not other than ancient debris has been found, which is indeed very, very nice news. Looks like I've been here before. We've, we've come across another of them tunnels. It already happened. Question mark, what's he on about? I've no idea. All I know is I'm the only one on the server. And we've barely been up. I don't know where everyone's got. Oh, well, I'm just going to keep digging. I, I, I'm sure they'll come back or something, but I, I don't know what is uh, what is happening here. I'm just a lonely ancient debris hunter. Okay, Lava, stay out of there. But yeah, just a lonely ancient debris hunter, SP737. And at this point, the tunnel is about 750 blocks long, which is enough. I think I'm just going to go a little bit further, just just in because I don't want to have to dig it further at, at the end. Then I can start placing the TNT, and yeah, every third block is the plan. And I'll do this until I run out of all of it. That's all of it gone. I've got no TNT left. Let's light it up. Well, it's better if I use my flame arrow because that'll, that'll kind of light it easier from a distance. I've got my pickaxe ready. Let's see if we can find some ancient debris. And we've already got some. Three in the roof. Well, it doesn't get any better than that. Now, you'll have to remember that I already have 22 in here. So put that with whatever I get. I'm hoping I can get close to a stack. I need five and a half in total to get the life. But it'll be a great start, won't it, for where I need to be. And in fact, I have another plan for how I could maybe get even more. And that would be without needing gunpowder as well. So it's a kind of an extra bonus because I have a lot of another material. We'll worry about that later. Right now, I am going to continue mining up this. And I think I want it on the hotbar because I want to be able to see my progress all the time. Get rid of the gravel and continue. Oh, look at this. So many three veins. It's fantastic. So I now in total have more than half a stack. You know what? I maybe call it risky, but I think whatever I have in here, I'm going to pull together so I can just see the absolute total that I'm on in, in relation to this big quest. Once I mine up both of these, I'll now have 44, which is double what I started with. So that's at least something I've, I've doubled my my total, which is always good. I don't think there's too much left of this tunnel. I'm not entirely sure how much longer it goes on. Long enough to reveal at least one more piece of ancient debris. We've reached the end. Nothing on this last little bit. And so now it is time for me to head back. And the best way for me to get back is actually to go back through this tunnel because it's kind of straight and... If I missed any ancient debris, I'll see it. I don't expect to have missed any, but you... Well, <laughs> just as I'm saying it. I'm about to say, you, I don't expect to miss any, but you just never know. Well, you do know with SP that he... Oh, watch out for the lava. With SP, yeah, I always find a way to uh, to mess up and miss some. But don't you worry, because we've now got it. That's an extra piece in the kitty, which is fantastic. And who knows, there might even be one or two more found on the way back. There wasn't, but yeah, it was worth checking. Anyway, I now need to just run along this tunnel, because I want to get back... To to where my nether portal was, because obviously I know that's safe. For now, yeah, it might not be safe for much longer, but at least for now it is. Safest way up is probably drink fire res and kind of dig a staircase. And if I end up, yeah, I see there is lava there. So we can end up just going up like this. And if I build a bit of a tower, I'll know where I went down before if I want to go again. Now then, where, where was my portal? I think it was somewhere up that way. But we go. Thankfully, I have loads of netherrack from all that mining. And here is the portal. Now I've got to make the journey back. Tell you what, everything just takes longer because I'm scared of using nether portals. Maybe it's about time I came up with a plan to combat such portals. Now it's good to be back at this farm and I can go down to the chest storage. Although I should throw away all the netherrack before. Then I can start collecting string and craft it into wool. Why would I want to do that? Well, wool is going to be very, very useful in the nether because obviously it's an explosive. So that's my thinking behind it. I also reckon I could take these beds that they're of no use, so we'll, we'll use those in the nether. And it's actually really bothering me that I don't have chorus fruit. Because from what I can tell, chorus fruit is the only way for me to combat Clown Pierce's traps. So I'll first grab a bunch of wood for the beds. Then I'm going to drop off a load of stuff at home. So I think... The ancient debris, I might as well smelt it. I've got no other use for it. Stuff like lapis that can go into the chest. You know, all sorts of, of things that could just be moved around a little bit. Then I'll head over in this direction because I want to go to the end. I'm going to gracefully go down. I don't know what traps people have left down here. I know I once had a trap here, but it, it didn't work on getting quiff. But yeah, let's go and head through this portal. So far, everything's safe. Should have some blocks on my hotbar and the ender pearls available. Just in case I do anything stupid. I don't think I will, but... You never know. Now, I'm guessing this place has been completely cleared out for Shulk's... Whoa, what's, why is there a dripstone trap up there? What on earth is that all about? I have no idea, but I feel like, yeah, all the Shulker shells have probably been taken from here. That's not why I've come to the end. Let's go and ender pearl across. I always hate throwing ender pearls because you just never know when it might go wrong. I'm going to grab a little bit more endstone and chorus fruit. I'm getting loads and loads of chorus fruit. That should be enough. Over a stack. I don't want to have to worry about having loads of them all the time, you see, but if I could just have a good amount on my hotbar... If I get in a sticky situation, I can chorus fruit out. I'll, I'll bridge back, you know. There doesn't seem to be a bridge across here, and, and it, I feel like a bridge is needed. So now there is one. I'll tower my way back. I wouldn't mind to go and get some shulker shells, but really, I couldn't be bothered. I think the Ender Dragon has been defeated twice, so maybe there's another end gateway somewhere here that hasn't been explored. Now, if there's an assassin coming on, maybe I need to protect myself 
Maybe trapping him in the end if he came and chased me here could be smart. I don't know. Let's just go back through here. And I've got to test out the hypothesis. Does it work? Do Chorus Fruits work against Clown's Trap? I really hope so. Just as a contingency plan, I'm also going to bring a Turtle Master Pot just in case something goes wrong. It won't be the end of the world for me. So I think I need scoops for that. Now, where, where are my scoops? I'm sure I have them around here somewhere. And on a side note, I have no idea where the scoops are. So I, I guess... Forget that. We'll just go not chapel only. No, oh, this, this, is, this now becomes a bit more dangerous. I'll just, yeah, we'll just have to see see what happens. So we need the chorus fruit. We need this. I think, hmm, do I, you know what? Let's just go for it. I'm confident in the chorus fruit strategy. Let's go for it. Let's take a chance. Let's take a chance. I, I mean, clown could make it anti-chorus fruitable, theoretically. Okay, here we are in the trap. We eat a chorus fruit. And we're out. Thank goodness for that. Okay, I ate a few there. I was I was just in silence, a little bit annoyed. We're okay. I don't know where it's taken me to, but he really, really tried to make it impossible to chorus fruit out. Thank goodness it didn't work. Or maybe you can't chorus fruit on top of bedrock. That could be another reason. I don't know. Either way, I kind of want to go up above and, and dismantle it. Yeah, my heart did kind of stop for a little bit when I was like... It's not working, guys. It's not working. What's going on? Anyway, no need to panic. We. <laughs> I hope I'm not going to be underneath this thing or something like that. That would be annoying. We weren't. Thank goodness for that. Let's go ahead and sort this out. Uh, he thinks he can have a big, big old trap. Well, I'd say what this is free TNT for ancient debris as well. Oh, I might be able to get some of this. <laughs> this is why I just died trying to get too greedy. That'd be the kind of thing I'd do. Free obsidian as well, though. Let's pick up that. Then get those at the. Wow, this what a trap this is. It's so tall as well. But I think, yeah, we can safely... Look at that. Free TNT. Don't mind if I do. Alrighty. Now, <laughs> we blast this baby to smithereens. And that is his little trap dismantled. This is a good opportunity for this test. Can you actually cause for it onto bedrock? Because if you can't, then I could have been in trouble there. I don't think you can, you know. I didn't know that. So... That makes his trap once again still very, very dangerous. Did I use up all my chorus fruit? Yeah, I don't. So it's, it's a very dangerous trap because there's no guarantee you're going to be able to go down. Like, I, I'm down below, that's good. But if there isn't a nether cave below, you're in trouble. You're in big trouble. All right, that is very, very good to know. I'm now going to drink a fire res, jump in the lava, and start working on the brand new strategy. I actually need to clear some space here. We have way too much stuff. Let's, let's just start with this TNT. Why not? I can go ahead and use my bow. Blow it up, no problem. And get ancient debris. Oh, that's a nice start. I'll I'll just pick that one piece up. And I don't know how I'm best going to do this. I think it's maybe going to be like sideways. If I just go like this, I, I've got to be careful. I don't like hurt myself. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of going to be the method. I've just got to kind of test things out a little bit and make sure I don't do anything stupid. Like this, this shouldn't kill me, but I want to know how much damage it does. Okay, it's not done much damage at all. That's good. How much does this do? Okay, well, that did a lot of damage. So make sure that there's a block between USB. I, I, I kind of knew that, but there's, there's a bit of a, a damage nerve for beds because we just thought it was too much of an OP thing if you could just like, you know, bed bomb someone all the time. But you still take the full damage on yourself. Oh, 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 watch out, it's me. Yeah, you still take the full damage yourself. It's just if you do it to somebody else, you don't take anywhere near... Uh, they don't take as much. That's basically the, uh, the the way it works. So we can do that, and we can do that. And this will just be a, yeah, a good way to hunt down ancient debris. I think having a long tunnel will also help. So I'll dig one, then do something like this on both sides. This is slow. This is way too slow. I should be digging it and then and then placing the bed and going straight away. So we'll just kind of do something like that instead. And from that, any ancient debris I found can be collected. This method definitely isn't as effective as using TNT. But it is probably a much cheaper way for the resources I have at the moment. Obviously, again, the gunpowder is taking me time, whereas I have all of this wool available. So I might as well use it. And I think it is, it is kind of working out really well for me. Look at that. I was, just, I was just digging the tunnel to place the bed and I found ancient debris. That's good. I'll dig around. If it's all in this chunk, which it is, there's probably no point searching a bit more because once you find ancient debris in one chunk, you're not going to find it in, an, in more in the same chunk. A little more complex than that, but that's, that's kind of the gist of how it works anyway. I tell you what, so far, this method is serving me well. I feel, I feel like it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty effective indeed. Once I mine up these two, I'll be up to a grand total of 10 from this method. Make it 11 because there was three right here. I've also slightly changed my strategy. Now I'm just going like this and just kind of working my way backwards, keeping an eye out because I just... I don't know, I feel like it's, it, I don't know if it is faster or not, but I, I quite like the way this method is working. Hey, Mr. Pigman, today is not a good day for you. 
Pretty sure that's a safe way to take them out without them getting angry. <laughs> At least I hope so. So let's, that's, this is, it's kind of, okay, well, yeah, I ran out of fire resistance apparently. I just fell straight in lava. Nice. Not really a problem. This entire method is just not good for my armor. That's, that's the biggest worry here. Maybe I should be using something like Blackstone, which has a bigger blast resistance. Which in theory means I should take less damage than if I was using Netherrack. Now at this point, I've run out of food, which is, is kind of worrying because you, you do lose a lot of food. I also have used up a lot of uh, the durability, which is also a worry. Obviously, I could make Suspicious Stew if I want more. And that's about all I have with me. So, yeah, I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful. I think what I'm going to do is use up the beds I've got. We'll, we'll do that in a fashion where we go place two of these. And, it, and you take pretty much no damage. I should get some fire res, though, because that is one way that I will take damage. This is why we made so many of them. And I can eat one of these stews just to make sure I'm at full, full hunger. This is the method I've kind of come to now, although that is not the way to do it. Yeah, you, you need to be able to at least see that. This is a very thin one, I don't know why it's so thin. But yeah, you just basically dig the tunnel, then you place those two like that, and you take very little damage, as you can see, and it, it exposes a good area. And when it exposes a good area, it exposes a good amount of ancient debris. So let's mine up you, and also both of these. Oh, that's fantastic. You know what, I've decided, this method's going well. I've got 24, I've got all this wool left. I should probably use it up. As long as I'm doing the method where I use the blackstone, my durability isn't really affected on my armor or my health anyway. Plus I've got some diamonds, so I'll probably repair them as I'm going just to be safe. Lots of beds can be made. This mission can continue. Plus a pickaxe substitution might be a good idea because this one is looking a little bit worse for wear. Pompeius has just done the spooky scary scale. I wonder if he's trying to get the things for a wither. It does mean I'm not the only one in the nether. I know it's very unlikely that he wouldn't break the deal and attack me, but just in case I better keep my wits about me. Because I'd hate for him to come up with some sort of trap. Also, on a side point, my leggings have mending on them. So, mine up quartz is kind of good to at least repair those. It would be great to have full mending armor. But at the same time, I don't really want to lose that in battle. I am also collecting up these levels now. So that if I need to make some repairs on an anvil, I'll be able to. And this is a pretty long tunnel I've done. So, I'm going to drink my last fire resistance. And get busy hunting for the ancient debris, such as ones just like this. Refine the method even more, if I leave a gap of two, then place two, it's it's really, well, it, 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 it reveals some, but it, it's really even better at not taking any damage. I'm just always just refining it, I am. So I want the method to be as good as it can be. I reckon I can probably get away, look at that, we're nearly at half a stack. But yeah, I can probably get away with using netherrack and take no damage. Yeah, because it's it, the distance is there and everything. This is fantastic. Very effective method and also very, very resource friendly. The fire res is just about gone. Yep, now I've lost it. And these are the very remaining beds, not that many left. So I'll do as much as I can. You don't really need fire resistance now that I've refined this method, which makes it even better. There is just a few little bits here and there still to be found. Oh, one more. Oh, the final bed. <laughs> Let's go. That's fantastic. Please be two. Yes, do you know what that means? That means we got exactly half a stack of ancient debris from the bed method. I do think using TNT is definitely faster and better, but it's good to just use all the resources I have because obviously I didn't have loads and loads of gunpowder. So I'd say this is a great alternative. Oh, okay. I am uh, in lava. My other plan now is just to get home. I think the way I'm going to do that is kind of just use one of the portals near spawn. As long as I have chorus fruit, like, going to spawn, I shouldn't have to worry. Well, going to the other one, I shouldn't have to worry about it too much. So that is why I will uh, I'll not worry about that. As, as long as I have chorus fruit, I'll put the chorus fruit there now so that I definitely don't forget about it. I'm also digging a tunnel as I go back, just on the off chance that I come across some ancient debris whilst I'm, I'm on my way. Because you just never know, so I might as well give it a chance. Oh my goodness, wait, what? I... Apparently, I blew up a room and there was ancient debris in it and I didn't even see it. I don't know how I did it. I think it's when I did loads of beds at once, but that's that's careless of me. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, that's <laughs> three extra ancient debris. I just didn't expect it. Yeah, well, we got 35 now. That makes it even better. I'm glad I went through these tunnels just to check. And now that I have no fire resistance, I think I'm just going to have to do the method of, of, of digging out. Hopefully, I don't get trapped under the lava, you know, because I haven't got any food left either. This could be problematic. Wait, here's what we're going to do. Oh, uh, what am I doing here? Imagine if this is how I die. All right, we're just going to not panic. We're going to eat one of these. That will give me enough just to regen for a start. <laughs> that was uh, that was stupid. I do have a not chaplain. I don't want to eat a not chaplain in this situation, though. That would be stupid because it's just the most self-inflicted thing ever. I think... Where am I? What? Why is this so far? This is just going to do terrible damage to my armor, isn't it? But... All right. Well, we made it this high. All right. <laughs> I was slightly panicking there, you know, just, just for a split second. We're out anyway. We're out same time. Bio Fortress as well. It's, oh, and there's my bridge. Yeah, that was way riskier than it needed to be. Anyway, let's just go up here. I didn't think about eating the chorus fruit, but I'm, I'm not kind of sure how it would have ended. So 
I didn't. Now, this portal here was removed by Clown. I'm guessing because he wanted me to fall for going through that other one. Is there actually any others around? I mean, technically there is. There's just loads of broken ones. I, I mean, I'm fairly confident I can go through and be safe, but... Knowing Clown, he'd just find some way to, to, to defeat me. Here's what I'm going to do. All right, first things, we don't want to lose the ancient debris, do we? Then we'll just go ahead and put that like that to complete the portal and light it. I don't know where it's going to take me. Hopefully, it's not going to take me anywhere bad. I want to put my notch apples. Uh, I should put my... <laughs> well, I'm just scared to go through a portal every time now. I'm going to put my notch apples there. I am going to eat one of these. I did have another fire res. All right, I didn't need to nearly kill myself. Go just use that. Anyway, yeah, I don't know what's going to be on the other side. We're about to find out. Hopefully it's safe. I mean, it's a portal that I've just built, but I just don't trust this boy. All right. Well, we're safe. All right. Good, good stuff. Don't want to go back through there, but anyway, it's nice to be back on the other dimension. And now I'm going to set up a few contingency things for the assassin, but I'm not going to show you guys because just in case someone's watching, I don't know who this assassin is, you see. I don't want them to know what my safety plans are, what my measures are to escape them or whatever that the, these are ways to fit them. I've got plans. I've got ideas. And it has to be a secret until they, they show themselves and we know more. But I, I want to be more prepared. So if I want to go after Clown, I'm thinking I should first make some invisibility. Because then he doesn't know who he's going for. And if he starts attacking me back, I'll get two lives. Because he would have broken the deal that we made. I've had enough respite from Clown. I am now ready to try and take him out at some point. It's going to be tricky, but I'll give it my best shot. But before that, I need more food. I have like five mutton and four pork chops. It's just not enough. And in fact, on top of that, I'm also going to grab myself... Some netherrack, just so I've got some blocks. This is also all the netherite scrap, so I could make full netherite armor. I'm not going to at this point, since if I get 10 netherite blocks, I get an extra life. But yeah, working towards that is probably a smart idea. I'm trying to think where the best place for food is going to be. And I've also got to be careful, because if Clown is in the nether, he could have one of his traps set up. And if I go through a portal, I could end up in the coffin trap, unescapable, and die. And that would definitely not be something that I want. Mini just attacked Quiff. Where am I? <laughs> I'm a bit far away collecting food. Oh my goodness, is that a natural pink sheep? No way. Very, very cool. I'll just... No, I'm not going to kill it. But you know what? I should capture it in a boat. Do I have a boat? There you go, pink sheep. You are now mine. Kind of ironic that a few episodes ago, I got the advancement for eating every single different type of food. And here I am now in the situation where I've run out. So I've just been out collecting food. And I've just realized that I made a deal with Mini where for every single person that subscribes from me and goes to him, he has to give me a golden carrot. So if like a thousand people subscribe from me to him, He'd have to give me a thousand golden carrots. So he's going to end up owing me a load of golden carrots anyway. So the 22 pork chops I've got plus the one mutton should be more than enough. Someone's in my base. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Taking a little swim. Should we go kill him? Let's go get him. I'm muting up, in fact. I don't want to, I don't hear anything, okay? I don't know where he's at. Gotta be, well, I'm guessing he's at his base. I've got a fire res. I've got pretty much everything I need. I don't need that. <laughs> I, I, I want to get involved here, but one of these can die. Maybe even if it's not Quiff that dies, someone else can, like Mini. Well, there's Quiff over there. Oh, he's running still. Okay. Mini's, Mini's in hop shoot. The thing is, I don't have to keep up with Quiff. I just have to keep up with Mini, and Mini has to keep up with Quiff. So, as long as I'm in the area, it'll be all right. He's gone through the portal. What do that, we do now? That, that, yeah. Well, we, we could... Go through. Um, do you trust? Not a chance I'm going through that portal, <laughs> SB. Can you imagine? What can we I wish we could send something through. Well, look. He ain't coming back, baby. Anyway, I'm, on, on a side note, where's my golden carrots? Look, I've been trying to work on them. But I, I'm hungry. I'm out collecting food. And I just realized I should never have to collect food ever again. Look, next episode, I'll have... Oh. What if we could send these through? Well, you broke the portal. We could, though, technically. Wait, come on, wait, let's come do it. On. Let's do it. Let's do it. What if we get in the boat? You can get him in a boat. There we go. And then if we use a water bucket, we can push the boat in, right? Oh, yeah, hang on a minute. If I had a fishing rod, I could do it. Do you have a fishing rod? There we go. So that you can't get them. So what we need to do is we need to, like, get them, break the boat. And okay. Through. So I'll, 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 don't touch it. You'll hurt them. I won't. Hit, I won't. boxes are on. They're in. Okay. Now we wait and see, I guess. <laughs> we see if there's a trap on the other Can you imagine? If, like, it is a coffin and Quiff's trapped in it and then he can't punch them and they just keep hitting him. So, we're going to be able to know what dimension they're in. If we can both sleep, it, it'll, then we'll know we're all right. Oh, so Quiff is in the overworld then. Nice little quick pursuit of Quiff. I have no idea what was on the other side of that portal. It might have been perfectly safe. It was just very weird. So, I think now is the perfect time to start hunting down Clown because I can use the entire time of there being no PvP to see where he is. And then when PvP comes on, I'll go for it. So, let's track him. He's somewhere in that direction. Okay. I don't know if it's pointing to a portal or pointing to exactly where he is, but I'm going to start going over there and on the way, I can hopefully get food. I've no idea how far away he is. I've no idea what he's up to. Okay, well, maybe I do know what he's up to. He's, 
He's underground. What's he? What is he doing? What's up, man? <laughs> what are you doing down there? I was mining. Mining, were you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's no trap. No, no, no. Don't go down. No, no, no. Don't go down there. No, no, no. Don't, don't go down there. Really? I really don't think you should go down there. Investigate okay. that at all. Okay, that's that's fine. I won't go down there then. Let me just put a little okay. marker here so I know, you know, I know where it is and everything. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Don't don't go there. Have a good day, man. What? Oh wait, I like your trims. Thank you. I'm, uh, fresh trim. Yeah. <laughs> Hypothetically, if you did go down there, how much money would it take? Um, <laughs> money. <laughs> uh, maybe if you gave me like, I don't know, five shulker boxes, I'd go down there. I'll give you five cobblestone. <laughs> you don't really want me to go in the same down there, shape. Do I don't know what he's up to. I don't know what's down there. I get the feeling like there's probably nothing down there, and he's just kind of just <laughs> was collecting iron. But he's he's gonna have to know that he's gonna be shadowed now for quite some time. It does also bother me that I don't really have any. I, you know, I'm using netherrack not a a better block for my like my, my building block because netherrack is very easy to mine whereas if i want to slow someone down something with a bit more resistance is good i mean stone's got decent resistance cobblestone's got even more resistance but I, i'll just go with stone i think that'll that'll work absolutely fine clown still seems to be above that hill so i don't, I don't know what that means unless he's gone down the other side i don't need to know that i'm kind of stalking him though that's the that's the worry if he starts to get get wind of it that I'm going after him. Although there is food up here, which is, is, is a bonus. Might as well get you. You. And that's about all I can see at the moment. It's just mainly a load of sheep. Yeah, I'm also very conscious of the fact that I'm getting way too far away. There doesn't seem to be any more food over here. But I've, I've, I've got to kind of keep in this area. Golly, 27 pork and a load of stew. Should be enough. Also, what is that? What's he building? What on earth is going on down there? All I can see is iron blocks and nothing else. I don't know if there's... Yeah, I have no idea what he's up to. I'm going to slowly sneak my way down. What is this? It's some sort of massive entranceway. Element of surprise is pretty important. Trying to get as close as I can, ladies and gentlemen. What is he doing? It's iron blocks. Is he building a beacon or something? Patience is key. Come on, PvP. Please turn on. Can I steal a block? He'll have no idea that I just stole a block from his thing. Quick. Go, 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 go. Okay, we're going to go like that. I'm going to get the strength there, I think. Here's the plan. Clown is going to finish his beacon. But he's going to be like, why is it not a tier 4 beacon? I placed all the blocks. Why is it not working? Then, whilst he's trying to work that out, kablam! I'll ambush him. Okay, I've got to stay crouched. That's the best I can do, okay? So, it's just a waiting game now. Just a patient waiting game. PvP has come on. Okay. This is it now, ladies and gentlemen. This is the PvP where we hunt for clown. But it, it is still a waiting game while we wait for him to return to where the beacon's at. It's going a little closer. I want to know how much of the beacon he's done. Oh, all of it. So, he's maybe... Oh, no. He's just missing a few pieces down there. Okay. I'm hiding up here instead. Okay. If you want to know where I am, I'm just above him there. Okay. Don't think he'll see me here. But one wrong move and he will. In fact, he's fully over in that direction now. He was over there a second ago. So he's, he must be close because he's moving around near me. This. Who's that? I found him. Is he coming back? I don't think he will have seen me. All I see is a moving name tag. He's looking now at where I was before. And now he's crouching. I'm still so confused. He stood quite still at the moment. Could I catch him when he's in his inventory or in a chest maybe? He's moving again. Quick, get back down, SP. <laughs> get to your hiding spot. Must know I'm there because he's just crouched above me. And he's purling already. He just hit me. He just critted me. Whoa. Whoa. You all saw that. Whoa. Whoa. Did you just crit me? Clown Pierce left the game. Where's he at? I have a tracker. I know exactly where he'll be. Oh, oh dear, clown. Can't have. I don't know. I have video evidence. I'll be leaving this up to the viewers, ladies and gentlemen, because I think I saw what I saw. Yeah, that's right, clown. I'm sure that I was uh, critted out. Hmm. I'm sure he just hit me. Well. By accident. Well. I'm not sure accidents are uh, are allowed. Accidents are in the rules. All right, I'll uh, I'll let you off. Let's see. I mean, he doesn't have strength, so. He 
You must be getting weak. Man, I hate waters. Could he die? Could it be Clown Pierce dying by the hand of SP? Oh, what a move. That was a very, very good escape move there. Where did he go? Oh, he's over there. I need more strength. See him. I'm in pursuit, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. No way. Come on. No way. What does it take to kill this guy? <laughs> he must be weak. Goodness me. Come on, clown. You can't survive this. There's no way. Oh, he's been getting away again. No way. I just let him slip right through that bit. Come on, SB. How did you let him survive that? Oh, no. He must have been as weak as weak. There's no way that he just... My goodness, mate. I hit him so many times. I mean, I know he has good saturation and stuff, but I don't even know what level he's on now. Like, is he up here or is he? I don't know. He could still be underground. Okay, he's moved. Okay, he's gone all that way. Back to his little area. I'll still try with just a minute left. Because he maybe he thinks he's done a grand escape. Who knows? Is he just going to keep running? I don't know. Has he got a trap in here? Another good question. I'll go up this way. Well, master of escape, but I do want to know how weak was he? He must have been so weak. I got him in such a good position, and I hit him so many times. I had strength, I had a, sh a sharpness four sword, and I need netherite sharpness five, maybe. He's got, he's got those guys after him. I think he probably reckons after with, with 40 seconds left, he's probably going to survive, but, you know, you never know. You know, it's, it, oh, he's, 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 he's a bit more prepared now. I think he's had a bit of time to prepare himself for the moment, and he's, he knows now with just 20 seconds left, He's probably, uh, he's probably gonna be okay. Yep, well done, clown. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a, a GG. GG, clown. Uh, you know what? Master of escape. Well done. Well done. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. GG. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Oh, okay. So, I forgot about the PVT <laughs> timer. Honestly, I would have carried on. If there was no timer, I'd have carried yeah, on. Yeah, I, I was, I was confused for a moment. I forgot about the timer. I was fully prepared to try and run away from you for like the hour that the player tracker lasts. <laughs> you almost had me in the cave. What was the lowest you GG. got? Four hearts, something like that. Uh, I, I was definitely, I was down, down to four to five hearts, something like that. What? Definitely, I was sweating. I was definitely sweating. GG SB. Yeah, Good so game. what was accidental crits allowed or something? Is that a... Is that a... Yeah, no, remember, uh, if, if I hit you by accident, it doesn't count. Okay, was it an accidental one? Remember that? Yeah, we, we said that we said that in the uh, original contract. It was an accident. Okay, okay. okay. If, I, if I crit you with, like, the intent to kill you, that's that's when that's when I break it. Pretty intense chase. I don't know how we managed to take so many hits. I think I'm going to have to go for the netherite sword next and get it up to sharpness 5, just to give me that extra edge. But we definitely came closer than we've ever come in the PvP situation to taking him out. Hello, Mr. Clown Pierce. What's up, guys? Um, this is for you, Mini, if you want it. Oh, <laughs> that's such funny time. <laughs> wow. Okay. That is oh, crazy what are you gonna do, timing. clown? What are you gonna do? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> no, 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 it's a joke, it's a joke. Would you mind coming to court? Are you gonna tell us what we're convicted of? This is just, this is just a summons. This is just your court summons. You betrayed me last episode, so you are on my radar. I've never betrayed you. I've literally never betrayed anyone on this server. Yeah. What I, the honestly, heck have you been building? This <laughs> Wait, this no, this is this is a whole case, you know, who betrayed who? Yeah, this that yeah, like to so I'd like to sue you, Minimuka. SB seven three seven. Do thou remember a golden apple? <laughs> oh, yeah, I no. yeah, I remember, yeah, yeah. Snatched 
from me? I just seem to remember it just being lying on the ground and I picked it up. No, no, no. You see, the front of foe server should be a safe place, a safe haven <laughs> where our items no, no, can no, lie no, no, wherever no, no, they no, may no, be. No, 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 no. That's literally the, literally the entire premise of the series is that it's only a safe place half the time. I see a rule here that states that there's no stealing or griefing. Stealing from chests. Can I have me golden apple back? <laughs> No! Oh, no, no, no! Oh, we do it, do it, do it, do it! Hey! That, no, oh. no, 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 <laughs> no! You thought it was real, he's gone! He's long gone! He's not! He's gotta be oh, here! Here, I'll, I'll exchange that for you. Are you talking about God Apple, man? Yeah, I'll, I'll exchange it for you. Give give me that and I'll talk to him. Um, Minnie really wants you to give the God Apple back. If you drop the God Apple, I'll give you this little apple. Alright. Does that sound fair? Yeah. There you go. See? What a hero. Your problem now, Mini. This is court! <laughs> <laughs>
to battle Clown Pierce. Or at least there's not really enough PvP time left to battle him. I could go and get more pearls. I also want to know why somebody blocked that up. And this is a new bridge. Has somebody been up to something? Or is this just another way into the fortress? I used to think maybe I built this bridge. Come to think of it, I think I did. But what? Oh, where does it go? Has anybody been... It just, I'm just... The, the fact that somebody blocked it up and I don't think it was me. So it does make me suspicious that somebody has been in this area. And I'd be especially suspicious of this portal. This is the portal that goes to the other stronghold. I would like to go through it. I'd like to go to the end. But I don't want to die. Uh, what do we do? Do we... <laughs> Should we just go for it? Why don't we just go for it? It's safe. It's completely safe. Thank goodness for that. I'll be honest with you, I really was expecting the worst there, but that's that's a good thing that it wasn't like that. No one is allowed to trap the end, so... Well, that, that portal anyway, you're not allowed to, to do that, so I didn't have to worry too much about anything happening there. So if somebody came through here, yes, I could, I, you know, there could be a battle, but I think we're okay. I reckon I'll just get the old boat out, make some endermen angry, you know, and, and hopefully get them in the boat, and just collect a load of enderpearls. And with that, I have over four stacks of the pearls. I think that's got to be enough. At some point, I need to make some sort of XP farm out here, but, but not at the moment. Let's just head back. I don't know where I'm going to spawn. In my own base. Fantastic. And with just one minute 20 remaining, do I go for the ultimate sneak attack and get mini? If he's at his house, we get him, okay? I don't really have the food. I don't really, I don't really have the setup for it, but let's just do it. I, I, I mean, I don't fear him. And he did betray me in the last episode going for clown. I'm sick of nobody dying in ages. So if he's here... He's going down. He better hope that he is not here. Here he is. What is this? Doesn't seem to go anywhere down there. And this is his carrot farm. Is this all the carrots he owes me? Go, to be completely honest with you, I do need some carrots. I'm not going to steal them, but he, he does owe me a load of golden ones. But it looks like he's survived this PvP session. I'll give it that to him. He's, he's survived. He's lived to tell the tale. He could be anywhere, which is why I'd, I'd, you know, I'd be making a player track if I really want to find him. More importantly, yeah, I just need to try and get sharpness 5 on this sword. So I reckon the easiest way is if I can try and make another little setup down here. Though he's just logged off. Oh, well, looks like I won't be getting him, but Clown won't log off, so I can I can get him in the next PvP. And there's 55 golden carrots here. Wait, has he, been, has he brought me 55 that he owes me? Well, that's fantastic. Because to be completely to be honest with you, I really did need that. I'm also going to just destroy this portal down here because I need obsidian. And I don't know if it's trapped or not at this point. And I don't want to risk it because I know what Clown Pierce is like with making trap portals. So I'm just going to mine up. I'll make my own safe portal. I know how to line it up so that it would definitely be a safe portal. Then anyway, with that, I can craft that. And there should be space down here. I'm going to make a... Oh, there's loads of netherrack as well. Well, Clown Pierce has gone as well. I'm hoping they come back. But if he doesn't, that means my XP farm will work. Oh, I could use that. Oh, this could be a great opportunity, actually. I'm going to risk it and I'm going to go for it. I admit it is a bit of a journey to get there. I can't use a nether for obvious reasons. I don't want to die to one of Clown's traps. Oh, Minimook has joined back. Are you kidding me? Oh, man, this is such a conflict now. This is why I need an Enderman farm, because the Enderman farm will work when no one else is online. But I reckon next episode, that's got to be my top priority project. For now, I'll take these books, I'll take some wood, and I'll craft away. That's all down. Let's see, what, what kind of things are we getting right now? All right, nothing good. We have more of a chance to put a diamond sword in. Sharpness two. It's not going to cut it. I'll have to reset this, and now I only have 20 levels. So I actually need to bring this down a little bit more so the max level... Oh, that's too much, though. Might three. Ah, it's not good. Done a bit of messing around, and I can actually put everything together here if I just go and do something like this. It's not very XP effective, but that's sharpness four. So now, with 14 levels, yeah, we can get sharpness five. And whilst I'm here, I'll grab four netherite scrap. And for In fact, let's grab eight, because I might as well also get myself a, a netherite axe as well, I was going to say, but I... Don't have the smithing template upgrade because I forgot about... Ah, uh, no, and I haven't been to a bastard. Well, looks like we need to go back to the nether. Are you kidding me? Boy, am I tired of going to the nether. I, I think I'm just going to risk it on use clown's portal. I'm pretty... Uh, I could... There's, there's two portals I could use that I know about nearby. Should have got these netherite tools before we updated to 1.20, shouldn't I? Yeah, there's the portal at Clown's house, which I trapped. I don't know if the trap's still there, if it still works. And there's this portal on the hill right here that Quiff went through in the last episode. Is it safe? I have absolutely no idea. But there's only one way to find out, I suppose. Ah, oh, it's safe. 
Thank goodness for that. I was, I was slightly worried at the time. And now I need to get busy traveling in search of an unexplored bastion. Fog base has just logged off. Mini's logged off. I could go to the XP farm. I'm not going to stop until I get myself that netherite stuff. I completely forgot about the fact that I need the netherite upgrade, which is what has really hindered my progress. Well, this is a great opportunity for me to find a bastion, get that, get that sorted, and to also visit my XP farm to get a load of levels back. Oh, it's another fortress as well. That's kind of useful. And whilst I'm kind of exploring, looking for a bastion, I might as well pick up XP from quartz too. The quartz, I suppose, is useful if I need it for observers later as well. And a basalt delta. Oh, this is very nice. First and foremost, more blaze rods. And there should be magma cubes somewhere in this biome. I don't know exactly where. <laughs> Down there is the answer, apparently. Okay, well, that's a little bit more effort. Let's just go like that. I have Featherfall and I don't know why I'm, I'm being so careful. I just might as well just jump off. And I didn't use my looting sword by mistake. Oh, well, that was a stupid thing. My cube number two. And this time we did get some cream. Bastion number one spotted. I've been to it before. I have no idea. Will it have a netherite upgrade? I also have no idea. But there is only one way to find out. I have also got to be quite careful. Okay, well, there's gold here, so that's a good start. I don't actually need the gold, so I'm not going to waste my time on it. What I do need to be careful about is... All of the brutes. And I've got to be careful about not making everyone angry. Okay, what have we got in there? Anything decent? I feel like spectral arrows are kind of nice, but I'm not going to get anything like that. Okay, well, things have got a little bit hairy there. I was, um, yeah, just, just, man, yep, just going to run away now. See you later, guys. You know when the brutes show up, it's serious. Now then, where was I? In this chest? Oh, okay, we've got a snout armor trim. That's kind of nice. I, I, I want that. And the final possible chest is somewhere down here. And we got netherite scrap. That's actually nice as well. I feel like I'm overusing the word nice here. Anyway, you get the point. And now the search for the netherite upgrade continues. I've spotted another bastion. And this time it's a treasure one, which is very, very handy indeed. I think I'm going to ender pearl to there. Then I can carefully dig. Okay, I've, I've got to be very careful how about go about this. I think I'm going to start by getting a bucket of lava. Really don't want to die in this <laughs> in this place. We really are in the lion's den here. Magma spawner. I'm going to get rid of it, as useful as it might be. I'm going to remove it. These guys can get spleefed in lava. That includes you. My pursuit for netherite stuff. Now, now it's guaranteed in these kind of bastions that you do get the netherite upgrade. So that's, that's a fantastic thing straight away. We got pigster. It's amazing. All right. Let's just, let's just spleef them all. That's the greatest thing ever though. Pigster. <laughs> I'm going to spleef you. There we go. I have no space anywhere here. Let's get rid of some netherrack. Then we can grab pig step and obsidian. Oh my goodness, I need obsidian too. It's fantastic. I could grab all the gold. I'm not going to. So there's what I need. I'll just get rid of the quartz. And diamonds. Oh, thorn straight. And a netherite. Angle. And a notch chapel. My goodness, what a chest. I didn't even notice. I was too busy focused on the netherite upgrade. Genuinely an insane thing. What I'm going to do is I'm... You're all right, mate. I'm going to just make a little bit of a platform. Don't know if that's risky. And I'm then going to just put stuff in the ender chest so we've got more space. That should do it. There is only one chest here, which is a shame. Sometimes you get two, but I, I, it was one pretty insane chest. And I will search the rest of the bastion just on the off chance. So I've already looked in there. There's nothing else that I need. But yeah, just on the off chance that there is another of these netherite upgrades. You, you get about, you've got maybe a 10% chance, I think, of finding them in another chest. But then you've got like a 100% chance of finding it in that middle chest. Let's just check in all these corners for a chest. It doesn't look like there's any more down here. Except for this one, which yeah, I've already been to. Oh, no, there is one over here that I haven't seen. Oh, ancient debris, nice. And another one of these. Oh, fantastic. Definitely ready to go home here pretty soon. But I will spend a bit of time going up to the top. See what I can find in the other half of the area. I'm going to have to lava you. I'm sorry, good sir, but don't you dodge my lava like that. Yeah, getting in here is always risky. I'm, I'm not bothered about the gold blocks because obviously I've got that gold farm. But what's in these chests? Well, it could be useful. I'll actually take a diamond shovel. It's, it's, I'm not going to need it, am I? Oh, I hear some guys behind me. Get lavered, guys. Trying to plunder some good stuff from chests. More in Shabri. Two of them. Fantastic. A bit more obsidian. Although that's obsidian, I'm... Well, that wasn't very good, was it? Are they going to land on my head now as well? I'm just going to dig down. Um, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't get the obsidian because I got some blackstone in my inventory. Then every man and his dog was after me up there, and I didn't have blocks in the slot that I thought I was going to. Yeah, it, it all went a bit wrong. I actually do kind of... Oh, is that... That's three nether... It's not really enough, is it? But I do need some more blocks. Oh, there's a chest through here. Oh, more obsidian. Oh, well, that's just what I was hoping for, actually. But yeah, I'll end a pearl upwards. Then... Okay, well, that was a waste of time. Then I just take the stairs like a peasant. Here we are. Right. I don't want anything coming from here. Oh, no. That was not a good uh, situation to be in. Let's just go. Da, 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 da. There we go. You're too slow now. Get taken out. Because my armor's so good, the damage isn't actually that bad. Anyway, I just wanted that four obsidian. 
And then with what I have in my ender chest, I can make a portal. Actually, I don't want to make a portal. I want to go to my XP farm. Well, that's that idea out the window. I actually want to kind of head back homewards. So let's end up all down. In fact, if I've got myself some quartz down here, I could mine it for XP, which there is. And with a few more veins like that, I can get to level 14. That means I can finally combine these and get a sharpness 5 sword. I'm going to head home. I'm not going to go to my gold XP farm. Instead, I'm going to make myself a decent XP farm in the end, which will be in a future episode. But now I can just make my way out of this nightmare. I've still got fire resistance, so I don't really have to worry about ender pearling into lava. There's that fortress I came past earlier. Good to know about. My portal has been successfully found. The other side should be safe because I technically removed the portal. I'm not entirely sure where... Wait a second. Just in case. Chorus fruit handy. Just in case. But yeah, it's completely fine. It's made a new portal at the bottom of my hill, which you know what? I can't complain because that's extra obsidian for me. And now I can take seven diamonds and craft another one of these, which I'm going to put in here. I'm going to put the, that extra one. So if I ever need more, I know where to go. With that at the smithing table, I can get a sharpness five netherite sword. Much, much more useful than what I had. And at some point, I will get a netherite axe. But I want to make it sharpness 5 first before I commit to that. Yeah, bit of an interesting episode. I, I pretty much spent the entire thing getting a netherite sword. Not entirely what I wanted. I wanted to do a bit more than that. But we also got a lot of extra good resources. So it's going to be very, very helpful in the future. We got another Notch Chapel back, although we did give one away. But we gave minis back. We gave it to Clown. So it's safe to say that all sorts did happen. But most importantly, we got... Pig step, which is a very, very nice thing to have. So I'm just going to put it in there. <laughs> As I said in the intro, I'm planning to go to court because I feel like there is evidence against Clown Pierce and I should be able to get two lives off him. But before that, I want to prepare to go after him. As you can see, I have now got a very powerful Sharpness 5 Fire Aspect 2 sword, which is fantastic. But I want to make sure I have everything else. I think the biggest thing I need is bone meal, which, okay, we've got a lot there because... There's not much of my brown mushroom left. So we're going to go over here and use this for... Hello, little fella. Do I have a looting sword? No, okay, not on me. I, do I... What on earth? Wait, there's another one down there. There's a dripster. I didn't... Who has done that? I, I, I kind of remember somebody doing that, but at the same time, I forgot. And I definitely don't want to accidentally fall down there. So let's... Um... <laughs> what, a, what a trap. Let's just go ahead and do something like that. Just to protect it all. Then I can place a brown mushroom there. Bone meal it up and get way more. Look at that. Look at the speed of the mining. And from three, I've gone up to 14 already. That's fantastic. And then after doing it a second time, I've got 29. Yeah, there's no reason why I shouldn't have 64 mushrooms. Ooh, PvP's on as well. All right, I keep my wits about me. Do I maybe go after somebody quickly, early? I don't know, not yet. I, I want to get the court case out of the way before everybody kind of gets a bit upset. I might as well also make a load more suspicious stews. Brown mushrooms can go back in there. The red ones here. I know I also said that I would sort out getting a sharpness 5 axe as well. Never really happened, but I'm not really going to be using the axe too much in PvP. The sword is the main one, so that is what I'm focused on. And now it's just dandelions that I need more of. Dandelions are not too tricky to get. I don't want that creeper to blow up, by the way. You're going to ruin my mountain. I'm pretty sure if I just bone meal a random area... Oh, look at that. Three straight away. Okay, okay, you're... Oh, look, it looks like they're having a phantom situation down there. Can I just, like, shoot clown? Are you ready? Just a little... little warning. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, okay, I think they saw me. Anyway, back to collecting dandelions. Mini Mook was slain by the infamous Quiff. Wait, what? Quiff took out Mini? That's Quiff's first kill, right? Is that Quiff's first kill? That's what happens when you trust people with PvP on, because you can't trust people when PvP's on. When PvP's on, everyone's a foe. Even me, all right? <laughs> I just oh. put you in my face. I, I, I Mutually it, assured guys, destruction. Guys, if you die, yeah. you're immune for PvP and he just hit me. You're not, you're not oh, immune. Oh, that's, that's a case. Another very, case. Yeah, you have that, two yeah, cases right true. now, Mini. You're not, immune, you're not immune from PvP, all right? But what, read the rules? No, not if you hit someone as well. Then you back into PvP. You can't just hit people and be immune from PvP. You hit me, so that brought you into PvP. It makes in fact, a good point. In fact, you're now no longer immune from PvP, Mini. Oh. oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll see you at court in 12 minutes, guys, all right? Do you have any mushrooms for me, SB? Uh, what, uh, what do I get in return? Be 13 red mushrooms. And give me 11 brown mushrooms, and I'll tell you a really cool trick that you can do right now. Oh, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, on my life, business on my life, you will love this. It's it's pertaining to what you're doing right now. I'm learning from clown. That's what you ground. do, right? Okay. Grab one of these. Oh, dang it. I messed up the speed crafting. There you go. Oh, oh. And, you, and then you get bone meal back. Yeah. Just Which use is? shears to get all the grass, and you actually, you get more bone meal than... You spend. That's that's pretty good. 
Um, I mean, I have a, a farm that gives me unlimited bones, so, you know, it's kind of... Anyway, thanks for the mushrooms. Bye. You're welcome. Scammed again by Clown Pierce. At this point, I'm pretty happy with everything I've got to go after Clown Pierce with. Here we are, at court. You stop flooding the court. Where is the witness stand? Have you still not built it? Can you get down there. This is my court. Thank you. The, where's the witness going to stand? Are you going to come up here with me over the witnesses? <laughs> That's the thing. What kind of that? <laughs> what is oh. this? Listen, it's, it's a good court. It works. It does its purpose, okay? What? The, what the, <laughs> have you ever been to court where the, the witness goes and stands up with the judge behind the main desk? That's the that's the judge's stand. There you go. There you go. Or, or the right, witness stand. The witness stand. See? Yeah, yeah. That looks good. There he is. There he is. <laughs> where did you come from? Ta-da! Here we gather today with new evidence from SB737 on the case against Clown Pierce hitting him, critting him in fact. SB737, please come up to the stand. Now, please present your evidence. I actually have video evidence of a, uh, a situation where Clown critted me and claims it was accidental. But on further review, accidental, is an interesting interpretation of the situation. What's the terms if you do attack me? You have to give me two lives, okay. If it's accidental, fair enough. But if it's like intentional in some way, intentional in some way, intentional in some way. Yeah, if I if I actually try critting you out, you know, yeah. then then yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you two lives. He's pearling already. He just hit me. He just critted me. Whoa, whoa, you all saw that. Whoa! Oh, yeah, all right. That, that was to be expected. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. You know, you, you show this clip of me saying critted out, which I don't know if you know the definition of getting critted out, but one crit does not you know, uh, uh, satisfy that definition. Critted out is when you do either two or more consecutive crits. You're trying to kill somebody um, and accidental. I know it might seem a bit strange, but you know, as a as a trained PVPer, uh, you know, it is a reflex to look behind me, hold my shield up and crit. I, so this I, this what might look like a very intentional movement is it's just a reflex on my part. So therefore, I do argue it's it's accidental. Uh, and I did not crit you out. I accidentally crit you once. I will, uh, you know, I will keep my case. Uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll keep defending this point. Well, we've heard two sides of the story, you see. Now we put it to the jury. Quiff, please come up to the stand. Why is Quiff, Quiff what's this got to do with Quiff? Why is he on the stand? Quiff, what do you think of this situation? Do you find Clown guilty or not guilty? I see both sides. I see where SB's coming from. It technically, it was a crit, but from the exact words you said, it wasn't a critted out. Like Clown said, critted out is uh, three or four more crits. So in terms of him giving two hearts or two lives, I'd say Clown is not guilty. Thank you for your input, sir. Please go back to your seat. Now, the second member of the jury. Hello, <laughs> my, my name's Dave. And I think after looking at the evidence, uh, Clown could be guilty because he said, if I do it by accident, then, you know, it, it's an accident, you know, but he clearly turns around, sees it's SP and, and goes for the crit and, and goes for the, the hit. Why else would he want to, you know, crit him? Why else would he want to hit him? So I, I'm, I'm going with guilty. Boo, Dave, boo. Thank you, David. Yay, Dave, yay. Thank you, David. It seems we are in a predicament. Actually, can I bring up another point? Come to the stand. This is a question for all three of you. You're about to kill somebody. What is the first thing you do? I personally run towards them and start hitting them, forgetting to drink strength. Exactly. Drink strength. That is what I would do if I wanted to kill somebody. And I did not pop strength to create you. And I think I think this personally like proves that it was an accident. I mean, if I really had the intention of killing you, I would pop strength. Mm -hmm. And it, it is clearly stated if I do start critting you out with the intent to kill you, that it, that was in the original rules. I did not have the intent to kill you. It was an accident. And yeah, that's that's the rest of my defense. I did not pop strength. Therefore, there was no intent to kill you. Thank you, Clown Pierce. Are you saying the words intent to kill you? That was never mentioned in the deal. You're putting words in mouth. That's hearsay. Okay. So that's, that, that is con close to contempt of court, but I'm going to let it slide. More importantly, that crit took some of my damage and slowed me down in chasing you because I had to then heal. It also threw me back a little bit and, and confused me in the situation, buying you more time 
potentially stopping you from dying. Hey, up, just Dave stepping That's in here, guys. Um, it also damaged the armor. Dam damaged the armor. Yep, used up valuable food, valuable time. That I want to miss So that's that's my other side of um, it, you know. So yeah, goodbye. Now, jury one, Quiff finds the defendant Clown Pierce not guilty. Jury two, David finds the defendant Clown Pierce guilty. Jury three. Sorry, wait. Sorry, before the verdict, can I take a potty break real quick? Just I'll, I'll be right back. I, I gotta go really bad. Hi guys, uh, it's me, Steve. Um, I'm late for jury duty, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm here to be uh, the third jury. Um, hello, Steve. This, you're at the wrong court, I think. N no, it definitely was here. I was supposed to be one of the three jury. Ah, okay, because there was discussions that maybe the audience would decide. <coughs> uh, oh, they they should put that in the letter. That's real confusing. Uh, that's real. That's real sad that I had woke up and got out of bed for this. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Sorry, I, I had to go really badly. The final juror will be the audience of friend or foe. Please click the link in the description to cast your vote. Clown Pierce, guilty or not guilty? Well, that's that's going to be interesting. And meanwhile, I've got a little tracker, and I don't think this long till PVP comes back on. So I will I will be ready with this. But before that, I've got a little contingency plan, you know, a little a little thing I've got to do. Just in case things turn south at any point. I'm not telling you what that contingency plan is, by the way, okay? That, that's, that's just for me to know and you guys to never know. There he is. He probably knows. He probably knows. But just in case he doesn't, here we go. He's swimming already. Uh, well, let's see where he's He's now going to make an escape as well, okay? We're, we're, pretty, we're pretty evenly matched. I'll just uh, end the pearl up here. Oh, where did he go? He'll make sure not to accidentally crit me this time, won't he? We can swim all day, clown. We can swim all day. You've got 18 minutes to survive. He's giving himself something. I don't know what. He's giving himself some swiftness. Oh, it looks like it. Okay, this is going to be interesting because he will be able to move faster than me now, which definitely doesn't help. But we've got him on fire now. And he's not had time to pop fire resistance, which is nice. Ooh, that was a nice move. Okay, swimming again. Swimming is not really the place he wants to be. Should have had some swiftness. But I think with Pearls, you know, we could just keep running. You know, he's going to have to eat at some point. I'm more prepared than him. Okay. Ooh, what a move. Okay. I haven't actually, um... Where is he going? I kind of... I didn't have him a water bucket handy, you see, so I couldn't just MLG after him, but I'll eat. Okay, is he dug into the walls? We can, we can use the tracker, don't you worry. No need to panic. Looks like he's gone this way. No way he's escaped through the caves already. I should have jumped after him. I shouldn't have um, let him do that. I'm guessing it's where these stone bricks are and he's replaced it. That's all I can think of. Where does it go? Pretty smart move. That's what I get for not having my water bucket handy. If this is a plan he's had for a while, I wonder if he's been making contingency plans for this situation. Well, there he is anyway. Seemingly heading towards my house as well, which is interesting. Is he in here? Would seem that he was. Is he gonna? Is he waiting for his ender pearl to land? Looks like it. Okay. Well, we got some good hits on him, but he probably hasn't taken much damage. He's trying his best just to cobweb me over and over again. Is he going from here? Right through. Okay, interesting. Interesting uh, choice, Clown Pierce. Just got to keep whittling away at him. 11 minutes is a long time for him to run. I have a more powerful sword than I did last time. The swiftness is definitely making a difference. I should have equipped myself with uh, with some swiftness. I have some somewhere, but obviously not where I need it. Are you looking at boating? I don't know if he has one. But his cobweb strat isn't working too well. Okay, well, it works there. Okay, here we go. Where's my boat? I couldn't find it. Don't you worry. I've got a bow and arrow as well. He's, he's, he's done well there, actually. He's done well. He's realized he could just kind of keep running and and kind of be okay. Oh, and again. He's going for the wide open seas. Aha. Now then, what are we going to do here? Well, okay, that's an interesting uh, F, uh, method. Well, he's got no boat now. And he's underground. Which is perfect, exactly where I want him to be. Come on, SP. He's 
gotta be low. It's gotta be low. He can't get away in this situation. He's managed to somehow eat. And swim in the sit. Oh my goodness. This is intense, ladies and gentlemen. He's somehow done the wraparound. No way. No way. Again? How does he do this? He's, he's TP'd. Where did he land? There he is. There he is. We continue. He's managed to eat and probably regen all the way as well, which is the crazy thing about it. <laughs> I had him in a hole. And he's... <laughs> he is insane at this game, ladies and gentlemen. He really is insane. But he's still got eight minutes to go. He's still got eight minutes to go, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know... It's not over yet. It's not over yet. But it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. I have a little bit of strength left. I'm gonna probably throw the ender pearl and then get it out as well as my food. But wow, he is he is a tough nut to crack, is this clown pierce boy. He really is. I mean, getting him underground is where I want him to be, but at the same time, even then, it, it's like he, he can almost escape. I don't know. It's um, it's kind of crazy. He seems to be low on wood. He's trying to get that back, which is interesting. Probably maybe make another boat. I should be hitting him with slowness or something, shouldn't I? Although he's, he's not got speed anymore. He's not got swiftness, which is good. That means he can't just... Are you kidding me? I don't know if he has fire res still. It looks like he does. Probably is he going to pearl. Oh, I missed it. Look at him. Nice try to craft some. Yeah, guys, trying to craft something to get away. Maybe a boat. Looks like that's the most likely thing. Six minutes forty-five, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm not using the strength. I'm going to use the strength when we're in close, closer quarters. Look at him, just gathering the wood whilst being chased, gathering away. He really, he really is a smart player. Can't do this forever. You get caught in your own cobweb, boy. That's right. Oh, and I can't interpel. Okay, I've got to wait for the cooldown. That's his big chance. I'll take a free crafting table if nothing else. Okay, is he looking to boat? Yeah, get past me now, clown. Where are you gonna go? Okay, he's just gonna go over that way. Fair enough. Um, I have some boats. I think he knows if he stays in the water, he's kind of alright, but... Yeah. Okay, he's just gonna keep moving. He's, he's kind of slowly getting everything he needs. To keep escaping, which is the worrying side of things. There he goes again. Oh, he just about made it. I mean, if he sticks to the water, he probably feels kind of secure, but I mean, you can't do that forever. I don't know how many enderpearls, if, who has the more as well. Cobwebs as well. I don't know how, he, how he's doing for them. But he seems to be quite sparing with his pearls. I'm ready for his turning and cobwebbing. And he's out of fire res. Okay, that's huge. If I can just keep tagging him, he's got to then... Call, you know, he's got he's to deal with the situation here. Got to keep using the water bucket. You know, it's, I mean, it doesn't affect him too much, but it slows him down that ever slight a moment. I'm sure I can see the timer ticking down. It's been a real chase. <laughs> he's run and run. I mean, I got close. I must have got close when he's in there. I should have blocked it in better, but he somehow got out, dug around and dug, like, really is so hard to get. Like, it, it really is a tough, tough nut to crack. Whipping that clown beard. <laughs> Just keeps gobwebbing me now like it's nothing. He's going for it. He's going for the ocean. Oh, no. Okay, right. We're just going to boat, boat after him. Okay. Is, is he sailing out now? Has he got three minutes of, of sailing away to, uh, to escape? It's possible. It's possible that that's what he thinks. However, I can try something. Did I get him? I just missed. It's a tough, it's a tough shot to hit now, isn't it? It is a tough shot. Two minutes fifty-one. He's going near the monument. That's an interesting strat. Did I get him? I think I hit him, but maybe not the boat. The rain is pouring, which means my fire aspect is now useless. Did I get his boat? Oh, I did. Where's he going? Doing a little dig down. Okay, can we get to him before he escapes? All right, we know where he is because he's using brick. Oh man, you're an idiot, SP. Broke too many blocks. Now he's got a he's got a break and place, so now that makes it difficult for him. Okay, I tried to pull through, didn't quite pull it off. Sounds like he's out because he's he's breaking dirt, and he's carried on through the forest. It's very hard to track someone through trees 
when they've got kind of ahead of you. But not impossible. GG, SB. It's a, it's a GG. Um, how low did I get you this time in that cave? Uh, you got me like four, I think, or five. Can't get you below that. And then you somehow just dug around and wrapped around. I was like, come on, bro. That was a good fight. That was fun. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll see you next session when uh, we'll see if I'm actually losing two hearts or not. Interesting times ahead. Another intense chase. Another time where I got him into a situation where you'd think maybe I was going to get him. And then he gets away. I'm, I'll have to study him more. Maybe I need to train up and just become a little bit more clinical. But he's a very good player. So I still have loads of stew. The main thing I probably need more of is strength. I have one left. Fire resistance, I only really need that if I take on mini or quiff. Which is entirely a possibility. I did get quite a lot of good extra brewing stuff in the, next, in the last episode. So I'm going to take some bottles. And it, we're going to do a little bit of brewing. We're going to go and get that in there. Hello, little Axelol. I haven't even ever named him. I need to get a better house. At some point I will. I say that. Well, I think that every episode anyway. So we're going to go with that. I think its strength is kind of what we want. So we're going to... Make sure it's splash, and then I need the glowstone to add a bit of power. And the beautiful thing about this is, we chuck that in there, and then we want strength, we want to increase the strength, and then we want to make it splash. And it just all works like that. I should probably have more than one brewing stand here as well. That would be a nice idea. So I'm going to go like that, and then try and find some cobblestone, which apparently I have nowhere. Don't worry though, because I have a pickaxe here, not that one, but there, which I can go ahead and use to craft, to, well, to do that, get three items, then craft it, and it can go, in fact, let's just put that back in there for now. This can go, I'd love to put it next to the current one, but I feel like it's not space. There's just not enough space down here. We're going over here, and I'm going to need a hopper to go with it, so we have the five iron. Do we have enough wood? We've got six there, so that's definitely not enough. Oh, we've got warped, though. Yeah, warped will do the trick, so we'll go ahead, do that, and then get to the crafting table, bring it all together. Then make a hopper, plunk it on top. Do we have anything in there? No, so we're going to need some blaze powder first, which is pretty easy to get. So that's going to be fuel, and we're going to make strength. We're going to need nether wart, and a whole host of other items. Let's fill these up, add them to here. These are ready for the inventory. More fire res is also the other thing I probably need a bit of. And finally, I need to... Tr what? Server assassin? Oh my goodness. Um, that is bad news. That is very, very bad news indeed. It's not attacking me already, it's just some skeleton. I don't even know where he is. Server assassin with one life. Oh my goodness. Okay, this would be a good time to just move out the way. What the heck? Please don't come for me first, server assassin. Please don't. I Maybe I should go to the nether. I don't know. I've just drunk a fire res out of a bit of safety. I've not even got that many pearls. I've only got eight. Oh, that's bad. There's Enderman there. Do I have time? He could be anywhere though. He could be chasing after me. I have a contingency plan for escape if I ever get in a sticky situation in any PvP situation. Is that him there? Or is that Mini? That could be Mini. I just know the server assassin is dangerous. I don't know much else about him. That looks like Mini. And we're probably going to see some depths at this rate. I, I tell you what, I ain't hanging around here. I am not... I, I don't like this one bit. Like I said, I have a contingency... There's Mini. I have a contingency plan for this situation. Now, PvP is on. PvP is on as long as he's online, by the looks of things. Mini's running. I, pff, I'm not staying near him because he's going to lure him over it. All right? And I don't want that one bit. All right? I was just making my player tracker. I don't even have the materials for it. This is not good news at all. I'm going to throw out a bottle because that I do not need. I just want to keep out of everyone's way, but I mean, oh, this is bad. <laughs> I don't like this at all. I'm just going to spend... Well, is it just going to be the entire episode trying to stay alive? Assassin, go after Clown. Don't go after me, please. I don't know. I'm guessing the Assassin has a tracker as well, so... Oh, man. I was afraid this day would come. <laughs> I've, I've spent so much time not being attacked by anyone. You know, being able to go after Clown. Life's been easy. Oh, there's a... Right, we need to get this Enderman. Big time. I need some pearls. Oh, I don't even have my loot and sword, though. It's in my Ender chest. And you think I'm going to get it? No chance. Let's get that in there. All right. Get out of here, Phantom. Okay, didn't even drop. Didn't even drop. Of course it didn't. Okay, we have uh, we have that though still. Why do I feel like I'm the one he's gonna go for? I just I just get this feeling. Since when did Quiff go down to five lives as well? I don't even know. <laughs> Could go to the Nether. I don't know where where the assassin is, but trust me, guys, this is the safest spot for me. That's all I can say. This is the safest place, apart from those stupid phantoms, all right? But if he should appear and come after me, but he might pearl. I'm I'm just nervous. I don't know where Minnie is. Obviously, around my base is probably the most obvious place, which is the worry. I'd love to go back to my base and make that, but I, I, I just can't risk anything at this point, okay? 
got every every man and his dog trying to attack me. I'm gonna pop a suspicious stew just to make sure I've got plenty of hunger. But if I die to this, I'm gonna lose a lot. I'm only saying this is the safest place for me because of my contingency plan. <laughs> Where's he going? Who's he going after? So many questions. And you are causing me trouble because you keep splashing. I keep thinking it's a player splashing around me. Can I get you in the boat, mate? Go on. Oh, oh. Okay, never forget it, forget it. This is my problem. I get too nervous. <laughs> I get too panicked in these things. The thing is, I don't know who the server assassin's gonna go for. I don't know what his plan is. Maybe he goes for the nearest one. Maybe I should have asked Mini if he knew anything, but Mini just seems to have run for his life. Maybe if I can make a tracker, I could track the assassin. That could be the play. Okay, let's go like this. Let's make sure the pearls are handy at all times. And let's keep the fire res topped up as well. So I need four diamonds. I need a compass as well. That's not good news. Because I don't have the redstone needed for that. And if I put the diamond in... Oh man, here we go. Okay. Just got to keep my wits about me. That's all. I have unlimited iron. So let's just keep four. Then I have to go up to my base, grab a piece of redstone and come back down. Okay. I mean, there's nothing to... Is it name tags? No, okay. Uh, there's just there's just some spots on my screen. <laughs> I thought it was their name tags. I was everything's got me on edge. Okay, but yeah, I've just got to get up here, get some redstone, and get out. This is a good vantage point though, if nothing else. Okay, where's the redstone SP? I've been there. Okay, we've got it. Crafting table, compass, uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, fantastic. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. We can craft. We can craft out and about. Right, we've got crafting tables with us. Let's do that really quick. Make a player tracker. Come on there. It's Quiff. Okay. Quiff of all people. Okay, SB, listen. Quiff, what's going on, bro? I have no idea. I think this is the time none of us need to fight and we need to band together. I don't know what this assassin wants. I don't know what he's going to do. But, yeah, I don't want to get in trouble. Do you know where Minion Clown are? No, I've been looking for them. I can't find them. But one thing I realized, he does have one life. Okay, so he is, he is takedownable. Yeah, but as you can see, there's, the PvP will not be disabled. He's just online. I feel like if we stick together, we're a target. <laughs> if we're both near. Yeah, de definitely. And I don't know what he has, so just be safe. I'm going to try to find those guys. All right, good luck. I saw Mini in this direction. I think he was going, like, towards the uh, this way. So, away from okay. spawn. And everyone's running. Yep. Pretty Sounds much. about right. Everyone but SP. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck, then. Just want to reiterate, guys. There's no, there's no script in here, by the way. All right? We knew the assassin would join at some point. I've got, We've got a pretty good idea that his job is to come on... And, and attack us every now and again. Well, that is it. Everything else is mystery. I don't even know what gear he has. I don't know where he's at. Although I do know I can track him. Okay. He's somewhere in that direction. All right. Minimook has made the advancement. Who's cutting onions? So he's gone to the nether. Okay. Don't know what he's doing getting respawn anchors, but all right. Now, the assassin is just directly in that direction, which is in the direction of Clown's Bay. If I'm careful, okay, I know where he's at. So it's not like he can come from behind, okay? And and I'm not, I'm not going to take the fight to him because the, the, the server assassin... We'll probably have the best gear, and hey, <laughs> I know for a fact he's a lot better than me at PvP. But if I do know his location, it gives me a chance. It gives me a chance of at least being ready. And like I say, I've got a contingency plan. If I see him, if I see, if I get into any trouble in PvP in this server, I have a contingency plan and a way to escape. I'm just gonna stand still and see if the compass moves, because that'll mean he's on the move and he's kind of close. As an added thing, he's not moved yet, by the way. We did know the server assassin was going to come, but we did not know what episode he would log on or anything like that. Okay, just as an, an added thing to let you know. Wandering trader of all things. The, 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 the assassin's not moved. I, I think I want to go towards it. Why is it, all right, SP737 has this thing where he has to go to the jaws of death. All right, I can't just stay away. I can't run 20,000 blocks away. Why would I want to do that? No, 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 no. I want to go and see what's going on with the server sounds. Maybe he's chasing Clown. Maybe I can get some shots on Clown and make Clown lose life. I don't know. So many questions. Maybe he's after Minnie. All I know is, I know what direction he's in. I don't know how far away he is, but I know the direction. Knowing the direction, he could be below me. He could be at the top of this mountain. I doubt it, but he, he could be. It's all about the high ground, ladies and gentlemen. All I know is I have to get towards my base to make an escape. If I can't get that far, if he can cut me off or defeat me before I get there, then... I will be in trouble. So the further I run from my base, the more worried I get. But he hasn't come after me. Clearly, he's gone after somebody else by the looks of things. And I've got prop four armor, so he can only take me out so fast. You know, there is there is there is going to be a little bit of time, providing I don't get lost, and providing I don't run too far away. It's leading me to the trees. I wonder if they've gone over the water. At the end of the day, everything in my inventory I can get again. Okay, it'll be annoying, but I can get it all back. So even if I do die trying, I've got to I've got to get involved. This is a chance that I can make Clown lose a life. You know I'm gonna go for it. I saw Minnie running in the other direction. 
I saw Quiff in the other direction. Unless the server assassin is a peaceful person with a very misleading name, he has gone after Clown. That's that's all I can say, okay? It it looks highly likely. Got a dolphin here. Come on, dolphin, let's swim. We're a bit too fast for that dolphin, Anna. What crazy person would track this assassin? <laughs> Only SB. Only SB would go into the jaws of death. Looks like Clown has traveled so far away. It is like he is also scared of this assassin. If if this is what if what I think has happened has happened. Because I am going many, many blocks. This is getting more and more risky, by the way. But why else would Clown do this? Why would he travel this far? Anyway, I, I've, I've, I've committed now. We're, we are, yeah, going very, very far away. It's a long ocean. Maybe Clown just set off in this direction as soon as the assassin joined. I don't know. Clown is very, very protective of those lives. I'm also thinking of going axless and having my bow handy. My goodness, guys, we're 3,000 blocks away from spawn now. I was hanging around spawn thinking I'd need to make a quick exit and the assassin was coming after me. I'm sure my time will come, but... I, these guys are very, very far. Well, that's the thing about the player tracker. You can see the direction they're in, but you have no idea how far away they actually are. Maybe Clown knew about this ocean. Maybe this was all part of his plan. He knew this ocean was here, and if he ever needed to escape, he could go in this direction. It looks like the terrain... <gasps> I've been hit. Okay, I was about to say, it looks like the ocean ends, and then this guy just hits me. What's that all about, man? I genuinely thought I'd just been snuck up on by the, the assassin there, and I was like, how is this... How did he get behind me? Anyway, it looks like the terrain ends, which means these guys have gone on to land. I don't know what methods of transportation the assassin has. Oh, unless there is a gap here. Although the gap is the opposite direction. I think we'll be getting close to them. I also think if the assassin decides to come after me, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> I'm just so, so far away from my base, and I just don't like it one bit, ladies and gentlemen. But let's continue. Let's continue on foot. Let's be brave. None of you want to see me run a million miles in the opposite direction of the assassin. No, we need to find out what this guy's about, a little bit more about him. See what is going on here. And running towards him has to be the best way to do that. Even if I lose a life. I haven't lost a life in a long, long time anyway. So I, I could afford it. You know, we, 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 we're up to a decent position of six lives. I could go back to, down to five and manage. I just don't like the fact that it is so overgrown. Because I could be really close to them, but I can't see them. I'd love to be able to see way, way further away. Oh, bottle. Okay, we're on track. Something's going on. Enderman, serve me well. Assassin. Oh, yes, we got another pearl. Okay, that's good. To say I didn't use my looting sword, that is very nice indeed. But the thing is, Clown is completely kitted out for running away at the moment because he's been running away from me so much. So he'll have everything he needs, but he can't run forever because eventually his resources will run out. And that could be my downfall because I only have so many ender pearls. If I had more pearls, I could run for a much, much longer amount of time. But as you can see, I've got no more, which is problematic. Obviously, yeah, like I said, I have a, I have a contingency plan, but that requires me being at my base. So that, you know, I've got a long way to run back. Minimooka and Quiff have now logged off. It's just me the assassin and clown. And I'm not leaving until I see this out. I wouldn't just abandon clown on the server with the assassin. Oh no. Maybe those guys, they do it the slow way, the steady way. You know, they want to stay alive, keep... No, no, no. I want to see what's going on here. And if there's a chance that I can make... Like I said, if I, if, even if I lose a life in the process, I don't mind, okay? If I can just get rid of clown pierce, then that is enough for me. The only worry is if I do catch up with them and then the assassin turns on me, and leaves clown, that could be a disaster. That could be a massive, massive disaster. Also traveled 6,000 blocks and I refuse to do that and not find out what is at the end of it. Okay, I, I'm not having that. I am gonna keep going now until I catch them up. And the fact that I found a bottle does mean I'm in the right direction. I wonder if the assassin went straight after clown because I did wait a little bit just to see what was happening. It's a nice way to see all the map anyway, going all in this direction. And not exactly how I expected to be spending this episode, but I'm not gonna complain. This is a bit of a worrying area because if I accidentally step on some powdered snow, I'm gonna start falling and then that'll just be when the assassin turns up or something stupid. Just trying to make sure I stay on the snow layers. As long as I do that, I should be okay. I've gone over the top of him. He's back this way. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Have they gone down? I could be above them. Yeah, they're somewhere below me. Exactly where, I don't know. It could be very low down. There could be a deep dark down there. So many questions, a lot of danger. This bee's got one trick up his sleeve. The element of surprise. I think I'm going down. I think I'm just gonna go for it and get in the mix. I, if there's any chance I can do something to Clown Pierce, it's gotta be worth it. Wait. I hear a warden. <gasps> There's a warden down there. I don't like this now, ladies and gentlemen. You know what happened last time I went near a warden. This really is suddenly becoming a much more risky idea. I, I kind of want them to come away from the deep dark, but Clown has lured him into a deep dark, maybe with the hope of taking the assassin down. Gone in this direction. Oh, okay. Now they're below me again. This is where great care has to be taken. I can hear the warden hitting stuff, but I don't know what it's hitting. Imagine if I just... Not right now, guys. Not right now. There's bigger things out there. This is where I should probably start. No, but I'm not even in deep, like, 
of here, so I, I don't think I have to worry too much. Oh, no, anyway, I haven't even got my water bucket handy. Let me, let me pop one of these, just in case. Just very unnerving hearing the warden all the time. I don't even have my shovel handy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. What's the worst that can happen? I die and lose all my stuff. Okay, and I'm okay with that, yeah? I'm okay with that. What is this? It's a tunnel. Assassin's in this direction. The ward is... <gasps> there he is. And there's Clown Pierce. <gasps> no way. No way. What's going on? Are they battling? And the warden's going after Clown as well. No way. What is going on here? I don't want to get seen. If I get spotted, the assassin might come after me. <gasps> They're coming up here. Uh-oh. Not here, Clown. That's it, guys. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Leave me alone. They ran right past me. Oh, this is so scary. It's like two heavyweights battling it out, though. Look at him. I think the assassin's seen me. I think the assassin has seen me. It's time to... Clown Pierce, get down from here. That's it, Clown Pierce. Get down. Assassin, don't go for me, please. I'll help. I'll assist you with Clown. Uh, this could be the end of SP737. They know I'm here now. Wait, we're teaming? Come on, get them boys. Don't come up here. Don't come up here. <laughs> I'm popping a strength just in case I get involved. The one does seem to be getting stuck in cobwebs or going after bats or something stupid. Never seen something so crazy. This is this is great to watch. Ah, uh, clown, you come over here. You don't want to come this way. Don't come after me, assassin. He still, he seems like he's put so much into getting clown that he's... He's full on going for it now. If I can just land some shots. I didn't mean to tag you up, Assassin. I'm trying to hit Clown Pierce. If I could land some shots, so that would be amazing, but I can't. As long as the Assassin knows that I'm going for Clown. I keep hitting the Assassin by mistake. Don't come after me, Assassin. It looks like you've invested a lot of time into this. Clown knows. Clown knows I'm involved, though. He's suddenly like, is this a 2v1? It's the 2v1 where SP keeps out of the way. All right, where SP dies to the ward or something stupid. <gasps> There's a warden right there. What the heck? Oh, no, I've got the deep dark effect. You're kidding me. You're absolutely kidding me. These guys are fighting and surviving the ones. I'm I'm not about that life. I'm, I'm getting out of there. <laughs> I've died to the warden already. All right, I don't want that to happen again. All I did was help clown, really. It's my time to be careful. Okay, we found a way out. Why did it have to be wardens? Why? How those guys have not died to the warden or something like that, I have no idea. But obviously, Clown Pierce has met his match with the assassin. I have no idea who is going to fall first, if any of them. What? Wait, was that just what I think it was? No way. I was just normal golden apple. I thought it was a notch apple. I was like, what are the chances of that? Two golden apples, though. That's not bad. At this point, I have no idea where they've gone. I think my best bet is probably just to go upwards. Like, I, I do roughly know where they're gone. They're in that direction, but I don't know if they've gone back up, if they're below me. I'm hoping they've gone above ground. You know, it's a lot easier when they're not <laughs> they're not down there. Oh, I've gone over the top of him. Oh, they're not far. I, I was kind of just digging around and digging out. Where? This direction. I don't like this. Me in the walls. With the assassin roaming around. Don't know if they're still fighting. I can hear wardens all the time. I've made it back to the top. It's broad daylight. That's lovely. Now the assassin is moving around, but somewhere in this direction. Wouldn't it be the worst thing if he just pops his head out of the top. I'm 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 dipping. If like if I, if I have to go face to face with him, I'm dipping. I'm so glad he didn't target me. Obviously, he seems he seemed like he was going for clown. That doesn't mean that he's not going to go for me. He'll, he can go for anyone on the server at any time. And I'm sure if I cause him some problems, he would go for me. Emeralds are kind of useful, you know. I, I'm not saying no to that. That's actually worth getting. I need to craft a tracker. Okay, well, there's not much space near, is it? <laughs> well, if I die, we're going to lose the emerald. But for now, we've got one. I'm still moving around a lot below me. I'm guessing maybe they're still fighting in that massive room. If I can find the hole that I went down last time, maybe I can find a good vantage point. It was somewhere around here. Aha! That looks like the spot. Let's... Go ahead and drop. Okay, we've got to be careful here. I don't want to. I don't want to drop down and die. <laughs> I mean, I, I, the fall wouldn't kill me anyway. But you know, just to be safe. Got to bear in mind there was a. I, I hate how loud the warden is. Yeah, there was a. War okay, well, nice one, SP. <laughs> well, I'm an emerald. They're, they're, they're right there. They're so close. Okay, we're all right. That's the assassin. Keep moving. That's it. Down there. That's it. Chase him. Okay. Come on, SP. That's it. Land some arrows. Get him in the cobweb, baby. We're doing this. Clown, you're in trouble now. <laughs> Finally, I did something good. Oh, I just hit the wrong guy. I hit the server assassin. See if I can get him in the cobweb again. Ah, that bat just got in the way. I hit him again. 
Oh, he's in trouble, is Clown Pierce now? It's a third party moment. Just don't come up here, guys, all right, please. Clown, is Clown trying to turn the tables? Oh, he's, he's trying to escape by the looks of things. What a battle this is. That's got to land. Oh, he's just dodged it, and it was too low anyway. Okay. Now, there are ones below me. Where's me escape? This is me escape pod. We, uh, we'll just continue, you know, here if we need to. As long as I don't get the deep dark effect, I know I'm all right. But I think Clown has come here because he knows he can break Skulk. He can get XP, and he's got mending on his armor. That's my thinking, okay? That's near somewhere in that direction. I can see from the compass he's kind of there now. There's something going on up there, though. Is that is that something to do with Clown? No idea where they've gone. They seem to have moved away, though. Oh, there's a warden over there. Don't come over here, Warden. That's it. Go for the go for those guys. Oh, he's sniffing me out, isn't he? Ah, oh, you know you're not. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> I'm not being sniffed out, buddy. Okay. I am building up and out of here. See you later. Might not be me who's sniffing out. I don't know, but I do not trust those guys. Like I said, I've already died to them once in this series, so... <laughs> not happening again. The assassin is still in this direction, but where? I, I don't know. They weren't in the main room, so maybe they've gone off into the caves. I don't know if they're still battling or what's going on. Even if it is Clown that's around me. I don't want to risk it. I've got to get to the top of this mountain before the assassin does. Could be very angry that he's not got clown. He could be like, well, I'm going to get somebody. I'll get SP. You know, it could, it could be anything like that. The clown hasn't been able to take him out. He must be a pretty good player. But from up here, very good vantage point. We can see what's going on. Let's let's go in this direction and have a little look. Try not to fall in the powder snow. <laughs> Which I'm in. No, I'm out. I'm in. Uh-oh. Hey, this is a good hiding spot, though. No one would ever think to look for me in here, would they? What a move. This is it! Hide in the powdered snow! And you can tunnel through. Well, it's not the, the way I want to really spend my time. Uh, just hiding in powdered snow. No, 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 I'm I'm still stalking. If I... Do you, do you mind? That was, that was that guy's fault. Okay, just break it, SP. Get out of there. Move on. It's a lot safer to just place blocks as you go in. Then you don't have to think about it. Do we have more stone? Oh, we've got loads. Fantastic. We're out of that biome. We can have a bit of few golden carrots. And we can see exactly what is going on. This direction is actually back towards spawn, which I'm completely on board with going this way. Oh, can we can we get a... Oh, you just picked that up. Did you think you can steal a, gra a grass block? Not on my watch. Where are you? That's right. And another pearl. Fantastic. They're still fighting. Oh, ho, ho. Actually, this is not as safe. Just in case, you know... Get, get your stuff in. But bear in mind, I have no fire res. Look at them go. Boat on ice. Oh, these are clever players. Speaking of boats, I should have a boat handy just in case. Should have some cobwebs. If I can get clown in cobwebs, that could be good. Okay, where's clown going? Big ender pearl. Dude, don't do this to me. Get out of it. The assassin's also following him. That's good. We can pursue. We can pursue from a distance. Like I said, I don't know a great deal about this assassin, but I know he can turn on me at any moment, which I do not want. I want him to keep hunting clown, but... If I can help the assassin take out Clown, well, then I have to run for my life. That is one thing. But on the flip side, I have nothing to worry about. Clown Pierce cannot attack me, which makes this very, very difficult for him. But yeah, if the, if the assassin just starts hitting me, it, it, which I wouldn't be surprised if he does. I've got a lot of gear. He's probably low on gear and he thinks he can maybe take me out, get a load of stuff back and continue pursuing Clown. I don't know. Are they going for it? Where are they? I don't see them. Honestly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. SP, get out of there. <laughs> what is going on? They were just full on going for it. The final the final attack. And I was in the mix. They didn't even, I didn't even realize. I don't even know if I was doing much damage to him. I was just hitting them both. This is it, though. This is this is it. They, they were they were ready to just crit it out and see who lasts the longest there. They also let Clown escape there, kind of, which may not have helped. I had to be able to get out, so I had to, I had to do that. I have one strength left. I've got to use it wisely. An insane battle. I mean, this is taking everything Clown Pierce has got, and then SP737 is turning up to cause trouble. Assassin did hit me a few times. Unless it was Clown, we can take two more lives. I'll let him off, though. We were basically just both in the same hole together. I'd hate to think what would happen if this guy went after me. I think he knows because he's seen most of the arrows are going for Clown Pierce. I've just hit the assassin way more times. When aiming for Clown, how embarrassing is that? Honestly, Clown Pierce is insane at this game. Can I just, can we just take a moment to appreciate how good he is at the game? It looks like he's on the back foot. He's done nothing but run. Obviously, he knows that he's he's not as strong as the assassin. The assassin has netherite armor. The only difference between the two is the knockback mainly. I mean, there's a little bit of armor toughness as well, but that's the main, the main thing. I can get ahead here. Oh, no, they went the other way. Uh, coming around, boys. Just doing a little bit of drifting. Yeah, that's right. That was the biggest waste of time. They just did a big loop. Oh, clown's underneath. Uh-oh. Uh, that's it. Hey, hey, you go underneath as well. That's it. That, that's it. You go down there. That's it. Now, where is it? Hello. 
Hello, hello, hello. Uh-oh. Bad spot to be in, FB. <laughs> Don't... Yeah, 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 I'm getting hit, you see. The assassin dearly isn't friends with me either. Clown Pierce was slain by the assassin... <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, Clown Pierce was taken down. Okay, this is where SB runs for his life now. <laughs> There's a contingency plan. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, all right? But the assassin will not take kindly to me interfering, all right? And he knows I'm nearby. Now then, the only difference is I have a compass. Server assassin's tracker expired. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That is, uh, that is not good. That is not good at all. Thankfully, we have the world's biggest ocean, which means I sh <laughs> no. I've got the world's biggest ocean. All right. I should be fine. All right. I'm just going to keep moving. All right. As long as the assassin doesn't have anything like a light or anything a little bit OP, I should be okay. I, I really... I really hope I'm fine. Clown Pierce on nine lives, though, ladies and gentlemen. Well, who saw that coming? What a plot twist. <laughs> it could be SP7 on five. Just going to keep moving now. I've, I've done what I needed to do, all right? Even if I didn't take out Clown or do that much damage, I at least caused him some trouble, okay? That's the thinking behind it. I caused him some problems. And the assassin hasn't gone offline, so I'm guessing the assassin might still come after me. But I can log out any time. And I plan to, all right? I ain't dying today. But I want to get back and I want to know what's going on, okay? I actually have to go and play football really soon, so I can't even stay on the server. I need to wrap this video up pretty quickly. But I wasn't gonna miss that. I had to stay in the mix, okay? I was not gonna miss that for the world. I did hit Clown Pierce with a crit right at the end, by the way. You know, maybe that had an effect. I don't know. I also though feel like now, if the assassin comes online again, he's not gonna go for Clown. He's done what he needed to do. He's taken Clown down. B737 might be next on the list, which I don't like the sound of that one bit. I really don't like the fact that I don't know where the assassin is. The thing is, the assassin's still online. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> Look at Jerry Blossom by him. We haven't seen one of them on the server. Anyway, no time to think about that. Oh, I'm not out of time. There is no sign of the assassin around me, so I'm going to go and dock up on land. After what happened to Clown Pierce last episode, he lost a lot of stuff, so I think I'd like to go on a little hunting spree and go after him. I've got a bunch of fires. Realistically, I don't actually need that, but I, I suppose it's just good to have with me. The important thing is strength. Now, I don't know where he is. I don't have a great deal of pearls, but neither does he. So, player tracker... Clown Pierce, he's in this direction. He could be far away. He could be out gathering resources to get himself back on his feet. But let's just go after him, okay? PvP isn't on at the moment, which is, is good. So, you know, hopefully by the time we catch up with him, it'll be on again. Oh, he's here. I found him. I say, get your inner chest, boy. Okay, well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. All right, SP. Okay, this is interesting. It's Cloud Pierce on the run, but this time he's not got his fancy, his fancy stuff. I think, is he ready? He doesn't know if he's ready. I mean, 12 minutes. I did not expect to just see him on the side there. I don't know if he expected me to come hunting after him. So many questions. Okay, I don't want to... Has he got speed? Oh, he's got speed, hasn't he? I, by one mistake, I didn't bring swiftness again, did I? I mean, his swiftness will run out. I don't think he's going to have 12 minutes worth of it. So, we just got to wear him down and be patient, ladies and gentlemen. He's not got his... Suspicious stew by the looks of things, so that should affect him. Look at him, he's farming he's farming dandelions, which tells you one thing, he's low on it. Okay, now then. I, I think in the water we're probably kinda similar. Hmm, let's have a little little look. We probably want a boat. I, I could do with having my bow ready as well, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And then we just pearl. I doubt he's got loads of pearls as well. I think he will have used most of them up. So let's let's see. Okay, he's going for the open ocean. Let's try and hit him. Okay, we... I, it looked like we broke his boat, but I guess we didn't. Okay, I guess he's just going for it. Alrighty. Well, this is um, this is going to be interesting. I've got to try and hit him as well, which is a bit of a challenge when he's in a little target like that and he's a boat. But we can give it a go. Okay, he's moving to the left now, so let's just go... Okay, these must be close. How are they not hitting him? Thing is, this is a big ocean. It really is. I mean, maybe if I can find that dolphin, I'll be able to... Slow him down? I don't know. Keep my eyes peeled. It was somewhere around here. Why? Why did it have to be such a big ocean right here for it to just sail straight to? Hopefully all things come to an end. It looks like it. How many pills he has? I've no idea. Whether he has all of them, I don't know. But I know I've got a decent amount of them, which is a good, good thing. Doesn't seem like he has any cobwebs left either, does it? Ah, interesting, class. So eight minutes. I mean, oh, don't you dare just do this again. Oh, he's swimming. He's going down. Oh, interesting. Does he have his what he needs? 
I don't know if he has depth stride. It looks like he might. Okay, well, this is it. This is usually a difficult place for him when he goes underground, but he's going for it anyway. Okay, he's moving through. Like I say, he hasn't got the, the usual... Oh, is he trying to trap me, eh? Well, nice try, clown, but I'm not that that stupid. Oh, look at him. He, I mean, he does swim kind of fast. Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to fall for that one. But yeah, we just keep moving. We need him to slow down. He's going to keep moving. I mean, eight minutes. It's difficult to chase someone for eight minutes, but he is going to have to keep eating, which is probably his, his difficult thing. I don't know what kind of food he has. Okay, let's see. He knows. Eating under oh, what good move. I'll tell you what, this is a, it's a good player, isn't it? He is a good player. He's trying to block. I mean, it's an interesting strategy. I'll be honest with you. But will it work? Will it work? I don't know if he... He's, he's probably trying to conserve his resources. He's collecting dandelions. But I don't think he has mushrooms at the moment. That's his spider. Do something. Might just set him on fire. I don't know if he has actually got fire resistance. It looks like he has. Worth, worth checking that. Not the best ender pearl I'll ever use. He is underwater. Come on, SP! Oh, I'm so close. There we go. Got his boat. Nice. Now got him. He's going into a water cave. Uh, uh, SP, why'd you get stuck? That's stupid. Now he's going through. Come on. He's got to be getting a little... Well, I guess he is still eating a lot, but... He knows what he needs to do. I mean, I... <laughs> Come on, SP. I mean, I've only given myself strength one, which I know hinders me, but it means I don't have to worry about replenishing it or running out or anything like that, which... You know, I know it's an interesting decision. Um, I could do with his fire resistance running out, which is a possibility if he hasn't brought multiple ones. He clearly doesn't have the swiftness anymore, which is, is good news. Um, we just need to kind of whittle his hunger down. I can't believe I'm missing these arrow shots. They're just, just bad. Um, we have we have the pearls though to, to do this. Um, he's gonna end up yeah. So he's eating again. I've got to be trying to crit, but when he's underwater, he knows that I can't crit him, which is at least a it's a pretty smart thing to do, I suppose. Is he gonna try and go? I mean, it's five minutes, five six minutes. It's it's getting it's getting interesting. He's gonna go for the water again by the looks of things, or is it? Okay, he's going underwater. Okay, I don't know what his situation is with uh, is the stuff he has like does he have many much hunger left? I don't know. I need to eat a suspicious stew, really. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to replenish a little bit, I think. I think I'm going to get my strength back. There we go. And then I'm going to go in a boat. And I'm going to use an ender pearl. I don't think he, I don't know if he has any ender pearls left. Um, okay, well, that, that answers that. Oh, a little bit of fall damage, eh, clown? He's going to try and eat. He, he, I don't know why he thought coming after me. Oh, and uh, is he going to go for it? Oh, interesting strategy, young, uh, young clown. I should be maybe trying to use cobwebs a bit more. That could be handy, I don't know. I hate searching for people through trees, but it's... it's ooh, where's he going now? Okay. Let's just kind of continue to... Oh, no, not mushrooms. That's it. Keep shooting him, good boys. That's it. Again, some good hits. He did manage to pop off a carrot, though, which is annoying. Okay, he's, he's, uh, I think he's got a swiftness down, maybe. So we're getting some, some nice hits on him. But it's probably not going to be enough because he's, he's so good at the healing uh, the healing thing that... Oh, he missed that one. He's got some good crits on him there. Come on, SP. Come on, you've got to be able to... No... He managed to eat at a crucial time again. As long as he's eating, I'm in trouble. And I've lost my strength now, and I need to replenish. I, I, I didn't really use that strength very well, so it should have lasted a lot longer. Uh, he's manoeuvring well. I noticed he's only got three minutes left. The golden carrots are, are doing well for him. Might be able to just head him off here a little bit. I swear, if he might just pop up some suspicious stews. He is insane at the game. Can't let him. I can't let him craft them, but he probably will. Women, come on! I should. I should have swiftness, and I'll be able to catch him. That's that's the missing piece, isn't it? If I had swiftness, he wouldn't be escaping all the time. I'd have I'd have the upper hand. I said, go down deep, and then stay down. Oh, no, I'm trying to trying to block him in, and he blocked me in. <laughs> One minute twenty-four. 
I don't know how, how weak he is, what the situation is, but... Oh, I got stuck on that tree. I'm gonna have to go for my last pearl. Oh, he's, he's, he might survive here, you know, that gentleman. We must have come close again, but... Oh, he's, a, he's a tricky player. He really is. He's a good runner. Look at him navigating the terrain like it's nothing. I have no pearls left, which definitely means he's, he's gonna get away. All I have to do is just keep running now. And he's, he's down here. Wait, what? Oh, he pearled out. Okay. I was confused there. I s he, he, <laughs> he, threw, he, he just pearled away at the, the, the last second and as he was taking that guy out. I didn't really know what happened, but yeah, it seems like he's he's made an escape. Alrighty, well, we'll let him, we'll let him go. GG, clown. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'm surprised I survived that. Yeah, my heart racing when uh, we showed up. I, I didn't expect to see you until he sailed past. I was like, oh, he's here. Are you actually? Yeah, yeah. I, like, I like went like behind you almost, and I was like, hang on a minute, there is it. I was like, oh, the track has moved. <laughs> nice. See you in 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, I'll see you then. It's an unfortunate situation, that ladies and gentlemen. You know, he, he, he got away. Now he has the means to make the the suspicious stews. So honestly, he's going to be pretty much unkillable after that. Look at him. He's going back for him as well. Well, we're not having that, you know. We're, we're not. We're not just letting him do that. Can we just wait? Do we have a lava bucket? Can we just and can we can we burn it all? Oh, we have lava. That would be enough. We could we could be burning these uh, these things. But I, I definitely want to be going collecting these mushrooms instead of him, because that's just that's just useful for me, isn't it? Lava over here, very nice indeed. Nothing to see here, clown. Don't worry. Don't you worry about a thing. Just grabbing all this. And Minnie says he knows exactly where Quiff logged out, and, and Quiff is going to come back. So we're, we're going to try and trap where he logged out at. Is this it? Is this the spot? But what should we do? Oh, It'd be thought... awkward if he just logs on and he's <laughs> next to the box. But I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was here. Like, I, I was looking at him, and that was my first, like, thought. I mean, what do you think uh, we do here? I think we drop a stone on him. Right, make, it, make it a taller a taller thing. It doesn't have to be... Um, Give me the obby. Doesn't have to be obsidian all the way up, but uh, here's some more blocks as well. He's got pearls, though. Yeah, but if it's, if it's tall, like make it tall, but like not as tall as the entire thing for the dripstone. Don't know how this is going to work. I can't remember how far I need to drop dripstone to get him, but I'll, I'll just have to grab it and see. 50 dripstone, nice. Oh my goodness, I've got anvils. I've got iron. I'm, I, that's what we're going for. We're going for anvils. Stop crouching. Yeah! <laughs> you blew up his stuff, but you, you got it. <laughs> I don't want the stuff. I don't yeah. want the stuff. The revenge is sweet. <laughs> it is. Oh, it comes back. It comes back quick, baby. Yes, it does. GG. <laughs> oh, GG, GG. I knew the TNT would have done the job. I'm going to kill If you don't survive, I'm going to try and kill you. That's it. All right, this is, this is the moment for you to try and survive. No pressure. I know you've got loads of pearls because you've been to the end. <laughs> there you go, there you go, you survived. Well done. Quiff is not That's happy, me. by the way, just so you know. No, you you blew him up. <laughs> he deserved it. I wouldn't be happy either. All right, well, I'm on the edge of my seat. I really yeah. want to know who, who won this. What are you... Oh, oh! Oh my God! Oh, oh my God! My. That almost did it! That almost did it! Oh my God! I was not no paying attention. That. That's crazy. My, Good. there's no I way that actually was almost did it. No, it didn't. I had three hearts. No way! I was not paying oh enough attention, bro. My. No way! Did I hit you twice? No, no, it hit me once. <laughs> really? That does a lot of damage, bro. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. I can't. I thought I had to get you three times with dripstone to to finish you off. I didn't know it was a what. Oh my god, you made my heart rate go up. Jeez. Imagine if I'd have got you. That would have been brilliant. Imagine if you got me. That I would have been sad. Well, by the way, is spawn trapping allowed? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it looks like. Well, I, I, you logged off at a bad spot. I don't know. Is, uh, is this a case that needs to go to court? Is, is, no, it's is not, not in the rules. Room? It's not, not in the rules. rules. There, might, there might need to be a it's rule not, made at this point. The rules uh, definitely doesn't say that. Because, because. There's there's no um you, there's no counterplay because the texture pack loads. Yo yo hey. yo 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 lava bucket lava bucket somebody lava bucket. Okay guys, <laughs> not happening is it? No, not happening no. guys. No, no let him let him let him. We're trying to have a bit of fun. Trying to have no, a bit no, of fun. No, let, let him take off his no SB. Come on, come on, be nice, be nice to him. <laughs> let him do his thing. Come on then, he's, he's been working on this all week. Put your stuff on there. No, no, no chance. <laughs> Are you Why not? insane? Just put yeah. your stuff on there. Look, have a little look, guys. Look, I've got me suit on today. Come on, Andy, come on. We want to see you in the oh, suit. I've got okay. me suit on today, guys. I'm... That's nice. That's nice. 
I've been um, working hard. So the jury <laughs> have the made their decision after 201,000 votes. The jury, the viewers of Friend or Foe, decided if Clown Pierce is guilty or not guilty. But there is a twist. One has 157,000 votes while the other has 44,000 votes. The twist, you say? Someone has been up to no good. The vote is not valid. Huh? Somebody botted the vote. But I got oh, a good look. Is. I think it was Steve. I got a good look at who won before the bot was activated. Clown Pierce, come to the stand. His heart's pounding. He's had a few heart pounding moments today. The jury find Clown Pierce not guilty. Yes! Of the crimes yes! he has been accused of committing. Uh -oh. All right. Although All right. there's 160,000 <clears throat> votes for guilty. Not guilty was winning before it. And I'm a, I'm a man of honor. I would not lie. I wear a suit. Uh, so you're actually the one botting. All right. Uh, you Which still one of you lost. guys botted and ruined it? Lost. You still lost. Oh yeah, feels good. I so, win um, court. How much money do there's, I win? There's, there's more to discuss here, guys. Found. Come up to the stand. I'm going. Um, Goodbye. Have you been distressed by this situation? Um. Yeah. I've been. I've been pretty distressed. I mean, I've been up about it all night. You know. I. I I've lost a lot of sleep. Uh. You know, I haven't been eating well. Feel like free that. to think of what you want from SB737. You I, must I, face the consequences for it. You can sue back, baby. You, you, you. Can actually, sue back, baby. actually, I you think I will. Actually, I think I will. Um, I gave you a notch apple clown. That, that surely that covers. No, everything. I stole a notch apple, but that's another court case. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Why me? Oh, Why did you go for me? Blowing up what the court, the heck, guys. <laughs> Like, you know, I've had to watch the deal a lot lately, you know, I've, you know, just to get my own evidence for other stuff. And, and I, I noticed you left out some, some information when the deal was made intentionally. Like what? Oh, I, you, I will, I, as long as you don't interfere when another player is online. Oh, what do you mean by that, clown? When I'm fighting Mini or Quiff. Oh, well, you weren't fighting Mini and Quiff, though, were you? I, I was specifying a specific situation, but the original saying still counts. And what was the consequence if if I did that? Did you did you come up with one? Well, the deal is just void. What the entire deal? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Maybe in that moment you can attack me back, but the the, the deal carries on. I don't think we can. Uh... No, you you've broken the deal. Therefore, it is void. Well, I'll have my life back then. Well, you already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you know, if, if you if you mm, you broke the mm, you well, broke yeah. the deal. You broke the deal. Yeah, so your side is done. So the terms, the terms are back. It wasn't a. The, you see, you weren't specific enough. You didn't say, well, if you do this, you have to do this, did you? You know, and you, you were very specific. In, first of all, I, I didn't. I was. Well, I we're just you. bickering at this point. Let's get the judge on this. Yeah, we're missing. You know, yeah, what I don't we, know where they are. All right. Well, that's the end of court. Uh, I'll see you later, SB. Well, well let's hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just know what we're going at here, okay? No, no, no. Let's 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 go back to court next time. All right. Bye, bye, SB. But we don't have a judge. We can't do anything. We can run till PVP comes on. Man, I could. I mean, I I, I could be in trouble, but I, I, to say the deal's void is very interesting. I think if you want to void the deal, I would have my life back, without a doubt. I'm sure it won't be long till PVP comes on as well. You know, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep running. You know, that's it. Well, I've got to I got to act fast. I, I've got to kill Cloud before we go to court, and then and then we don't have to worry about it. Looks like he's preparing for this a little better than me. And I put all my good stuff in <laughs> in a chest at home, so I don't think I'm really uh, I'm really ready for this. But we can we can at least run the clock down. Maybe I screwed up. I'm pretty sure legally though I'm okay. But but uh, we'll see.